Right, I have unmuted to start talking today. <clears throat> I hope you're all good, guys. Thanks for coming in. Oh, the, the music's just cut to the last song as well, eh? Happy Monday, we're told. Hello, everybody. Hello, Paul. Thank you for your content you provide. Eddie Smith, thanks for coming in. I hope your mummy's doing well. She's all right, Cloudo. Thanks for coming in, dude. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I don't very often promote my Twitter. Twitter's a wonderful place where everybody gets along. It's like the Garden of Eden. Uh, there's no snakes. There's no forbidden fruit. It's all just happy, happy, joy, joy, loveliness. So if you uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll get in, the, in on some of that too. <laughs> uh, hello everybody I hope you're all good yeah uh, but you'll also find out if I'm late for a stream like today or if I'm not streaming or whatever you know uh, I hope you're all good everyone thank you for coming in let me just quickly catch the alerts that I've missed well everyone's missed but Big J Sweets thanks for the 14 months just happy to support any way I can thank you dude does pass 10, 10 more months to my favourite number dude thank you for the 59 month in it <laughs> JP420 Gamer, thank you for the gifted subs, you very kind man, thank you very much. Dark Six Night, Dark Night, three months anniversary and many more. Thank you, cheers for the bronze badge resubscribing, sorry, silver badge. Ace27 Gaming, thank you for the prime. Richie, thank you very much for the uh, 52 months. Morning Running, uh, the best Twitch YouTuber, dude, thank you, very kind. Uh, cheers for the support, Richie, I hope you're good. Uh, thanks a lot, Richie Slammer, 52 months. And Peanut, thanks for the, for the follow on YouTube's. Right. So, we're going to carry on with yesterday's DMR character. And we'll see how we go. Uh, it's not night time now, which is good. So, I, if you remember yesterday, I did a slightly shorter stream. I meant to do five hours, and I ended up doing nearly four and a half, because it went night time. I was like, what's the point of fumbling around in the dark? I'll do that later with Mrs. TRMZ if I'm lucky, you know? There's no point doing that now. Uh, might, as well, uh, might as well call it quits and start again tomorrow. And now tomorrow's today! <laughs> Yesterday's tomorrow's today. Yeah, thanks for coming in, peeps. I hope you're good. Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Dushanow, Dushanow, thank you for becoming a member on the YouTubes, dude. Thank you. How was the walk? It was really pissing it down earlier. It was really pissing it down earlier, so the walk was kind of rainy. Uh, like, it wasn't raining anymore. But it was very rainy on the ground, if that makes any sense. It was very wet. There was lots of water everywhere. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's a good job I had my uh, my uh, Solomons on. It was very wet. Very wet it was. I don't feel ready to be at the airfield. I really don't feel ready for this. So, like it says in the title of the stream, that's that's a hell of a good title for, a, for the start of a stream, by the way. We're carrying on with the DMR, so... It, it It's, I don't know, as far as uh, stream titles go, I'd say that's a pretty decent one. It might get some clicks on YouTube, like, after the stream, people might tune in. So, if you're watching this later in the VOD, let me know in the YouTube comments, okay? Thanks for coming in. Uh, type, uh, DMRs are sex on legs in the chat right now. <laughs> Only if you're in the YouTube comments later, not now. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Uh, I like that. I like talking to the future people. Like, people watching this VOD, they're the future people. They're not the now people, they're the future people, aren't they? But they're, 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 in, the, they're in the future. I've just travelled through time to talk to somebody else. Shit. <clears throat> anyway, uh, thanks for coming in. Let, let's crack on. I future people, says Bartlett. <laughs> Gale force wins, blimey. There was a gale at school. She was pretty forceful. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks good and clear over that way. So, I think what I'm going to do... Yesterday we went to the plane where you can get NVGs and there was no crates. The, the crates weren't spawned, so... We're going to go back that way and have a look see if they're spawned today. That's the plan. There's the plane, so we must be over the bunker, roughly. The, the tomorrow people coming to a screen near you soon, yeah. Where'd I find the new gun? I found it yesterday on stream at a helicopter crash site, so... Felt pretty, uh, lucky about it. But how cool is that? There's not much fog. You can actually see really well into the dif distance. There's no mods on this server or anything, so... 
I wonder if they dialed the fog down a little bit or it's just how nice the weather is right now, but either way, it looks good. My FOV looks different. I don't think it is. No, it just feels different. So I've, I've gone with one gun. So I'm, I've got an M79 with one gold top grenade in it. And other than that, I've got just the DMR. But if you're rocking a DMR, you don't need another gun. Put the sunglasses on. Very brave title with regards to jinxing. Well, it's, it's not that brave. I'm trying to carry on with the DMR, but... I could get shot in the back as I go through these bushes, but I did carry on with the DMR. I'll just then be dead. Uh, and let's face it, I don't live very long most of the time, so let's carry on with the DMR for now. <laughs> oh, I actually got a bit surprised then. I thought that was a dude. There was one on that building yesterday. Imagine what an existence it would be if you were stuck on the roof of that shed all night long. Oh, fuck off. How did I aggro that? I was crouched. Oh. Right, let's uh, have this. Unfortunately, for the start of the stream, like normally if I'm like a new spawn and I'm starting from scratch, it's really easy for me to talk to all of you guys, right? But... Because I'm fully geared with a DMR, and I've accidentally just talked in-game, but that's fine. Because I'm fully geared with a DMR and I'm at the airfield, I'm not really as interactive with the chat as I'd like. So, hello everybody, rather than individuals. <laughs> uh, oh, an M16. That's cool, isn't it? We don't need it, but it's cool. I might put it on my back, because I do like greed. I do, greed is good. Oh my fucking hell, look at that! That is good news as well, holy shit. guess you haven't learned from your mistake by only running the DMR. Well, I, 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 I don't entirely agree that it was a mistake. It's a choice, but you make a choice balancing all of the, all of the risks, right? There are crates today. There is a chance I'll get my gun jammed. It doesn't happen. It happens probably like one in twenty lives. So the fact that it's happened once, I like those odds. But also, I, I didn't really ha like carrying a tundra that I stashed yesterday. Well, it'll now have despawned, but. A tundra didn't seem worth the bother, you know, it didn't seem worth carrying a tundra as well. I, I didn't really see the point. Uh. How am I going to fit this all in? I hate, I hate loot Tetris. It's too early for loot Tetris. Far too early. I have seen so many bullets for this. And I've not picked any up. But it would be quite nice to have a, a, like a backup, like you were just saying. But it didn't seem worth carrying a Tundra to be a backup. But carrying an M16 to be a backup, that kind of feels like it's worth it. I think this is the most common place people will go. It looks like it looks like there's there's a skeleton in the uh, in the cockpit, right? But from here, it looks like he's sitting outside of the plane. Looks like there's a dude there. This is something I don't often have, but my thing is too long. It keeps it keeps poking right at the very. It's going. It's too long. I can't. I can't fit it all in. How is it interacting with ch ch Twitch chat and YouTube? It works okay, dude, Me MetaG. I, I'm, I'm not seeing as many messages per platform, but it, it, it seems to work okay from my end because the chat's kind of joined in. Hi, Ocean. Uh, I, I haven't played with Tope for a little while. Me and Tope still play together a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I haven't played with Tope for a little while. We are probably due a run at some point. 
I was meant to be t playing with uh, Lottie today. That looks kind of like something as well. I don't know. It's not anything, but it's the shadow on the door, I think. But anyway, I was meant to be playing with Lottie today, but unfortunately, she's uh, she's not going to make it. Uh, no sleep. No sleep till bedtime. <laughs> she ain't had no sleep. Can't get. No. Anyway, yeah, no stream with Lottie today. But there is a stream with Ish tomorrow and then Muller and Sour on Wednesday. So that's all right. What Twitter drama, please? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there wasn't that much tw Twitter drama. I, I deleted the, some of it. Uh, the the only vague Twitter drama I'd say that was around Friday and Saturday that, that mattered to me, really, was the, me being a little overly, overly sensitive to people that don't like me. Uh, that's it. That's all it is. Trolls being trolls. Like What I should do is uh, just block and move on, but every now and then I get caught. That's all. No, no great shakes. Some people like to go around the internet lecturing people all the time, and occasionally I get caught. You know, that's all. I think Lottie has been a little under the weather. That sucks. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Last one to know. Well, thank you. It's one of those things, right? Like, if you do what I do, people are going to be on the internet trying to... Maybe not intentionally trying to get on your skin, but they will be. But just silly little things, like I wrote a really long thing towards the Twitch scene about multi-streaming and how we're not allowed alerts on YouTube. For, sorry, we're not allowed alerts on Twitch for YouTube, and that's kind of a, a shame, and I, I, I wanted to try and feed it back. Like, to me, the, the rules on multi-streaming, like, they've, they've only just been written, the ink is still wet on them, you know? So if you're going to try and get any rules changed, now is the time to try and give feedback, right? Well, I tried to feed back to my partner, Rep, and I kind of got, like, uh... A polite shoulder shrug, you know, like, like my partner rep can't do anything. <laughs> of course he can't. But he listened. So I, I tried to feed back to the Twitch CEO, but some people felt that I would have been better off typing it in an email. I don't know, and I, I could have just given the Twitch CEO a phone call, because I definitely have all of his contact information, you know, like... He's, he's perfectly happy with one-to-one -one feedback via phone or email, of course, you know, like, he gives he, he gives out his email to everybody. I don't have his fucking email, nobody does, right? But I do have his Twitter, and he does talk to people on it, so I thought I'd try, why not, you know? But for some people, that means I'm, like, some kind of clout-chasing, virtue-signaling whore or something, just because I had some feedback about multi-streaming, you know, it's just... That's what, unfortunately, some people are like, though. <laughs> some people think you're not allowed to use Twitter to say what you think if you've got any follows, you know? Like, it's a bit of a weird thing. Like, if, if you, if you like, really take your time to write something that matters to you, some people will take it upon themselves to tell you you're a dick. Uh, Engho, well, thanks for coming in. Did I play Tarkov? I did play Tarkov back in the day. I, I haven't played it for a couple of years. Three years now, actually. I get bored of Tarkov real easy. So I played it twice to, like, mid-level 40s, maybe level 50. Uh, the last time I played, I'd maxed out the traders, I'd completed the hideout, I'd got all of the graphics cards and everything churning along for bitcoins and whatnot. I just get bored, like, once you've got to a certain level, the fun... When it doesn't matter if you die, or when it doesn't matter if you escape, it loses some of its edge. See, from here, the skeleton's definitely inside, but he's definitely there, look. I didn't notice the skeleton the last time I came. b -wad, yeah, there are. I know. It, it's, it, is, it is what it is, you know. People... The thing is, normally, like, if I write something, someone's going to say something snooty. And that's that's all it is, you know. I don't, I don't really want to make a big deal of it today, right? But in this case, it's someone that had given me a good dressing down on a lecture a year ago after being a long-term viewer and then unfollowed and fucked off, you know. Like, it was a year ago. Why are you still fucking stalking my tweets to do snidey retweets now, you know? It doesn't make much sense, really. But anyway, that was then. Uh, it's, it's no... Uh, no no drama today. I do tend to drink a lot of these drinks while I'm here, and it's not a very smart thing to do. The last time I was drinking one of these drinks, I was just exclaiming proudly that I won't leave a single one, don't care if I get shot. And as soon as I finished the sentence, I got shot. Wow. Oh, baby, that's what we came for.
Uh, I've got a knife cleaner dealy, so we don't need to keep that. What about... Where am I going to put this fucker? So now we've got to find a combat helmet uh, for, for the night vision. Or a, uh, a head strap, one or the other. Should send a handwritten letter and, and yeah. I, I think, I've got to be honest. The term clout chaser and virtue signaler, I think, get used by Twitter cool kids when people just say things that they don't like more than anything else, you know? It, I, like, like, you can see there are real clout chasers out there, you know? It's something that people are like. There are, there are people like it in, in and around DayZ, you know, that, that will uh, that'll get involved in everything. They'll be, like, when they want to make an announcement, they'll, they'll tweet everybody always, all the time. Not... Like it's fine to, to, like, at people when you're announcing something once in a while, but some people do it every time, all the time, you know, like, like, and not many do, though, but some people do. But I don't, you know, if you go through my Twitter for the last week, you'll see me retweeting other streamers going live, you'll see me retweeting the devs, you'll see me retweeting a couple of map things from, one from John McClane or one from Bitterroot, maybe, or whatever, you know, but through the course of a week, you'll see me tweet about a lot of other people's stuff and not just my own. But so when you're going to call someone a cloud chaser, you should probably have a look at their uh, their own Twitter feed and see if they actually share stuff that's not their own. Because if they do, maybe you might be barking up the wrong tree. I do like a I do like a soda. I, I really do. I think we're going to go this way because if we go this way, if we don't find the helmet at the tents or at Bash. We can just go to Tissy, can't we? Whereas if I go that way, we'll be going to VMC and that's shit. VMC's fun for PvP, but it's not normally very good for loot. So let's go this way. The anti-aliasing on that window often makes it look like somebody's there. You have to try the new streaks of Tarkov. It changed Tarkov. I, it, it won't change it for me. I know it, it looks a great map. I've seen it streamed a little bit, but... Uh, it, the quality of the maps is not the thing that makes me lose my love of it, you know. In in DayZ, when, like, this character was alive yesterday and was alive on Thursday, right? Uh, when this character gets killed, I'm going to be gutted. Like, in a firefight, I'm going to be on the edge of my seat, if you like, you know. like Every time you get a character you're invested in in DayZ, when it dies, when you die, you're disappointed, right? You, you get that feeling, you're like... You get those heart-wrenching moments and, like, the adrenaline's pumping and everything matters, right? Whereas in Tarkov, you only get that in the early levels, in the early stages, you know? Once you've got all the money, all the rubles you can get, and once you've got all the traders unlocked and all of the all of the sort of tasks done to unlock the traders, you know? All, once you've done all the quests, then when you're getting in a firefight, say you're trying to escape and then there's two PMCs waiting for you and, like... Like, if you're just trying to do a task, you've done a quest and you've been struggling to do it, and then you get attacked on your way out, you're shitting your pants, and when you win the day, you're really excited, and when you die, you're really gutted. That's where the best of Tarkov is. But you lose that as soon as you've got all, everything done. Or at least I do, you know. Then it's just like any other PvP game, where you're just playing for kills, but not much else. I d Johnny, I don't need a canteen, dude. I've got a cooking pot full of water. So I actually dropped a canteen yesterday. Yeah, I don't need a canteen on a belt when I've got a cooking pot full of water. We're, we're okay. I've got this here, which I can drink, but I'm carrying it for uh, bottle suppressors, obviously. So. You found a ton of NVG head straps at VMC. Yeah, that... that the only thing with the MVG head strap is I can't wear the sunglasses and with the sun glare on this uh, map. Sorry, not on this map, but on this game. That's not so bad, but at times it can be really awful, right? So... I've watched hours of Tarkov streams, I still don't understand it. Tarkov is the very best tactical shooter on PC. It's an amazingly good game. And when I'm saying it gets boring, I mean, for me, I don't, I'm don't. i sure there's people out there that play it to level 70 and love it and repeat and love it. I just, I guess, 
it just doesn't do that for me personally is all, you know. You can get loot down here, like these Humvees, they all spawn loot. The sun glare can be bad in PvP for sure. I haven't done any alerts for absolutely ages, so I'd better do that in a sec. Let me just get in here. I think there's another shed. We'll go in that shed there. I need to catch up on the alerts. I, with not having the alert sounds, it, it's very good. Except for me forgetting. It doesn't. I'm, with no reminder, I can go an hour and then I remember I've got no alerts. So uh, let me try and catch up. There's probably quite a few. So I'm going to octab out for a sec. I'm going to be paused. Uh, Kevlar, Sunny, Sunny W, thank you for the resubs. Thank you for the 17 months, dude. Thank you. Uh, Subby974, uh, no robot lady. No robot lady. She's gone. And I've took 15 minutes to read it, Subby. Thank you. Uh, Ghost Hunter. Uh, Ghost Hunter, I think that is. Thanks for the two months. Hopefully many more to come. Thank you. He has arrived. Thank you for arriving. Cheers for the new sub. Loying, thank you for the two years. Grumpy boss, uh, six months of the air fry guy. Dude, thank you very much. Lethal, thanks for the 15 months. And I would run 500 miles and I'd run 500 more just to be the man who won ran 1,000 miles <laughs> all the way to Cherno. Uh, Dr. Gordon uh, Freeman, cheers for the resub. David, thank you very much. Happy Monday. Shropshire, dude, thank you for the 69. I've often lived for the day where I'd get a 69 with Shropshire, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Frederick Holm, thanks for the seven months. Uh, Massive Pooed, thank you for the follow. What a name. And Jimbo, thank you very much for the for the twenty seven as well. Dylan, well thanks for coming in. I hope you're good on, on the YouTubes. I am still gonna be doing some streams only on Twitch. And although it's not in the title, strictly speaking, we're still testing things right now, so I, I, I do like multi-stream, and I think I, it's here to stay. I don't really want to stop it. So I don't think it's going anywhere, but nonetheless. Strictly, strictly, strictly speaking, this is still a test. I ought to repair my boots. I suppose. I never remember which ones are these trucks. These trucks don't spawn loot, I think. But these ones with that sort of side do. So like this one would spawn loot. You can see there, there is a bit of loot down on the ground. The ones with the wooden slatty side spawn loot, and those ones do not. So let's just see. It's a shame because there's a lot of potential loot here, but a lot of these cars, sorry, vehicles don't spawn nothing. They don't spawn nothing. There's a Hummer. That'll, that'll have something, surely. How about a combat helmet? There's some bullets there, but not bullets I need. There's a Knoif. I don't really want to go to these tents, but I think we're going to. These tents. Oh, there's a car there. Look. Maybe I'll have some loot. I don't think that spawned there, is it? No loot. Got four tyres, though. I'm Pip. I think those cars at some point did spawn loot, and they changed it years ago. But they, they did, yeah. Is 1440p an option for streaming on YouTube? It is, Michael, but not not whilst I'm multi-streaming from one piece of software, no. So, I uh, I can't really... St I'm streaming to Twitch and YouTube at the same time from one piece of software, so... Unless I use two instances of, say, OBS and have one set up for 1440p and really high bitrate, and then Twitch set up differently, I'm going to struggle with that. So, uh, for me, I, I can only... Until Twitch up with a bitrate, basically, it's 1080p. Hi, Gravy. You're right, dude. I quite like that film. I quite like the Batman film. thought it was good. I've only watched it once. I've been meaning to watch it again, but it's quite long. Uh, long films and me need a little bit of a break after uh, Killers of the Flower Moon on... Uh, on Saturday afternoon. I really liked it, but it, my fuck is it long. 
Uh, I, I don't think it's my film of the year, though. I think I preferred uh, Oppenheimer. But nonetheless, it's a good film. I've, I've got to be honest, in a, in a sort of sneaky kind of way, or like in a more of a I don't know, pop culture kind of way, I don't know what the words are, but I think I kind of preferred uh, Mission Impossible as well. The, the last Mission Impossible film is really good. And I'm kind of tired of action films, but the last one was really, really good. Yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon was, was a bit long. I, 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 it's a very good film, and clearly it was like a passion project for Scorsese. He clearly very much cares about that film, you could tell. And if you, wait, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but the ending of the film sort of shows you that he cares, you know. Taxi, the guy who got me my first job ever was De Niro's stuntman, blimey. Just as well he wasn't De Niro's PA, that's all I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Daisy Novice, thank you for the 13 months. Al Merrick Shade, thank you for the Prime. Jimbo Jabberwocky, thank you for the 27. Frederick Holm, thank you for the 7. Uh, Brown Rice, thank you very much too. How do I feel about the airfield change? I think it's been really good. Austin Powers to replace Tom Cruise, blimey. I oh, behave. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I like the new airfield. I think it's a, a positive change. It's subtle. I think we were probably hoping a little bit for some kind of underground bunker, a bit like Livonia has. You know, it would have been nice to have something unique to the map that maybe was like a punch card type thing. I can see why they didn't want to go that way, but it would have been nice, you know. But nonetheless, I, I think the new airfield is much better. That broken down plane where we've just got the NVGs is a nice touch, like lev like tier 4 loot. Uh, just the changes in general, it, it is much better laid out for PvP, particularly on that side. The east side of the airfield was just like too convoluted, too complex, you could never find players. You could be there overwatching and a whole squad could roll through and you wouldn't even fucking see them, you know? Like, it's much better for, for that. I just guess everyone's always hoping for uh, some massive thing. Do you know what I had an epiphany of last night? I, I had an epiphany that, and this is only a guess by the way, so I, this is not, I have no insider knowledge, but I had an epiphany that the devs for the 10 year anniversary are going to re release like a, like an, an upgraded original old school version of Chernerus or something like that, you know, like a Chernerus from day one edition, you know, like with the old tents at Moschino and the old Cherno and stuff. I, I had I know there's a few modded maps with that, but maybe with like increased uh, quality and whatnot. You know, that would be cool, like a classic DayZ server. Yeah, that Moonlander, that would be cool. I don't think they will. I don't think they'll want to go back to to the to the past, as it were, not back to the future. But I don't think they will do that. But there's clearly going to be some kind of DLC, you know, like that. There's something coming for the 10-year anniversary. <laughs> Twitch kills my data, we're watching this do the same. Daniel, it, it probably kills your data because of the bit rate that I stream at, so if you're watching in 1080p, it's still 8,000 kilobits per second, so it's going to it's gonna cost you quite a bit. Like, down, if you're watching a, a video feed on data, it's not Twitch that's killing your data, it's just that it's a video feed, you know? Like, like if you sit on Pornhub streaming shit on there, it's going to kill your data. Because video files take up quite a bit of space, you know, so... Uh, unfortunately, it's not Twitch. It's the nature of video content in general, I guess, you know. Uh, it's much higher. Than, like, an MP3 music or whatever is a tiny file, but an MP4 file for video is a massive file, right? One sec. Sorry, guys. I'm alt-tabbed out just for a split sec. Hopefully nobody comes. Fixing the lean. What's Pornhub? Uh, 
It's actually Prawn Hub. P R A W N. Sorry, P R A W. Yeah, P R A W N. I can spell after all. Prawn Hub. It, it's a website where you go where where men show you videos of their shrimps. Their little shrimps. Sometimes they're quite small and sometimes they're bigger, like king prawns. How do you like the new skybox? I nearly started singing How Do You Like Your Eggs in the Morning then. That's just as well I didn't. Instant loss of follows. Instant loss of views if I sing. Guaranteed. Uh, I, I think the new skybox is great. Obviously right now it's not looking very different because there's not a cloud in the sky. You know, it's beautiful, isn't it? Like a summer's day. But yeah, the skybox is brilliant. It's it's a... It's, it's a... A small change on the face of it, but a very big change to the ambience of the game. When you when you add the skybox changes to the lighting changes, like it's crystal clear right now because the sky's clear. But when it gets cloudy and it starts raining, it suddenly becomes more all atmospheric and yeah, the the weather in general with the skybox is a big big improvement, I think. Best way tips to avoid hoarding: How do you prioritize your loot? Uh, post jabroni. It's very straightforward, dude. Don't. I don't believe in. I believe hoarding is good. I'm 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 the Gordon Gecko of DayZ. Greed is good. Why are you trying to save space? Just take it all. And if the bag's too big, put a bag in your hands and fill that up too. Greed is good. I ain't about saving stamina. Look at me now. You know, like I have got a fair bit of stamina for me, but I can't jump. If you're at a point when you can't jump, you're doing well. Interestingly, interestingly, Johnny, I can't me weapon melee either, just as a callback to a previous conversation. So I can't weapon melee. You can see me trying, you can see it flashing on the stamina bar, bottom left hand corner. I don't know if I filled this bottle up or if I took it from a dead guy, so I'm just going to put a chlorine tab in it. Does he have alerts off? I do. I'm catching the alerts verbally here and there, Von Burick. So if you've just done one, I'll catch them in a sec. I put, I'm put. i trying to put in the title of the stream, alerts off, but it's the last word, so it's a long way down the, the, the title. Uh, Daisy Novice, thank you for the 13 months. Brown Rice, thank you for the gifted sub. Bob from the Bell, hope you're good, dude. Uh, what's the plan today? Well, hopefully we're going to get some use out of this DMR is the main plan. Still can't jump. I thought drinking the water might have been enough. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Uh, we'll see how we go after that, though. Dude, Quasi, thanks for the 11 months. Captain Jesco, thank you for the 7. Bobo Prime, thank you for the 36. JW Fisher, cheers for the 3 years. Von Burick, good morning, everyone, says Von Burick. Good morning, dude. Hope you're good. Thank you for coming in. And Pass Sean, uh, still running. Just about, dude. Thank you very much for the resub. Sniper Fox, cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel, dude. Thank you very much. Yep. Medlin, you're absolutely right. If you drink from a well, uh, you can drink direct with your hands or fill up a bottle. The water is clean. You don't need to do anything to it. You only need to be treating the water in a bottle. If it's the water you find in a bottle, that's dirty. Or water from a stream or a pond or whatever. It doesn't matter if it's running water or if it's a pond. You still can't drink it without a chlorine tablet. If you drink water that you find in a bottle where you found it, it can give you cholera. Almost always does. It's meant to be a chance, but I always see... If I drink dirty water, I always seem to get cholera. I never seem to get away with it. West Cubes, it's not quite a 12-hour. I was going to do a 12-hour. I set off for my walk about half past ten. Um, no, maybe about quarter past ten, actually. But I would have been tight, but to do a 12-hour, I need to start at half eleven. But I went out for my walk, and I was starting to get fairly close to my mum's house. So I just rang her up and said, oh, I'm nearby, I'll pop in for a quick cup of tea, if you like. So I, I went round my mum's, which made me a bit late. So uh, I can't do it. I don't really like going past midnight, and I didn't start today until about, I don't know, 10 past 1 or something like that. Maybe 20 past 1. So it'll be more like a 10-hour stream, roughly. I'll, I'll be finishing somewhere about 11 p.m., there or thereabouts.
Where did I get the DMR? Dank, how are you doing? I, I got it at a helicopter crash site near Devil's Castle on yesterday's stream, so... Yep. They only spawn at heli sites or convoys, so this one was from a heli site. Look at that view distance. The trees are, are rendering off, but it's still, still cool. The view down into Novaya Petrovka from here is a really good view, actually. I might go and try and... I probably shouldn't be admiring the view while I'm at the airfield, should I? But... hey ho There's no dead zomboys, so I guess we're probably okay to go and have a look. I need to find this combat helmet. Let's go and see if we can find one. I haven't looted loads of the airfield, but... I'd much prefer a combat helmet over a uh, head strap, like I was saying earlier. I, I don't want to be able to keep the sunglasses on. Sunglasses and NVGs is a winning combo, if you ask me. Uh, Sharky, I literally just got asked that exact question, so I'll give you a much shorter version, and that's that I like it. It's much better now than it was. About ten minutes ago, I answered it a bit more than that. Rolled out of bed, logged into my work PC since I work from home and saw you streaming on my personal desktop, so I clipped. Dad Tech, well, good luck with the day, the day, dude. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the YouTube streams. I, I think it's a positive thing. I, I think it, it feels a positive thing to me. Uh, in general, I like it. I, I, I'm a little bit frustrated about the alerts. I'd rather have them on, but I'm really not happy. What? That's a big AK. Look at that. Where did I see boxes? Of, there was a box of bullets for that. There was a box of bullets for that at the car by the where all those broken down cars were, wasn't there? Finding that with a big mag is a hell of a find, right? Yeah, 45 round AK-75 mag. AK-74 mag. So it's got the 45 round mag in it. The big mag. The banana mag. It's as big as Banana Man's peen. Allegedly. Seems a safe place to fix it. Yeah, it is. Safety first. The DMR was a better find, but I didn't just find that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't get orgasmic about the DMR I found yesterday. I just, I ain't got, I ain't that excitable, you know. I can't do it. Nero, dude, thank you for the 73 months, dude. Firm handshakes. Uh, thank you. I am Glyn. I am Glyn He. Thank you very much for the support. Pass Sean, thanks for the 50 months. Uh, it's Mocky. It's Mocky. It's Smoky. Uh, cheers for the support as well, dude. Not it's Mocky. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, cheers for the resub. And Mr. Anonymous90, thank you for the Prime. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel, dude. Oh, you bastard fuck. What did I have for food? I've gone la -dee da today. I've had, uh, I've had, I'll, I'll say it both ways. I've had prawn mayo sandwiches. Or, for, for the America Land peeps among you, I've had prawn or shrimp salad sandwiches, is the, is the America Land way of saying it. Shrimp salad. Don't win friends with salad. Yeah, I had shrimp salad. It was very good. Prawn mayo. Do I play official or community service mostly? I play more more community, but community service can still be vanilla, right? Is prawn still code? No, I didn't have cock sandwiches. <laughs> uh, I used to watch Frankie so much, then he disappeared. TMZ filled that void. BSWQ, well, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. I know I'm not getting any benefit from this food, by the way, but so what? I need the space. Uh, but Frankie is back, dude. He made a video a few weeks ago on a Sunday, like two weeks ago, maybe. Uh, so he is back and doing Daisy again. Paul definitely can see the YouTube comments he just saw mine a minute ago. Yep, there's more proof, Dad Tech. I've seen two of yours, so 
I, I am reading YouTube and Twitch comments, but there's a lot of people here already, so uh, across both platforms, there's 4,070 people in, in the stream right now, so obviously it's it's going to be a matter of picking the odd one here and there from Twitch and YouTube as best I can. That's kind of what I'm doing. I don't want to read anymore. Finally get to watch you live. Woody, well thanks for coming in, dude. Hope you're good. And uh, need NVP, thanks for coming in too. One on Twitch, one on YouTube. Quite like saying YouTube. I think I'd like to start a, a website, like a video on demand service called YouTube, spelt Y-O-U-C-H-O-O-S-E. I think it wouldn't get you in any bother, and it sounds exactly like YouTube. I think it'd be a winner. You choose. Like, if, if ever we need, like, a, a com like comp competitor for YouTube, that's it, isn't it? You choose. I have actually got a suppressed pistola. I got that off the dead guy yesterday. I'd forgotten about that. It's how Ronald Jenks always said it. I don't know who Ronald Jenks is, but I don't disbelieve you, do I only know one Ronald. And he's... I think he got sacked from McDonald's. He used to be like the, the McDonald's CEO and mascot as well. But I think he got sacked for being a bit weird. Now he's not in the, not in the McDonald's crew anymore. McDonald's crew sounds like they might have been like a... A manufactured rap band from the, the 2000s, you know, the McDonald's crew. A, a manufactured Scottish rap band. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like the so, so called it Solid Crew, but from Scotland. Just getting the hang of Daisy about 200. Any advice on zombies? I always feel like I'm getting swarmed. Uh, dealing with zombies is a lot like dealing with uh, the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever you're choosing, you know, but. Dealing with zombies, for me, is a lot like dealing with women, you know? It's a lot safer one at a time. If you try to do multiples, you'll just fumble around and fuck things up, you know? The, the best tip with zombies is to deal with them one at a time. Do I get stream snipers? Never. Like making love to a beautiful woman, exactly. You need to Swiss Tony the zombies. That's that's what you need to do. Yeah, one at a time. Threesomes are a, a possibility, but you'll have to finish one and then the other. <laughs> but any more than any more than a threesome, and you're really in trouble, you know. <laughs> Oh dear me. What happened? What happened in this chat today, eh? Jesus. Right. I think I need a bigger bag. Are you always non-sarcastic? I don't know how to answer that question. I feel like it's getting me in trouble. Like, am I always non-sarcastic? Uh... It's like, I, I don't know whether I'm Marty McFly in the future or if I'm in the past or if I'm in the future going back to the past seeing my future self which no my past self in the future in the past or whatever it was you know I, I'm, I feel like that question's tripping me up some I don't know if I want to answer it now or in the past or in the future uh, I think that's clear enough of an answer uh, <laughs> what am I doing what am I doing I, I need to save that space for the Mac that's why that's there What's in here? Bullets. I, I kind of want that, and I don't need it, do I? What do I need that for? Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Repair suppressor. I haven't got a suppressor that I can repair. Oh, I know, I could repair that, couldn't I? You're right, yeah, yeah. I've got the Glock that I've only got a few bullets for, but I can repair that. You're, at, you're bang on. I knew there would be something you could tell me to fix. It's the mag that needs fixing, but I can still fix it. 
Maybe smokes are not that important. Yeah, I, I think probably two or three is enough. You're probably right. It is easier to find gun cleaning kits today. I really struggled yesterday, didn't I? Let's just take those. I've got, like, one of each colour. On the subject of these grenades, right? Never, ever, ever keep the gold tops on here. Because this grenade, if it's shot, nothing happens. But if you shoot the gold top, it explodes. So, if by keeping it in the plate carrier pouch, it can't explode in there. The plate carrier pouch works like a protector case. So, even if you get shot in the vest and, and get shot in the plate carrier pouch, it never gets ruined. It's like a protector case still. So, well, the contents never get ruined. So, it's definitely a wise uh, thing to do. I really like that. That's my my favourite M65 jacket, or whatever it's called now. Combat jacket, is it? Field jacket. I'd quite like to own one of these IRL in this colour. It used to be called khaki M65, but khaki green, I guess, right? But I'd I'd quite like to uh, to own one of them. I think I'd be the belle of the ball at a Daisy meetup if I had a khaki M65 jacket. I've got a blue bomber jacket. That's not really an authentic one. It came from m and <laughs> And I've got a blue Tulum bag, uh, which is kind of cool. My missus got me a blue Tulum bag a few years back. Still use that. That's very cool. I would certainly be the belle of the ball, yeah. I think you can see pictures of bells and balls on Prawnhub. The airfield is pretty quiet actually, I'm, I'm getting away with it some at the moment. <clears throat> Virgil van Dyke is looking good, good again, seeing he's re recovered, rediscovered his old calmness. Yeah, well, certainly the defence in general is starting to play a little bit better, you know. Like, Andy Robertson's been injured, but Simicass is decent, and they're, they're seemingly doing okay, aren't they, you know? Like, I think that's definitely the case. The, uh, the one, uh, challenge is the, uh, wait, like, well, centre-backs has been a bit of a struggle. Like, they've, they've, Canate was injured yesterday, but they are playing better. He is playing better. But what I was trying to say there, the challenge is that I'm only really watching the highlights, so like I watched match of the day this morning. I watched I watched the Liverpool game this morning, but you don't really get to see very much of how he's playing in the highlights. You know, they like match of the day was about an hour long, and the first half an hour pretty much was Man City Chelsea, which you can kind of understand considering it was like it was like a a four all like crazy game. I can see why they gave it that amount of time, but. It was like, here's our programme, it's Man City v Chelsea, and then quickly rush through the goals of the other games, pretty much. Can I educate you a bit to us, <laughs> a bit on your approach to organising your inventory? Bartlett, I, I only really care about certain things, so... The only thing that I really worry about is having medical things on the left-hand side of my inventrix, so... I'll show you in a second. I don't like hot-barring bandages, because if you hot-bar a bandage and then a zombie damages it... You'll then use it from the hot bar, and you might, you'll potentially get sick. You'll get a blood illness. So, okay, someone at the airfield. So I I keep usually keep meds on the left hand side like this. So if you look across here, if I'm bleeding, I just can quickly dra drag one off like that and then use it. But as I'm dragging it, you can easily see that grey disinfected thing there. So I drag it and I just double check for the grey thing as I do right. And then likewise, I've got other meds on the left-hand side, so that if I want to use one, I can quickly do that. That was good, wasn't it? But you can just more easily access them. Beyond that, I've got things in a protector case that I don't want to get ruined that feel quite important, like bullets and uh, the blood bag. And then in here, this is a protector case as well. So same difference. I've just got these kind of easy easy to access, but these these are the things that get ruined more easily. That would kill me if they get ruined. If you get hit by zombies, it's always suppressors that go first, so they're in there, they can't get ruined. So, it's just about protecting the most important things. Other than that, I don't, where everything else goes, I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter where anything else goes. The only other thing I put somewhere vaguely important is that. 
Because as I'm going round, if I want to switch to the red dot, I can, you know, like while we're in here, for example, I should probably have the red dot on, but just having it in the top corner makes it easier for me to to do that. I need to go and use that weapon cleaning kit one more time on that other mag in a sec. And then we'll, we'll I'll loot the rest of this, then we'll go back to the airfield. Different people play different ways, like Ish will have an, a much tidier inventory than I do. Much, much tidier. He's uh, Mr. Tidy and I'm a lazy bastard when it comes to tidying inventories, but... And yes, I'm saying inventory, not inventory, okay? It's an accent thing, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I, uh, I I can't be... But I think if you're really tidying your inventory, all you're doing is making it easier for the guy that kills you to loot you. That's that. If, if it's on the hotbar, I don't care. If it's something like food that... It's very rare you need food in an emergency, right? So I just put it wherever. It doesn't really matter. How did you like the movie at the weekend? Uh, Cry... I, I talked about it a bit earlier, but in, in a nutshell, Killers of the Flower Moon is an epically good film. I really liked De Niro in it. I thought De Niro was the best he's been for a while. Someone else said the same yesterday, but I agree. Uh, the lady that plays Molly, the, the female lead, is really, really good. DiCaprio is good, same as he normally is, but the role he's got is not that hard for him, in a way. He's not really that testing. So, DiCaprio was good, but he wasn't really pushed for this particular role, I don't think, you know. Uh, but yeah, in, in general, it's a great film. The only thing with it is it really is painfully long for the cinema. You know, three and a half hours, and it feels it. There, there's a lot of very cool... Uh, like cinematography but there's an awful lot of very slow panning shots very slow conversations where like you're feeling like it's not really going anywhere and it takes a long time to get to the point a bit like me answering your question right now but for three and a half hours i still enjoyed it a lot though i definitely uh, i definitely liked the film As I said earlier, it's really blatantly obvious that Scorsese very much cares about the uh, the, the subject matter, and he, he treats it very kind of seriously, and, and it works. It works as a film really well. Hey Paul, can I challenge some for something? If you win, you get 100 bucks. If I win, you, we play a game together again. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Jason, you can't. <laughs> I, when I, I'm doing a charity stream uh, in December, and the, the top three donators, which means it, it, it's going to involve dollars, but I have no shame in that for a charity stream, but I think I'm going to make it so that the top three single biggest donators can play with me on stream uh, at some point, kind of thing. That's my plan, anyway. What movie are we talking about? Killers of the Flower Moon. So it's the latest from Martin Scorsese. It's just come out of the cinema. I'll loot this one. I think I looted this one, didn't I? So there's now shots in Novaya Petrovka and further down the airfield. Donate more if I could play with you off stream, would you? Right. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be. It will probably be. I don't know what date this is, and it's not set in stone yet. But it will probably be the first Sunday of December. Either the first or second Sunday of December. It will probably be the fundraising stream. It'll be for Alzheimer's Research UK again. Uh, and then maybe after this year I might do it for a different cause, but I may not. I am very keen on dementia research or dementia char charities in general. It's always worth checking these. They look dog-eared, but it could be pristine. It's not, but it could have been.
and I'm losing my mind learning that suppressors get ruined first in your inventrix. There seems to be like a, it's like a, I don't know, a, a percentage chance of what's going to get ruined acclimator, but suppressors and uh, scopes, but suppressors especially are the thing that go first, so you really need to protect them. Wow. The three remaining mem mem members of Take That come flying in the door. Mark's had his teeth done and has covered his face over. Come on, Gary. Let's have him. <laughs> we'll shit him. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking hell I'm going on about. They're, they're a bit bluer. A bluer hue. I think I prefer these. A nice brown hue. That's what you want. It's not what you want when you've just been for a poo in the multi-story car... St. Andrew's multi-story car park at uh, Norwich. Only to realise there's no loo roll after you've been. That, that's no, not when you want a nice brown hue. That much I know. But right for now, defo. Morning, not weekend. Kill me, not me. Thank you for coming in. Hope you're good. Oddly specific. I know, Tompty, it's just a scenario I thought of that has definitely never happened to me. I definitely never went all the way to Norwich in the car, parked at St. Andrew's car park, and then did a poo in the in the uh, public toilets in a multi-story car park and then realised there was no toilet roll. I never did that. Not once. Or at least I'm trying to convince that. My, se my therapist is helping me, but it's not going very well so far. I don't have a therapist, by the way, but if I did, that's what I'd be talking about. Kill me not. No, that's all good. Bye. Hope you're good. Have a great day yourself. I've lost the, the YouTube chat for a second, so... I'm not seeing YouTube chat for, a, for for the moment. I'll quickly uh, fix it in a sec. I believed you was having a week off. You didn't actually believe that, did you? I, I said something funny on Twitter like, earlier today, right? Or at least I thought it was funny. You know it's funny when you're laughing at yourself, right? I think that's okay. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But anyway, I, I did tweet, I'm going to take the week off. That's the best thing I'll do all week or something, you know? I, I didn't really mean it. <laughs> I already looted the whole place. I know I did, Lotaro. That's what I'm coming back here just to steal a use out of that weapon cleaning kit that I left. I don't want to use my own weapon cleaning kit. I've got one that I left behind, you know. Here's one I prepared earlier. I heard something about a tweet. Yeah, I deleted that. Not because of the Kings of the Castle thing. But yeah, I did think... I stupidly thought that the Kings of the Castle was la was yesterday, not next Sunday. But it's easily done when you're me. The fact that I knew it was in mid-November is pretty good anyway. You know, I'm, I normally don't don't do a great deal of researching on these things, but I just show up and uh, make it so. You know, like an old haggard travelling musician that's lost his love, uh, and he just turns up at the gig and rolls out the old songs best he can. <laughs> Although I haven't lost my love for it, that's not the truth, but I, I do just turn up and un uninge the, the, the guitar case, right? Fix my mask? I ain't fixing this. I'm, I, I, I'm not fixing it because it's blue. I'm fixing it. I'm going to fix me a green one or a black one. Sounds like a Dire Straits song. I actually want to... I, I'd love to make... If somebody that can play the guitar really well and can do a cover of uh, Dire Straits Money for Nothing... I'd really like to do a cover of that. I think it would be epic. I'd like to do uh, money for nothing in your bits for free. Don't like you know how it goes. I want my uh, MTV. I want it to be. I want my Twitch TV. I want my Twitch TV. That that right. And then it can be like a video of like all streamers having rage rage fits at, at the screen with lyrics about Twitch. 
Can we get uh, the running man to make a, make Dr. Disrespect fall in love with Daisy? I'd say there's very little chance that Dr. Disrespect would fall in love with Daisy. Even if I'm prepared to do literally anything, even what Meatloaf wouldn't do. Uh, it's just not, not going to happen. Uh, I, I don't think so. It, he likes violence, speed and momentum, not, not slow loot routes, patience, bugs and ultimate frustration. By the way, I love Daisy, so I don't take that the wrong way, but I don't think it's a game that uh, that Dr. Z Disrespect's really going to get in. It's for people that like long walks on the beach. Possibly more. <laughs> have I seen his new game? I have not, no. Oh, somebody sent me a version of Toss a Coin to your Twitcher, I think. Right, before we get further in, I need to quickly just test... Where did I see those bullets? I saw AK-74 bullets. They were by a car. I thought they were at that tr that car yard there. Doing Dear Old Tomorrow, Wedders. Uh, right, let me just quickly catch up with the alerts. Comic, Folkface, thank you for the resubs. Dej, uh, looted my first fully kit DMR for play yesterday. Only for me to get shot in the back one hour later by NVGs at the airfield. Dude, that sucks. Uh, cheers for the support, though, Dej. Uh, hopefully next time. Uh, next time, Dej. Gecko, thank you. Gecko, thank you for the century two. Buzzy, thank you for gifting the sub to Nyan. Uh, Lupier, thank you for the prime. Underpaid Nick, thank you for the resub. Matthew Parkin, thank you for the new sub. Clamhammer, thank you for the uh, resub. And Pew Pew, thank you for the new sub as well. X7 Russ, thank you for the prime. Uh, Mrs Anonymous, thank you for the prime. Or Mr Anonymous, it might have been. Thank you. Right, sorry, I ought to have to for a sec. Plenty of vocalist versions of Money for Nothing on YouTube. Well, there we are, so I just need somebody that can sing. I'll write the lyrics, it'll be a, it'll be a hit. It really works, right? You know that that, that song. I, I know it. I know not everyone will have heard "Money for Nothing" by Dire Straits because it's uh, it's a relatively new song from an up and coming band that that people may or may not have heard of. Uh, but if you have heard the song, then you'll know the lyrics would really work well with Twitch TV. Money for nothing and your bits for free. Yeah, you can definitely work in uh, Twitch subs, Twitch primes for nothing and your bits for free. But yeah, the premise of the song is that there's two two guys that are doing like deliveries, moaning about this guy on the radio that 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 he's a mil I'm not a millionaire, hopefully one day. <laughs> but nonetheless, he, he, they're moaning about this millionaire that's got his own jet airplane and they're having to work hard for a living while he just plays his guitar on the MTV. He plays his Fortnite on the Twitch TV. I thought there was a box on the very first Humvee here. He got the lyrics from a department store and people were watching a Motley Crue video. Maybe. Tank Graveyard. Maybe. you have a tank graveyard they were never alive in the first place i remember having a whole lesson at school which was like can you tell us whether this thing was alive dead or never alive it's like is that really a whole lesson miss do we need a, a whole lesson for us to work out what like like a, a tree is alive and a piece of paper is dead like how, how many times can you have that lesson like it w I think it was an hour when I was doing A levels. I was 18. <laughs> I wasn't. So, what people actually said, Picky, yeah, I guess if that song was out now, they wouldn't be able to use that word the same as they did then. The, uh, the F word.
Oh, it does work in the context of the song. It absolutely does, yeah. Maybe they would. I don't know. Like, it's the thing. It's like telling... I guess rap songs can have all sorts of language in it, can't they? I, I guess, because it's more like telling a story. It's not... Yeah, I, I guess it might still be alright. Who cares, though? Perhaps I was in special class. If I did, I didn't know that may maybe I wouldn't have done J-Socks, you know? I want my Twitch TV. I'm sure I saw a box of fucking bullets. Was it at one of the other Humvees? <laughs> More Chris. Never alive, yeah. We don't do politics, More Chris, okay? No politics. Other than to say, I, I saw... I saw... Uh, like, let's not get too round up on politics, okay? But... Uh, somebody in the government got, got fired today and they brought back somebody else back in and break wrote a tweet that was kind of funny. It, it's like, it's got a bit of a feeling of uh, like transfer deadline day about it, bringing back the former prime minister as a foreign secretary, I think he is. Anyway, uh, it, it does feel that way. And <laughs> it, just, it just instantly occurred to me that like just before the end, they're going to bring in big Sam or Neil Warner to take charge, like just, just for the last little run in. Try and save the day. <laughs> that that yeah, no politics though, right? I know I've just skirted, I've skirted around, full blown into it, but yeah. Even Romano commented on it. Yeah. Tell me the game name. Uh, this is uh, Sonic and Mario goes to the airfield. I'm actually playing as Luigi right now. That's a cool. Uh, it's Daisy. Uh, Daisy is the game, and it's uh, a hardcore survival sandbox simulation type survival game. Tomb Raider, blimey, that sounds like something from Prawn Hub as well. I think it would probably be uh, a different word that sounds like tomb, but it's, well, it's spelt very similar to tomb, but uh, slightly different. It was next to a Humvee in the in the tent. Ooh. That's already a movie, is it? Well, I don't I wouldn't know Picky. I, I seem to have lost the bastard in YouTube chat again. Sorry, YouTube chat, I'm not calling you bastard in or anything, but I just did, but I didn't mean it. Oh, it's back! All of them in one go. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Running simulator? No, no, no. That, that's what this game was called in like 2014. But when they added stamina, it stopped being a running simulator. It then became a running and jogging and running and jogging and running and jogging simulator. Or possibly just a jogging simulator. Frank, I don't know. I suspect we should probably do Cherner, to be honest. This is not safety. We, we should probably be doing Cherner, because... Playing with Sour and Muller, we, we should be uh, we should be doing Chernerus because that's what the Lights Out event in December is on. So the more we play Chernerus, the better, I suppose. You know, so I hopefully we'll do that. Hi, Cask ninety one. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Have you played Armor Reforger Daisy mods? Run to live. I have not. No. I only played Armor Reforger on the day it came out, and uh, I've not bothered since. But. I'm n I've never really been a great one for Daisy mods, even when it was like on Armour 3 or whatever. I, I never really bothered. Because... For m oh, shit. He's not aggroed, it's okay. I don't want to aggro the Captain Chumpies, that would be uh, pain. Prediction. Pain! <laughs> yeah, I, the, the mods for like Reforger or in the past Armour 3 are, are very always much more around like the Milsim kind of aspect of the game as opposed to it was that car wasn't it as opposed to the gate like daisy is really shooty but it's uh it's more balanced you can have interactions and you can have team ups and whatnot <laughs> to me anyway uh the the mods for games such as armor 4 sorry armor reforger or, or armor 3 are always a lot more shooty and I've not, I've not played one in a long time, but as a rule, they're normally much more around the milsim. They normally don't play as survival. You know? It doesn't mean they're bad games. They're, they can be amazing mods. and I ought to look at Armoury Forger at some point, because it's meant to be beautiful, right? But 
I, uh, I don't really want to spoil it. I suspect I'm going to be playing maybe Daisy 2 one day in that engine, and I don't want to spoil all the amazing stuff that it can do, you know. But uh, I always kind of feel that it's it's a bit of a... It's just not quite the same. A bit like why I'm not playing really heavily modded servers right now that have got infinite stamina and uh, such like, you know. You can play those right now, but I, I don't play them, you know. I, I like to stick to slightly more survival-y stuff. Uh, Alex, there was no video yesterday. I did stream for four and a half hours, but there was no video yesterday because we've got nothing to edit. I, I do think I'll still push the odd unedited video on a Sunday, but when I've already streamed it to YouTube, it seems a bit silly to push it. You know, so, you know. like, it has to be something that was Twitch only, otherwise I'm just pushing the same thing that's already been on YouTube. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, if that makes sense. But uh, there is going to be a little series of, like little, like, cool moments and funny highlights and what I put, like, highlights, PvP highlights and funny moments from the last 10 years of YouTube, so in December, Daisy is 10 years old, so my editor's on Cooper is working on, like, a, uh, like a kind of highlights and funny moments from the last 10 years of my YouTube channel to sort of celebrate Daisy being 10 years, so I started in 2014, and Daisy came out in January 2013, so uh, there'll be a 2014 and 15 video hopefully coming out on Sunday, and then 16 and 17 and so on. Caveman, how you doing? Please don't be a captain. Fuck. Gotta be a bit careful, there is a dude around. Why do I support Liverpool? Uh, I was born in, uh, well, I was born up north. I used to live in a town called Nelson, which is not far from Burnley. Uh, and I started school there, and I was at school for about six months before I uh, moved down to Leicestershire and then Suffolk. It's not very near Liverpool, but it's in the same county, I guess. But when I started school, every boy in my class supported Man U or Liverpool. And uh, I just picked Liverpool. And so for the first, I don't know, like 10 years, I, I got to be a massive glory supporter. And for the next 20 or 30 years, it was painful in places. <laughs> uh, those years are not quite accurate, right? But uh, because I'm only 38, that doesn't actually work as well. I was born in Nelson, Nelson, Canada. Oh, blimey. I think that's probably this, like, the fact that I was in in Nelson, up in Lancashire, probably doesn't change that story. I could have been in uh, Ipswich in Suffolk or something, you know, like, that That was probably the same. Like, if you, if you go to school and you're four or five going to school, most kids are going to support Man United or Man City or whoever's winning, you know, like... I, so I guess I'm I'm a glory supporter since I was four and a bit, you know, I suppose, but uh, I wish I supported a team local to me, to be honest. I, I live in Suffolk. I, I, if I supported Ipswich or something, it'd be, I could go and watch them, you know. They're having a hell of a season right now, aren't they, you know? But I can't do that. It's not going to work. If one of my kids was into football, then I could take them, you know, but they're not. I've got two girls and neither of them are into football. Can't force them, can I? JRT, well, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it, dude. What's the guy's name with who you were teamed up with from New Zealand? It was, uh, his name was Crazy Patty, was it? I forget his name now. It's Crazy Chris, but it was something else on YouTube, and I've got his name wrong. Uh, but yeah, he, uh, he's actually from Australia. He wasn't really from New Zealand. He was just playing, playing at being from New Zealand on the day. Crazy Chris is the name of the video, but his name he had he was he was streaming. What's it like being such a mad lad? I don't know. I think I'm a bit boring. How OP is the DMR? It's pretty good. It is pretty good to say the least. Be 
I get shot at while I'm carrying spaghetti, I'm going to be annoyed with myself because it's not even worth it, but look at me doing it anyway. Is this a battle royale? No, it, it, it's like a battle royale, over, only there's no circle and it never ends. And also you don't ever have to shoot somebody if you don't want to. So it's not really like a battle royale. There's, it's a, it's an open-ended survival game, so you're not playing to win a round, you're not playing for, you're playing for the adventure. Daisy is a lot more like life, so it's a much more about the journey than the destination, because the destination is a cold and lonely grave, you know, <laughs> or a very hot uh, furnace for a short amount of time. Uh, you're playing for the journey, you're playing for the adventure on the life that you're on, and you've got to make it whatever you've got to make it, you know. Quite like to go up there, but where I grow the zeds. Let's hope there's no mine at the top of these stairs. Nightbot, you're mad, bro. Dan. Uh, it is a bot. <laughs> Nightbot just times out things like all caps posts or links and things just to protect people from spam and whatnot, that's all. He ain't real though. We'll find when I very first joined Twitch, I know you're on YouTube by the way, but when I very first joined Twitch, for a short while I thought Nightbot was a regular viewer. I was like, fuck me, that Nightbot gets around. I see him everywhere. I see him everywhere I do, and then I realised I know that maybe isn't what you're doing, but nonetheless I did at first. I've seen a lot of people do it over the years. I'm not alone in that. Right, let me just quickly catch up on the alerts. Uh, where I can't get killed. Sorry, guys. Uh, Buzzy, I'd caught. Thank you. Underpaid Nick. Matthew Parkin. Clamhammer, I'd caught you. Pew Pew, thank you for the new sub. Mason's Uncanny Nanny, thank you for the resubs. Hi, Hid Rob. Uh, Scouser Boots, thank you for the Prime sub. Hostile Core, thank you for the resub. Kicking Birds. And Flashbang Sparks, cheers for the resubs, guys. Thank you very much. Well, Daisy kind of spawned all of the Battle Royale. So the, Daisy is like, uh, if you take gaming as evolution, then, I don't know, PUBG and Fortnite and such like, I like the... Uh, let they're like the Homo sapiens to Daisy's Neanderthal man, but it's a very different or Neanderthal whatever. It's a very different style of game, so it's not entirely fair on Daisy that. But uh, the the creator of uh, PUBG, Brendan Green, uh, he uh, he first started out making Armor Two uh, Armor Two Battle Royale and then Armor Three. Uh, he made those. Uh, inspired by the survivor games from DayZ, so the whole thing about the circle closing in and stuff that that was kind of created for an Armor Two mod that was inspired by trying to give people an equivalent to the survivor games from DayZ. It was also influenced by Battle Royale, the film and whatnot as well. But he was trying to give people a uh, a version of uh, the survivor games that everyone could play, and so he uh, became very wealthy. And deservedly so. Only time for a restart, isn't it? 13 minutes to the hour. Might have crashed. So which ancient game would be Australia Pithecus? Gigantopithecus. I don't know what one would be Australia Pithecus. Uh, I don't know. Roland on the ropes. <laughs> Do I have a server suggestion for new players? Uh, if you're... If you're gonna play, uh, if you're new, brand new to DayZ, so you've not played it on console or anything, you're brand new to the game, I would suggest you play Chernerus for a while because it's probably a really good balanced survival map and it's the OG map, it's probably one you're gonna have to learn. So play Chernerus, and I personally, for the first little while, would play Vanilla as well, no mods, so 
either official or maybe on a server like Spaggy. Spaggy is a true vanilla server, but it's on the community tab. So you get more support from like cheats and hackers and whatnot on, on those servers compared to official. Is Daisy my favorite game? Yeah, of course it is. It changed my life for a start, you know, but Daisy is definitely my favorite game. I, I, more so than any other game, like in the early days before I even had a YouTube channel, I was up playing Daisy and I'd, I'd start playing at like 10 p.m. And I'd be, uh, I'd look at my watch and it was like 12, 15, just gone midnight. And then I'd carry on playing. I'd look up and it was daylight, you know, like I, I've never really had that with any other game where like even if I'm playing Call of Duty or something or whatever, back like Modern Warfare or something, I used to play it quite late, but never like sink five or six hours into it and think it had been an hour and a half, you know. I wish British Gas had this whole music. It's much better than the shite they are blasted. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Scuba Safe, thank you for the resub. XP, thank you very much for the 25 bits. Very kind, thank you. Uh, Zgurious, when a duck and a frog have a baby, it's a fruck, and a fruck or a dog. When a duck and a frog have a baby, is it a fruck or a dog? Uh... Uh, yeah. I'd say it's just a fuck, isn't it? <laughs> Mad Origins, thank you for the 11 months. Rusty Bastic, thank you for the resub as well. Cheers for both of you guys, thank you. Also, Franz Pop and Kamek War, thank you for the follows on different platforms and shit. Uh, Scorpionix and Dragonfire too. Yeah, I'm in the Kings of the Castle on Sunday and I definitely knew. I definitely knew. Sorry guys, one sec. Just waiting for the server to come up. So writing a tweet too. back up it is right let me get back in it then sorry guys i was just sunk into twitter not negative twitter by the way positive twitter how many hours do i have uh well i'm 38 so 38 38 times 24 times 356 that'll give you the answer whatever that is it's quite a lot isn't it uh, rather weirdly it's it's like that makes it my birthday today but let's just pretend it is rather than work out the last sorry 365 fuck me dead in fact that doesn't even work does it it have to do you'd have to do 38 times 24 times 365 and a quarter yeah 356 fuck me it's easily done all right i was, I was thinking of that sentence on the fly cut me some freaking slack over here do I think I'd ever switch to streaming on YouTube full time? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why, I'm allowed to do both. Why not do both? Seems like silly to, to not. Uh, I don't know why it didn't let me in there, but I'll try again. I just got kicked on the way in. Uh, I don't, don't don't think there's much of a strong reason to switch to, to one only, Nicholas. I think if I was going to be on one only, it would still be Twitch because that's where I uh, that's where I have been a full time streamer. It's been my full time job for seven and a half years or something. Uh, 
To answer your question seriously though, did the amount of hours I've got, I've got lots. I've got something like 16,000 hours in the game, maybe a bit more. But like I just said, I've been playing it full time on stream, like 40 hours a week, 48 weeks of the year for seven and a half years. You know, it, it, time will fly. You were kicked off the game, login error, login timed out, off player, login state. I don't understand. I'll try again. Now it's letting me in. I bet I'm dead. I bet no my luck, I'm fucking dead. Hi Vile Potato, how you doing? No, I'm not dead, that's good. Start shadow play quick. You keep getting that error. Well, I was trying to join from the launcher. Uh, when it when I failed, I just clicked play on the screen. So if you get that, just click play on the screen, and then it seems to let you in. Oh, my my thing's too big again. So we did hear some shots from here quite a while ago now, but just wanting to have a little look. It sound quiet. Too quiet. Oh, fuck. Right, let, let's carry on. Then we're going to go back to looking for the combat helmet then. That's what I need. Barrel there, look. All the better for base building with. M16 on that, look. Worth checking those for loot then. Look, look, M16 there there is. Used to be able to just run off that edge onto that green platform. Now you have to jump. I don't want to risk, risk it. Risk it even, not whisk it. Do you think the DMR should take a better scope? Uh, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I, is the honest answer. I think it's a shame that the DMR is so similar to the LAR or the FAL, depending on what you call it, right? It's basically like a FAL, but it's not full auto, and it's a bit more powerful, so... The DMR is better. They both can have a 20 round mag. They both take the same scopes. They both don't take a suppressor. Uh, one's full auto and a bit weaker. One's semi auto and a bit stronger. But there's not much between them. They, like Aside from the colour when you use them, it's like having the foul. It's, it's not really massively different in the game. Uh, if it had a really good scope, like a really long range scope, it would probably be a bit OP because it's almost, I think it's about as powerful as a Tundra. So if it had a scope similar to the hunting scope, it would be basically like a, a semi-auto 20 round capacity sniper rifle, which would be a, it would make it a bit too OP. What I'd love to see is something that's similar to the spectre scope in modded servers. I'd love to see that added to vanilla or a scope similar to it. Not eight times scope. If it was eight times, I think it's a bit too OP for the gun. Maybe like a four to six times scope with mill dots or something like that. But something like the Spectre would be epic. I'd love to see that in the in the game. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of the the uh, six times ACOG scope. I personally I don't really like it. So this is my favourite scope for this gun, I'd say. And the one drawback to this scope is that the iron sights are dog shit. I think it's good that the DMR is is in, and it is different. It is different, but it's not different when you when you're playing with it. You know, and like it has different characteristics and whatnot. If they can have a Tundra and a Savannah, they can definitely have a DMR and a Fowl. You know, like it's different enough. But I just wish it had its own scope. It would be cool, or a new scope that would also go on the others. But then I guess it wouldn't differentiate the same, I suppose. Now that is a really good find. It's not what I'm here for, but it, that is really good. Tactical goggles are really, really good for uh, for regular churners like vanilla. Like on 123, the sun glare can be really bad, so tactical tactical goggles are very good. Uh, 
don't know if these little sheds spawn military loot or not. They may do. Go and see. I just want a combat helmet. I don't really want to fuck around, but it's, you can see where the sun is, right? It's in the west. It's going down. If we can find a combat helmet, then I've got NVGs ready for night time. That'll be fucking orgasmic. It'll be beautiful, it will. I've actually got a battery. I think I've got one battery in that scope. So, NVGs. This server goes dark as, dark as midnight, it does. Right? It goes properly, properly dark. Oh, look, there's another... Where did it go? It's in the, in the Thruza. Probably got another battery in there as well. No, I haven't. I need those, don't I? We can put them in the Glock. used to have a wall around it, this, didn't it? Now it's a chain link fence. I'm sure it used to be a wall, right? I think it did. <laughs> Is it... I, I thought combat helmets could spawn here as well. Maybe they can't. And maybe I don't, I shouldn't be calling them combat helmets, I don't know, but I mean the one that takes MVGs anyway, that one. Is there any mod with less military loot, more of a nature hunting survival gameplay? Pixel, I, meh. There are servers where it's harder to get loot, but I don't think there's any where there's no military loot that I know of anyway. Some serv servers could do that without mods. You could just turn off some loot in the server, I suppose. Hi, Gladius. How you doing? Thank you for coming in. And pouches for the three years. Rusty, Rusty Bastic, Mad Origins. Thank you for the resubs. McMeth, thank you for the resub. David Mullet, thank you for the prime. Enjoy Smile, thank you for the 12 months. Cheers for the multi-stream. Thanks for coming in, dude. And Chainsaw Squirrel, how you doing? Thank you for the 39 months, too. Add the Enfield back in, cowards. I don't think they put the infield in because it's not a gun that would be in where Cherna Russia is. Like it's it's meant to be like Eastern Europe or Western Western Russia. So I don't think the infield's in because it it wouldn't suit the law very much. Like there's American guns in the game, but they're meant to have come from like the the American military that have died here. You know, like that were stationed here trying to deal with the threat, but. If the American military came over to deal with the zombies with Lee Enfields, you'd have to worry about how equipped they were. No wonder they failed. Yeah! So, from a uh, from a law perspective, that's why they never re-added the, the Lee Enfield. But it's why you have got things like the Mosin. Another pair of tactical goggles. Damaged. Upgrades. Wow. Got to put all these back in where they came from. Well, not all of it, but... Oh, I might as well put it back where it came from. That way, when I fuck it up, it'll be slightly... Harder to fuck it up, but I still will. I visited Lithuania not so long ago. I thought you were going to say, and I found a Lee Enfield. <laughs> you recognise the architecture of Daisy. Very cool, dude. I would very much like to go to uh, uh, the Czech Republic, where, where Bohemia based this map off. You know, like, you can go to Stari Sobor. There really is a place where the red barn is and the hill with the sniper hill with the trees. That exists. I'd like to go there. That would be cool. Loot map says MVG helmet is only in Tissy. That's something I honestly didn't know. So maybe we'll, we could obviously find a head strap, but that's not really what I want. Well, maybe best we'll go to Tissy then, I suppose. Let's 
going to get on this building and overwatch just briefly and then we'll, we'll head off towards Tissy, I think. It might be that the person that was shooting at Petrovka has gone to Tissy, but that was that was a good while ago now. But we've heard do, two different sets of shots, maybe 45 minutes or so ago, maybe longer. It's hard to tell in, in Daisy time. It could have been yesterday for all I remember, but uh, it would be kind of cool. To, to use the DMR again. I've only got the one kill with this DMR since I found it yesterday. It was a it was a bit of a jump scary kill though. Exactly, chat or not cheddar, it would feel like you would feel oddly at home. The only thing is if you're at the real starry sobor and you see some guy kinda drunk drunkardly walking along or something, I might start clubbing him with a shovel or something, you know, like you, you see some guy that's a little bit, little bit drunk or something. I might, I might start pickaxing him to the noggin or something. That would be an interesting, uh, an in interesting uh, like way of trying to get out. Sorry, Your Honour, I didn't really kill those seventeen people. I was sleep, sleep daisying. <laughs> I was sleep daisying in Starry Sobor. Okay, I can't help it. Now there's an idea for a film, right? You can have some kind of horror film. The day I played the real Daisy, but didn't realise. <coughs> it's almost as good as my David Fincher directed uh, film about Twitch stream murders <laughs> it, that, that, I, that I haven't started writing yet. But David Fincher's already penciled in to do the uh, to do the directing. How long did it take me to get familiar with uh, Chernerus, Dusty Bones? Uh, I knew it really well in 2014, uh, and obviously I played it loads, but like, I was playing with people that I'd met in game, and they'd played, started playing the game the same time as me, and I, I started to know the map probably better than most quite quick, maybe a few months. But obviously I wasn't a full-time streamer then, so that's a few months of playing twice a week maybe, or whatever it was. It's shoes. I make you work day fly by, do I? Just hit the brakes, they'll fly right by. No, that's not it, is it? I heard a clip yesterday. I, I, I think it was on Instagram. It might have been Facebook. Of a tower control talking to a, like a small plane. Like an ATC talking to a small plane that was in the air. And they were saying, just to let you know, you've got... You've got F F-18s at 4,000 feet crossing underneath you kind of thing. And he was t saying this to like a little plane, like a Cessna. Just a quick reminder: you've got, you've got a squadron of F-18s at 4,000 feet. And the the dude on the plane says, Com "Confirmed, they're too close for missiles. I'm switching to guns." <laughs> Actually, on the to the flight controller, like properly over the radio. That's kind of a cool line, right? <laughs> Like this is a miss here, isn't it? This this here could have been where they put the underground stuff. I think. Don't that this this could have been where they did the underground stuff. There could have been a way in and a way out. Maybe I don't know. It would have been cool though. It could have been a Livonia bunker. Ooh. I'm not going to go. I, I, this is something I've, I've started trying to do lately because I go running after shots and then I never see the fucker, right? That's right at the other end of the airfield. But I want NVGs and if I'm going to get them, I need to go to Tissy. And if I don't go now, it's going to be dark. So I'm going to, like, we can get a firefight at Tissy just the same. So I'm going to go to Tissy and try and find the helmet because if I don't get NVGs before night time, I'm going to be pissed off. I live in Sweden and forests look similar to they do. Yeah, I bet they do. 
there are YouTube channels dedicated to funny ATC moments. Now that's the kind of channel I should have started, you know. One thing I didn't realise when I started YouTube is that if you do a gaming channel, you have to... I, I love DayZ, but it's a, lot, it's a lot easier if you've just got to go and find clips of ATC stuff. And then you, you haven't got to do it yourself, have you? <laughs> it's a lot easier if your YouTube channel is finding content on the web, on the internet and just pushing it to YouTube. That's that's much easier than actually going and making the content yourself, even if it is just playing a game. You know, much easier. The the best the, the the laziest, and I fucking hate them. But the best the best channels in terms of profitability are those like uh, I don't know Twitch fails or like stream fails channels that you get, and all they do is just go to like like uh, Reddit. Reddit uh, stream fails or Reddit Twitch fails or whatever it's called. And they just go and farm the top clips, the most popular things on the Reddit Twitch fails page. They just upload that weekly and that's it. That's all they do. Even I've been on the, the Twitch fails a couple of times. ATC is air traffic control, I think. Did you do your team up already? Greaves Dad, I was meant to be playing with Lottie today, but she's not streaming today anymore. She's not slept at all all night. She's not feeling very well, so... Uh, I'm solo today. I'll be playing with Amish Zed tomorrow. It's kind of a shame, actually, because I was going to be... I could have played with Muller and Sour today, but set it to Wednesday, you know, so... It's all good. Well, I've got the MVGs, Snowman. I just need to get the thing to put them on. Where are the tier 4 loot areas? There's the plane at uh, the plane at the airfield and then the rest is Tissy, I think. I think Tissy's the only tier 4 loot area beyond the plane. So the crates at the crashed plane at the airfield is tier 4. Is this vanilla or modded? Yes. It, there's no mods in this server too, just it, to quickly answer your question. Rather than just be intentionally obtuse. Can't you just tape it to your head with a piece of rope? No, I think you need six rags and a, and a piece of fat. Or is that for a weapon cleaning kit? I can't remember. Happy Ribbons. Well, I hope your essay writing's going well. Thanks for coming in. Where are they likely to spawn? Well, the combat... The, the helmet I need... I don't know. Maybe it's tactical helmet. I, forget, I always forget the names, but... The MVG helmet spawns apparently at Tissy, which I'd forgotten or never knew, I don't know, but... That's where I'm going. We're going to go and get us a, an MVG helmet. Six pigtails, blimey. Tactical helmet spawns at uh, Tissy and Tricresta. Interesting. I never really look at stuff like loot maps and work out what's tier 4 and what's not. It's never really something that matters, you know. Like, I know if you want an AK-101, you're best off going to Tissy. <laughs> but beyond that, I, I never really sweat it, you know. I, I, it's not really... I just go for where the loot is going to be good kind of thing, you know. I, I, I'm not quite in the Wobo League of stats and stuff. I'm more play by feel. Which does mean I make a few mistakes, of course, but it's more fun for me personally. I still watch some of Wobo's videos, though, but I forget more of the things I learn than I remember, unfortunately. I want to buy NVGs IRL, but good ones are goddamn expensive. Whenever I hear anybody wanting NVGs in real life, I always think of the Silence of the Lambs and get a bit worried for that person. <laughs> I think they're going to be ru like walking around in the pitch black trying to smell people's hair or something. Uh, Justice Beaver Mustard, thank you for the resubs. Uh, loving the, the the greatest running simulator. I am indeed. I hope you could do. Thank you, Andalfet and Armadello. Thank you for the resubs. Lizzie the Elizabeth, thank you very much uh, for the resubs. Mike, thank you for the bits. Good morning to you. I I had a decent weekend, dude. Hope you had one as well. David Mullet and Alki one. Thank you for the bits and the resub. Thank you. No leg breaks today, dude. What else do you use MVGs for? Maybe if you can get like a really dark room, like so no one else can see, then you can like like role play as the invisible man. Maybe. But beyond that, I guess it's mainly to be like uh what's his name? Wild Bill? 
that guy. I think people use MBG for like snooping on the neighbours, see what they're up to at night. See if they're doing like those neighbours in the burbs and burying people in the back garden. Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. In, in the night time, if you want to go and take a piss and not wake anybody else up, it, just use the light from your phone, don't you, Hemzet? Just use the light from your phone. If you're feeling brave, you just use the light that the light the lock screen emits or something, and, and if you're not, you turn the torch on. I don't really hate being called the running man. The thing that... I, James Lockin, uh, I think you're replying to Bruce. Hello, both of you, by the way. I don't really hate being called the running man. I, 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 like, anyone sees me in the real life wouldn't call me that because I, I look more like the sitting man, right? But uh, the one that's always wound me up, and it shouldn't do, but it's the running man Z. That's the one that's wound me up. Sometimes when I raid someone, the streamer thanks me by calling me the running man Z. And I secretly cringe inside. <laughs> I don't really mind, but obviously it's Daisy. And so people call me the running man Z. Uh, but I think it sounds a bit like the running pansy. And on top of that, I've spent like nine and a half years, years making videos where in the narration I always say, Hi guys, this is the running man. Thanks very much for checking out this video. And so, <laughs> like, uh, I've literally said it so many times. But obviously uh, not everybody's watched a video. picture you uploaded is more the muscle man. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've, I've kind of got... I've, I've fallen off the wagon a little bit. We had uh, Coco Van last night, which is posh sounding, but it's like chicken casserole with wine in it. Uh, and it was an absolutely glorious. It was really good. Mrs. made it. It was really good. Like, very, very nice. Like, the chicken would have been cooking for like two hours. It was all soft and unctuous and yum, yum, yum. It was amazing, right? But anyway, because we're having Coco Van, she'd used about three quarters of a bottle of wine. And I, I it, was, it wasn't the best wine. It was like a, it was like a Sainsbury's house. It's called, like, house range it is. So it's just like a cheaper bottle of wine. Five or six quid, probably. Uh, and it was Monte Pulciano, which is Italian. Anyway, there was a, there was up about a half a glass to a glass left, so I drank that, and I was like, mm, that was nice. So I then opened another bottle and I drank that, <laughs> and then I had then I had <laughs> then I had two whiskies and fell asleep while watching Match of the Day two and missed the Liverpool game, uh, which is quite sad, really. She wasn't drinking, and I'm I'm drinking more than a bottle of wine on my own. But there we are. I've not been drinking hardly anything this year, so you're, you're allowed to let your hair down a little bit, right? Even if you are just sitting on the sofa. It was good, though. It was good. I was, uh, I was slightly stressed over the weekend somehow. I think maybe social media might might make us all stressed from time to time. Sometimes at the same time. Uh, occasionally people get their knickers in the twist, aimed at each other when they don't really need to. Me included. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I kind of liked it. It was good. Like, like I, it was nice actually. It's like when you go for one beer and it turns into ten. Yeah, that's like the Mickey Mickey Flanagan out out story. Goes out to buy a pint of milk and then he ends up going in the pub for one and then he's in a club with his shopping bag still like ten hours later. I'm out out. <laughs> I haven't been out out forever. I don't think I could be wrong. It, I could be wrong. Maybe like I'm, I might end up stumbling into one uh, like if I go to like a TwitchCon or something. I hope not. I feel like I'm never going to go in a club again, like a nightclub. I, I never liked nightclubs when I was younger, but they were like a necessary evil. Right? But I don't. I don't need to go in them now, so I, I just won't. You know. I, but I feel like I'm probably never going to go in one again. I, there's lots of reasons, but at the ripe old age of 38 approximately, you're like the oldest swinger in town if you go into a nightclub. Unless, unless they've got some, like, uh, sometimes nightclubs have, like, maybe on a Thursday, they'll have fat middle-aged loser night or something. I could go to that. 
Am I ready to party? Look at my character. I look so good with the green. I think for once I've got to do the right thing. Oh, please don't die fucking around with this. For once I've got to do the right thing. I'm going to do the right thing. It's a bit boring. The party one's rarer. It, it's like ultra rare. It's like it's like the panini foily from the sticker book. See how rare it is? Look, there's two in the same place. That's how rare it is. Wow, that was loud. Senior Citizens Night, yeah. This is going to suck. It's going to get night time and I'm going to then be trying to loot it in the dark, which I really don't want to do. Looting Tissy in the dark is a quick way to get killed. I totally agree. I'm 33 now, single, and you never see me in a spot like that. I just can't stand it. I, I can't. I never like clubs. I can't. For many reasons. One, I'm a Mizog. Two, I can't dance. My missus will attest to this, right? When I used to go in a club, most of the time it was having gone from a pub when I was in my early 20s. And mainly it was so that I could stalk my missus. <laughs> like, we'd all be in the pub chatting and stuff, getting along, and then we'd go to the club and, uh, like, she was going to university in Derby, so there was no chance of us, like, going out. Right? But anyway, I, I still used to follow her around the place. That was mainly why I went to a club, I'd say. <laughs> That that and the fact that back then, like like now, it, pubs can stay open later, right? But when I was going out, like pubs had to shut at eleven on a Saturday, so like, or a Friday, so the pub shut and then the club was open till two or whatever it might be, two thirty or whatever. So the only place you could still drink after eleven o'clock was the club. So that was the only reason to go. They were shit. I I never liked them. Like like, like they had this thing like it's called uh, loud music, right? And and I don't like it. I, like. I much preferred the pub where it was like, maybe they'd have a band on, but you could still, it was like a social thing and it was cool, whereas the clubs, it was just shit. I, I never liked it. I also think it's a, it, it reminds me of a, clubs remind me of like a real shit time, like, I don't know what they, the clubs were like around your way, but our local club, like, it, it you'd go into the toilet for a piss at like 1am and you were ice skating on sick. Because, like, back in those days, people used to drink until they were sick and then go back and order another drink at the bar. That, that's basically... Maybe it's still the same now, but I seriously doubt it. But, yeah, it, like, you were, li you were literally ice skating on, on sick in the toilets every Friday and Saturday. You would think... I think nowadays, if that were the case, they'd probably employ someone specifically to keep the toilets clean. But back then, it was like, well, we clean the toilets on Monday, so that'll do until next Monday. Fuck you lot. <laughs> That's the best you used to get, I think. Boomer chat in full, of, full effect. I'm generation whatever. I'm not boomer, you fuck. <laughs> uh, Captain Doozer, thank you for the bits. I'm having my first surgery today. Watching your stream before going in brings comfort. Especially the car park toilet paper story. Never change. <laughs> Captain Doozer, always check. Always check the paper, dude. Like, like, I've known that my whole life, and the one time I forgot, guess what happened? You know, like, always check. Cheers for the bits, dude. Nice to see you stream on both platforms, but with, but what's with the pixelated image quality? So pixelated. Dag, uh, it's just because it's low light. The stream always looks this way, dude. Thank you for the resub. Make sure if you're on Twitch, which you're resubbing on, make sure you're on source mode. That's the best quality. But it's low light, dude. Low light conditions and high detail don't go well together. So when I'm running through forests and stuff and it's dimly lit, it's going to look pixelated. Uh, D Smith, thank you for the 15 months. JT Surfs, cheers for the resub. Uh, Pit Numa, thank you for the 66. Dresden, thank you for the 32. I only had a bathroom for men and one one for women. The line one night for the women's room was so long I had to check what was going on. Thought some people were probably doing drugs, but nope, the toilet broke and instead of telling someone, 15 plus women went and did them. Oh my god. I guess if you've queued through that line, you're desperate. So you're just going to go, aren't you? I guess that's the... Like, if you... I, I'm not... I'm, I guess I am defending him, Rex, but here I go. If you just queued 20 minutes for a piss and you're in a club, chances are you didn't go to the loo until you really needed it. And now you've queued for 20 minutes. 
And then if you're going to not go, you've got to leave that queue that you were just in to go and report it to someone, thereby having to join a queue at the back again when it's your turn to go, you know. It's either piss on a load of mess or, or piss yourself, I would imagine, by that point, you know. But yeah, that's bad, isn't it? There is nothing worse than being desperate for a piss and having to wait and stand in line. It, there's, thankfully, as blokes, it, we, we don't have it as hard. Like, if you go to a stadium or something, like like when we went to the Blur gig in July, you know, like, the blokes can just walk in and walk out. Even if there is a queue, you're literally, like, walking in and walking out through the queue even, you know. But if you've got a queue for the ladies' loo, uh, something like that, the queue can be painful. A lot of kids preload nowadays, and or people used to do that a bit back then, but not as much as now. I think you're very true, though. A lot people used to preload back then. I never did. I was fucking dumb. But uh, my missus used to like meet up with a couple of mates, and they'd, they'd all get ready for the night out together. Uh, they'd get ready, like her and a couple of girls. They'd get ready and probably have a couple of drinks while they were doing it, and then go out, like half cut, and save a bit, of, bit of dough. Moonlander, that's bad too. The pre-game, yeah. Is it me or is this taking fucking ages? I'm trying to go to the tents. It just feels like it with the highest saturation of... Uh, The highest saturation of loot spots. I obviously did just pick up a mushroom and eat it as well, which is a slight worry because mushrooms normally imply players have been through, so there may be people already here. Yeah, I, I just. The tents are a bit of a worry with regards to zombies. But uh, just making sure I've loaded my block bag. But there's the most amount of loot in the smallest amount of space. I fucking hate these tents, though. Like, if I come to these tents lone wolf, it's 50-50, right? I either see nobody and live, or I see nobody and die. But that's basically what happens when I come to these tents. It's partly because it's a it's a tremendously hard area to overwatch, and it's also mainly as well because I, I normally just do what I'm doing now and just go in. I don't fucking overwatch. I was promised I was promised NVG helmets at this place, so I'm expecting to find them straight away. Nighttime with NVGs at Tissy could be like fucking epic, right? It could be amazing. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's a helmet. That's a dead zombie that I didn't kill. And I've just fired two suppressed shots, so now they may know I'm here as well. Dead zombies only last about six minutes before they respawn, so it's somebody that's been here recently enough. I still look for the helmet for a little bit longer, but I think I'd better stop looking for now and start looking for the dude.
Fuck. Can't see him. Can't see him at all. I, it, the zombie was going towards the wall. Fucking for real. Why am I got so many zombies on me? This has been a nightmare. The suppressor is working so well for him. Is that a zombie or a, dead, a dude? I think it was a zombie. I have two bleeds. How stressful is this? Holy shit, the M79 got ruined by something or other. I don't know what. Maybe the zombies. I'm gonna go prone and let the, let the zombies de-aggro for now. I don't know where the guy is, but I'm kind of stuck for now. That was so stressful. Holy shit. It got ruined the moment you got two bleeds. Well, I was being hit by Zeds, but I didn't know zombies would that like ruin your your gun. I don't think he shot it. Maybe the guy shot it. had a gas go off. Watch it land here. Dark vet, I don't know the stats on mushroom spawning. Dude, I think it's a bit random. It, it, they spawning based on players in the area, but I don't think there's a set time when one definitely is in. Angry Fluff, Ninja Clark, thank you for the follows, Dark, sorry, for the resubs, Dark Steel, thank you, sorry, Tom Steel, thank you, Dark Vet, cheers for the bits. Uh, Nigel, uh, Nigel Gel UK, thank you very much for the Prime as well. I've turned my audio up, but all I'm hearing are these fucking Zeds.
how am I going to find a combat helmet now? That was so stressful. I've no idea where the dude is. He may have pushed pushed back because of the DMR. Like the, the DMR might have uh, made him push back. He was obviously near that sandbag compound area. The sort of, the sort of sandbag horseshoe. And I'm pretty sure he was kind of crouched in a bush, but I just couldn't see him. And I'm sure if I'd looked while he was shooting, I'd have seen him. But if I'm standing still looking for him, I'm not going to fucking live, am I? He's going to he's gonna shoot me. That was so tricky. He should have had some zombies to deal with himself. He might be on that, that hill on the far side. That's where a lot of people would go, like overwatch from that, that little slope on the far side there. And he definitely pushed down towards me, but then he must have pushed back. MVGs. I, like, I could carry on hunting this guy in the night, but if I don't find MVGs like in the next, I don't know, five minutes, I'm going to have to back away. I can't do this in the dark when I know there's a player here. He could have MVGs as well. Yeah, people hide in the big bushy tree next to the tower, yeah. Fucking hell! Don't see that fucker! Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck, he broke my fucking legs, bollocks! That's so harsh, he broke my fucking legs and now I'm done. Fair enough. GG to him. I couldn't get my gun raised. I tried like three times to raise my gun when I was on the ground and it wouldn't raise, but I think I was still, for a lot of that, doing the animation of the broken leg. <sighs> All I could do was spam bullets in his direction, but man, that sucks. GG to him, though. He played it well. He came and waited and it was so dark. Just couldn't see him, you know, but oh man, that sucks. I didn't even have time to turn the gamma up, which I can do now, but yeah, no more DMR. I, I don't think I hit him, no. I was spamming bullets in his direction, but most of my shots were speculative. I saw him briefly, but I didn't really have the time to... Uh, I couldn't really aim, like, as in, like, aim down the scope, I mean. I just was spamming bullets in his direction, because that was my, felt like my best hope. Oh, man, that sucks. Losing a DMR in MVGs, that really sucks. But coming back to what I said when I, when I arrived there, and the reason I died, in, in my opinion, is because I went to the tents and didn't check it for players first. I think that's why I died. Like, I went to the tents, I didn't bother looking for players, and then, sure enough, there was one, you know. But th there's a reason why, like, it's dark now, and I needed to find the NVGs, so... There was... Knowing that you're doing something dangerous, but doing it anyway, is something I do quite a lot, but... I, I should have checked the tent for players, but I wanted the, the helmet for the night vision before it got dark, and now it is, you know. The broken leg was an absolute shitter, you know, but these things happen. I ain't too worried. At least I died with a chance. I just didn't kill him, you know. 16,000 hours and you still find a new excuse. If you say so, Aiden, uh, the reality is everybody dies. I don't think it's an excuse when you're talking through the decisions you made that lead you to dying. Uh, 
Death Dealer, thank you for the three months. Rodimus, Zodaro, thank you very much for the resubs as well. Ninja Clark and Angry Fluff before that, thank you. Fired with the Glock to look cool. Uh, I don't think so. I fired with the Glock because you shooting a suppressed pistol in the tents is a lot safer than taking your gun away and meleeing. I, I think if I've got a suppressed pistol, I'm going to use it for zombies because you're much more likely to get killed with a knife in your hands trying to melee than you are with a gun. Not if it's a player in 50 me meters. Savage, so what you're saying is it's safer to kill zombies by meleeing them when a player's within range of hearing you, chances are, than, they, than it is to shoot them with a suppressed pistol. I... I I don't think either of those things are safe. I don't agree. I think the safest thing to do is to, to look for players before you go in. But sometimes if you're in a hurry and night time's coming, you might not do that, right? I think I, I, I'm comfortable making the decisions I made. You can see how these things happen. But when you've made those decisions, that's Daisy, isn't it? When you make the decisions and then you, they, they lead to your death, you can think about what decisions you made and maybe what you could have done differently, you know? I just wish I'd got there a little bit quicker. Maybe I pissed around at the airfield too long and then it was getting dark, so I rushed it a bit. You know, if I'd gone a bit quicker, we could have looted it during the day, you know, but shit happens. There is a command for last death on Twitch, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know if it'll be up to date yet, but yeah. I'm not worried. I, th I think if I had it again, obviously, hindsight is always twenty twenty, right? But if I was going to Tissy again at that time, I'd look for players a bit more before I go in and then aggro zombies and shoot them and stuff, you know? But uh, the reality is, every time you ever die in Daisy, you can always think of a decision you wish you'd done differently. But everybody dies. My God, was that stressful, though. I was just, like, speculatively firing the M79. And he, it, I thought he would go to one of the two places where he... Like, it was that hill or the other hill, right? Unfortunately, he was on that hill, and I went right near him. But it was so dark, he could hear me as I'm moving, and he was in a good spot just waiting, you know, and, and played it very well. Uh, KO9 Hunter, thank you for the 31 months. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look how dark it is now. Fucking hell. It, that does suck. That's a really painful death, that one. Just because I only got one kill with the DMR. And I had NVGs as well, but didn't get to use them. You know, both of those things really fucking suck. <laughs> Holy shit, is it dark now. Are you interested in the scuba diving on Deer Isle? Uh, me and Ish are doing Deer Isle tomorrow. So yeah, I am. I, I haven't seen any of the any of the teasers about it yet, but we're doing Deer Isle tomorrow, so yeah. That's the intention. Looting Berezino in the dark when you've just had all that stuff is such a fucking disappointment. <laughs> it's such a fucking yeah. come down, you know? It yeah. sucks balls. Yeah. Uh, you've lost me at the word modded vanilla. Uh, is it milk? Uh... If it's modded and vanilla, it's not vanilla, it's modded. So if you want true vanilla, then you've got spaggy servers. If you mean lightly modded, then you've got... Excuse me. If you mean lightly modded, then you've got zero if you want to do winter churnerus, or day one if you want to do uh, uh, non-winter churnerus. But uh, vanilla means no mods.
Michael Jackson Thriller jacket. Who knows it? There's a bit more space, I suppose. Oh man, that fucking sucks. I guess if one of the Twitch mods, I don't think I can change the title on YouTube, but I, I, can, I probably can, but I don't think the mods can, I don't know, but if one of the mods can change the title so it doesn't mention the DMR, that would probably be good. One sec, guys. I'm not. I am seeing YouTube comments. I was just double tra trying to double check. Apparently, the Running Man film was released on this date in 1987. Blimey! There's a remake coming fairly soon, I believe. Am I underselling the attraction to Spaggy service? I don't think so. No, he asked for a he asked for a modded server, so I'm not going to talk heavily about Spaggy servers. But no, uh, I don't think I'm doing that, no. Pretty sure I'm not. The dude asked for a modded vanilla server, which I'm guessing he means lightly modded, which means Spaggies wouldn't qualify. Can't remake The Running Man. I think it, I think they can. I, I quite like the original. Obviously, it's where the name of this stream comes from, this channel comes from. But I think they definitely can, on the basis that the original wasn't really very close to the Stephen King book. And so they probably can make one that's a bit closer to the to being in line with the book. You know, that they can definitely do that. I think there might be some mileage in it being pretty decent as well. It's only his worst. F oh, those those one liners are what those films at that time were all about. That's they should be celebrated. There's a line that the bad guy, not the bad guy, the uh, Killian's bodyguard says right near the end. He's, he's got a beard and he's been in a hell of a lot of films. He was actually in Gladiator, I think. Maybe not actually, not the same dude. But he's been in a lot of different things as a bad guy or a big, big muscly guy. He's some, some kind of like Scandinavian fella. I forget his name. But anyway, there's a line in the film that goes, I've got to score some steroids or something like that right near the end when... Uh, Killian suggesting his bodyguard uh, defends him and the bodyguard says no he's like not going to kill it he's not going to like put his life on the line to defend Killian he's just going to let him get done by Schwarzenegger and there's a like there's the line I'm pretty sure he says I've got to score some steroids but I must have watched that back on VHS about 157 times trying to work out what he said <laughs> I just couldn't quite get it but it was probably because of the quality of the recording Here's your Sub-Zero, now Plane Zero. What the fuck does that even mean? Well, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, you know? I think, I think, I think that's pretty, now Plane Zero, that's just fine, you know? He's dead, none. He's null and void, gone. I don't dislike it, I think they're, they're fine. I'd like a knife or some matches. So then I can light this uh, this broom. Sven Ol Thorson. Was he the guy in Gladiator or was he... I, I know he was in other films. The guy in Gladiator with the mask that fights Russell Crowe. Like the big guy. What happened to Buzzsaw? Yeah, he had to split. How do I like the DMR? I like it better when it's in my hands rather than a distant memory. guy was in Predator with a minigun. Uh, the guy in Predator with a minigun was, was Jesse Ventura, who was in... He did play Captain Freedom in the, in the Running Man film, but that's not the same dude. He's pretty funny in the Running Man, actually. He gets a, a, a decent role. Like, he's got... He's got great on-screen charisma. Jesse Ventura was a wrestler, I think, wasn't he? Jesse the Body Ventura. 
Did I watch the Loki finale? Not yet. No, I haven't seen the week before. So I, I started watching it and I, I had to turn it off. The second to last episode, I think. I, I started watching it and I was, I was, I'd had a couple of drinks, to be honest. And I started watching it and I was like, I don't understand what the fuck I'm watching. So I turned it off. I haven't been back since. Navy SEAL, wrestler and governor of Minnesota. I knew, I knew all of that except for the Minnesota bit. Only in a rerun, kid. I quite like the taste of Cadre Cola. I quite like films from around that time and their takes on the future. Everything was like like Orwellian, dystopian, futuresque, you know, and it, it, it's not far from the truth in many ways, you know, like, uh, like how the future was depicted in films like Robocop or even The Running Man, you know, like... In some ways, we're a bit like the, the amount of reality TV we have, you know, we we don't have climbing for dollars, but we do have people being chased by, by dogs and we have people going on, like, TV eating fucking kangaroos anus in front of Ant and Deck just because they've lost their celebrity status a bit and they want to get it back, you know, like, like C-list celebrities will quite, ap quite happily go on the telly and eat kangaroo bollocks for, a, I don't know, 100 grand and a chance at stardom again. I started watching 1984 the other day. I've never seen it before. Uh, I started watching it, but it got really late, so I turned it off. I've still not finished it yet, but I need, I need to need to watch that. I've seen bits of it on the telly before, years ago, but I, I, I don't remember it very well. Oh, God, this is a tricky thing. Like what? I'd much rather the CR. Do I drop... I'll drop the shotgun. Moonlander, interesting. Commando, Commando, they don't make them like that anymore, do they? Commando was a decent film at the time. I've seen that a lot when I was allowed. I used to have that. That was on one of the, f the films on rotation with like Temple of Doom and Back to the Future and the Goonies and whatnot. That got watched a lot when I was a kid. Police Academy 1. You can see me and I'm a celebrity next year. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm quite well known enough for that. Like, I know, like, sometimes the celebrity is, like, the husband or wife of a former, like, somebody you know, you know, like, so what are you in here for? Well, I'm, I'm half-sister to such and such. You know? That, that seems to be the way now, so may, maybe I might get in that way, but I, I don't think so. to be able to make a fire. How have I eaten a whole packet of rice and I'm still yellow health? Jenny Allen, as a rule, streamers don't want to say what server they're on. Dude. Like, it's like, uh, it's, it's just like suicide to tell everyone what, what server you're playing on. So normally streamers won't share that info, dude. Bush Pounder, I don't play off stream anymore. No, occasionally. Like, if, like, if I have real bad news or if I'm really down in the dumps, like, just to get away from it all, in the past, like, I think the night, the night my dad died, I think I, I played a couple of hours of Daisy. Like, just no mic, not, not talking to anyone. So, I, I've, I, I've played briefly, like, normally less than five hours a year, though, if I'm honest. Uh, but the, the reason for that is that, much like anything that you do for a living, like, you want to get away from it. Like, I love streaming and I love Daisy, but... I get enough of it on stream to not need to play it off stream, you know. A bit like, I guess, how, like, I don't know, chefs tend to eat crap when they cook for themselves because they've been cooking all day, so when they get home they have, like, a pot noodle or something, you know, like... I'm 
still smarting about that DMR. I'm, at least I didn't die for the lack of firing bullets, if that makes sense, you know. Like, I, in the past, like I spammed a whole mag in his direction and it was all speculative shots, but I'd, I'd rather die doing that than than pushing and I, I don't know at least I had a go I suppose you know I, it wasn't for the for the lack of firing bullets his way vaguely hoping for the best I couldn't see exactly where it was it was a bit too dark so I just spammed a whole mag roughly where he was a bit unlucky not to connect I think but there we go yeah like you say Adam I could have just got one tapped in the back I don't know how you're playing, I can't see shit. Well, you've got Gamma as well, so it's not even as dark. This is how I'm playing, pretty much. It's not that black. It's this black. That, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, one sec, guys. Sorry, I just realised that bottom left-hand corner won't be... The number won't be updating. Let me just turn that on. That back. There we go. But you didn't, you got your ass kicked again. Captain Farty, if, if you don't like it, or if you just want to be a bit of a bastard, you can always go somewhere else. I'm fine with that. I know you're a bit cantankerous, but I, I did what I did. You, sh you should start a stream. I reckon you'd be brilliant. You'd be even more of a misog than me, miserable fucker. <laughs> I don't think he said anything bad there, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Redline, by the way, you know, it's just... He's, he is a bit of a Mizog, but aren't we all? Oh, no, I, I know there's, there's plenty of history there, but I'm just meaning now. It's all good. That, that deer sounds like it's stuck in some kind of... Uh, I know, stuck step deer. It, it does sound like he's uh, not having a fun time. Oh yeah, I need to turn the gamma back on, don't I? Yeah, I am pretty sarcastic. Captain, but the, the 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 trick is with with text. You can't see it unless you let people know you're being sarcastic. You know it's tricky. Like I can inflect a little bit of a dry sarcastic twinkle in my eye into vocals that you can't do with text, right? But nonetheless, I didn't. I I took it as intended. You know, you're a miserable fuck, same as me. <laughs> so I'm not bothered. It's all good. It is, it is always tricky. I do occasionally read things wrong, but sometimes I don't. You never know. I might want those. I think that, that deer is getting hit by, by zombies. So we might be able to go and get a free, free deer meat if I can just find a pissing knife. Well, a knife, not a pissing knife. them for a second. I don't really want to be using this broom as a melee weapon, but I'm carrying it so I can light it and get the plus symbol in a minute. That's the plan. Insert some kind of ageist joke here. Happy 83 months. Yeah. You must be getting old as well, though, right? You must be. <laughs> Joito, thank you for the resub. Uh, Molly, Mollusk, thank you for the for the uh, nine months. Just just tuned in for that. I couldn't see him for shit. Yeah, you and me both, dude. I couldn't see him. The first time was even harder. The first time he was shooting at me. His suppressor ruined as he was shooting at me then. I wish it had ruined a touch earlier. It would have helped, but never mind. 
Uh, KO9 Hunter Bush Pounder, thank you for the resubs. Uh, Mr. Mollusk Bush Pounder again, thank you for the tip. I just got into Deer Isle over, Deer Isle over the weekend, can't get enough excited to watch tomorrow, man. I've been watching all your past videos, thanks for the great loot run knowledge, thank you. Cheers for coming in, cheers for the support, dude. Original Grizzly, uh, gotta respect the hard work you put in now, hurry up and find some MVGs, yeah. Well, we might get MVGs, but we're a ways away now, aren't we? Don't fucking we need them anymore, got no gear to protect, but yeah, hopefully. Uh, not to make that actually, we'll do that in a sec. I need lots of meds, but I need a knife. Uh, thank you for the support, Grizzly. Uh, Dragon Drip, thank you for the 10 months. Spooders, thank you for the 6. Dark Vet, uh, on the death clip, your DMR was ruined as he broke your legs. So, oh, was it? So he ruined my gun. Oh, that, that might be why it wasn't letting me aim it then. So he, he not just broke my leg, he ruined my gun. Do you know what? That's, that's fucking hilarious. Because now he won't get the DMR. That's beautiful if he ruined it. That's that that's like like poetic justice from my point of view. If the DMR's ruined, dude, that's good. I am quite pleased he doesn't get it, the fuck. Uh yeah, good spot though, Dark Vet. Good spot. Uh Oh, since you're such a big deal, you should demand Redline as a teammate in lights out just for the content. <sighs> I don't know, demanding Redline, it's like signing your own death warrant, isn't it? Played with that guy before. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, sorry. Not oh, sorry. Right, maybe we'll get a knife over here. Look at that. It's getting getting bright. Daylight is upon me. One day you'll uh, I'll admit my love. What? My love for you? Me. I don't know, I, I ought to be trying to gain faith. In, in the uh, mod discord, Redline shared a picture of his kitchen. It's bigger than my fucking house. I'm pretty sure your kitchen's bigger than my house. <laughs> I, I need to get into what you do, you know, like that. I need to get into that. NA Vanilla-ish servers. Uh, day one are the only American servers that I know of that are Vanilla-ish. They are lightly modded, but they're they're the best ones, I think. I don't I don't know other American servers that are mod lightly modded. I'm sure, somebody will though. <laughs> Shut in the house, look. If I can get a knife, we've got plentiful supply of food, but I just need the need the knife. I said I I I I I, I want the knife. Please. You'd think we'd have killed a zombie with a steak knife on him by now. Choo choo. Uh. Fuck me. They call me the Nostradamus of loot. The Nostradamus of loot, they call me. It's funny, when you stream, it's funny how many times you talk things in. I'd have thought we'd have found a uh, SVD by now, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, radiator, close. Fucking hell. Look at these, they're all like... They're all like, he looks tasty. Oh 
Why is the broom so shit? It was a stuck step there. Did you see it? Look. How many hits with a broom to kill a deer do we think? I think quite a few. This could be on Pearl Hub as well. I think I've seen a video a little bit similar to this. Is counting 17 plus 4 melee hits. Here's a bit of noise, isn't it? it when a plan comes together. Do you know what? I should take some bones, shouldn't I? That take some bones for the next knife because this steak knife is badly damaged. Let's have some bones as well. There's probably been some people in the chats telling me to take the bones, but I thought of that all on my lonesome, okay? It's like a pub, you know, it's a pub and that's the, like, the little or the ornament or whatever, you know, on the top. It's called the stag's head, the pub. He looks good, doesn't he? Skybox makes him look all the better as well, doesn't he? Maybe the pub's called the Dalmore by the look of it. It could be called the Dalmore. Make a picture. I've got to go and wash my uh, wash my hands. Oh, come on, then, love. She wants a fisting. <laughs> a stranded elk. It could be called. Here's this. This is a good name for that pub. The Left Behind. <laughs> I don't know if that really works or not, but it sounded good. Whoa there! Fuck me! Oh, <laughs> shit, <a> girl! <laughs> he waited till I killed the zombie. Holy shit, that scared me. I turned in t turned around just in time to get a face full of fucking shotgun. Uh, Bearded Stew, thank you for the four months. Yiggy, thank you for the prime. Cinch Dozer, thank you for the 22 months. We've got Solnichi now. Mm. Ugh. Uh, Boonie Spur, there once was a fella named Paul and Streaming Daisy was his call. But 3,000 Twitch subs just wasn't enough, so he thought, fuck it, I'll stream on them all. <laughs> very good. Boonie. Uh, Jano, thank you very much for the support. Jano Baker, Tony. Dark Vet, thank you as well. Headphone warning, I should say. Uh, Skibs, thank you for the 19 months. Uh, Lupin, the return, thank you very much. Yiggy, Beardy Stew, thank you for the resub and new sub. Yiggy420. Bit late was the warning. Yeah, I'd forgotten how loud it was. I'm wearing headphones. I didn't. I'd forgotten. These things happen. Electro. 
At least Electro's a different loot route, right? That's kind of cool. Something we haven't talked about, but people were tweeting about yesterday, including Sumrec. Daisy hit its all-time high player base yesterday. 69,000 or more it was. So, like, I, I've still, I've seen people saying on YouTube and on Twitter in the last few days that Daisy is dead. Yet it's, it's just hit its all-time high player base again, which is insanely cool, right? How cool is that? We need the Tyrion Z suicidal female emote. Yeah, I don't know. That that was an interesting conversation on Twitter, wasn't it? <laughs> I, like, I I had a bit of a tete -a with Spaggy on Friday. It was fine. I actually Spaggy is a proper mate. I really like Spaggy, and dis despite that, and then we we briefly talked on open Twitter on Sunday. But despite that, we're okay. We're fine. I've talked to him in Twitter DM. We're all good. So there's no there's no real drama. Uh, but Spaggy is uh, how he is on Twitter, and sometimes I'm a bit sensitive on Twitter, and so these things happen, right? But anyway, that's by the by. The, the actual thing, though, is something that what what really kind of I find interesting in that is that people want to tell you why you shouldn't be interested in something, which I find really annoying, right? So on this particular server, that's definitely not hosted by Spaggy, and I'm not saying what server I'm in, of course. Uh, when you die, you can't choose your character, so you can't do the custom save character. So I can't play as uh, Burnside, my favourite character. I can't play as him, D.I. Burnside. But they've got the, uh, like now, when you run, if you go unconscious, say you fall off a height and fall, break your leg and fall unconscious, you can't respawn either. So it, it's a bit tricky on, on this server to suicide so that you can become a male character, which I think is perfectly reasonable, you know. So uh, like if, if, if you usually play as a bloke dude rather than a lady dude, then you get used to the game sounds and they can be a bit jarring, you know. If you if you play as a lady and you don't normally, then the breathing is sound is a bit different. Uh, the injured sounds are a bit different. And whilst it's no big deal and you can soon get used to them, it's a mild thing. And some people like to play as a man because they're a man. Some people like to play as a, a lady because they're a lady, you know. But I think that's okay too. It's no big deal. But anyway, you like, what, what surprises me about all of that is that there are people that you'll, you'll be like, I kind of like playing as a male character. And people feel the need to say, I see absolutely no reason whatsoever why you'd ever need to play as a male character. Like, well, well, thanks for sharing. <laughs> like, like why, why am I wrong? You know, like, why, I'm, not, I'm not saying I have to be a man because I think they're the better sex or some bollocks like that. I, they, <laughs> but I can't be wrong. It's just what I think, you know. It's, it's a bit weird that. Like, I, I, people, will, I, I guess we all will do it. We'll all, we'll all like randomly talk the shit. I think that's really where we're heading, isn't it? As a human race, we're gonna, we're gonna discuss the hell out of things on the internet until we all slowly decay into nothingness. But nonetheless, as a talking point, I always struggle. Like when, when people say I like this, and then someone else has to say, I see absolutely no reason why you should like that. And you're like, well, all right, well, thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> any game I always pick a woman because I'd much rather look at one uh, I, I certainly I, I've done that in the past with certain games but with DayZ with it being quite immersive I, I prefer to be a bloke not that it really matters that much that's toxic masculinity now is it oh dear I think the ability to not not respawn when you're unconscious as a server choice is kind of a cool one. It does stop people then from chickening out, chickening out of interactions. So, say you have somebody that's trying to kill you as a new spawn, and you you knock them uncon. Like you can tie them up and then wait till they wake up and like 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 have some fun with that player. But if they can just give up, then that that sucks a bit. You you miss out some on on the interaction, you know. So. It would be good to be able to, uh, to... It's good to be able to not have people do that. Can't tell from a woman's beard how long she's been alive. I know.
Evening, watching on YouTube and saying hi on Twitch. I believe the video quality on YouTube is better. Lots of people feel it's the other way around, but if you're watching it somewhere, you're happy. I'm happy. Uh, personal opinions aren't regarded as respectable anymore these days. Group group uh, thoughts dominate. Yeah, there is a little bit of that. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of what what we all do this. I fall into the trap of doing it. I'm trying not to, but people tend to think that what they think is what the majority think because that's what they think. You know, that's a really common thing as well. Like, like just because it's their opinion, they assume it's the most popular opinion somehow. That's really common. Good advice for a better life. Never use Twitter. I, I think that actually is probably true. I do like Twitter or X. I do like it. I, there are things I like about it, but... There are things I don't, you know, like, it can be like a negative wormhole into your brain, unfortunately. Like, just depends on what's happening and what the state of things are. Sometimes you you, you go on Twitter and you look at, like, I follow a lot of Daisy things, and sometimes it's really negative and sometimes it's really positive, you know, like like anything, really. But I like Twitter as a platform. I, uh, I probably could do with going on it a touch less sometimes. I think that's definitely the truth. I had lots of fun on Twitter this morning, you know. I, I, I was on Twitter, I saw a few threads. I replied to Pansy, who's a shoutcaster, with some silly thing. I replied to Break with a silly thing. Replied to Redline with a silly thing. This morning, I really enjoyed about half an hour or 20 minutes on Twitter or whatever, but sometimes it can be frustratingly, gnawingly annoying, you know. The problem, I guess, is that I need Twitter, really. It's kind of useful if... If you're a stream douche, or a YouTube douche, then having social media is kind of wise, I suppose. Are the negative comments from verified users? I don't think so. I think the whole verified, not verified thing is an irrelevance to me. I've not seen it yet, Moving Floors. I, 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 I want to watch it. I watched the trailer for it last night, actually. I watched the trailer while the missus was around in the hope that she'd think, oh, actually, that looks pretty good, but she doesn't really like action films, so I need to watch that one when she falls asleep. Do I watch eSports? I, I used to watch PUBG a little bit. Uh, Pansy used to comment on uh, eSports. Pansy plays DayZ sometimes, so uh, I know she is from that as well, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen a little bit. I've watched a bit of CSGO and I've watched a bit of PUBG. She's an extraordinarily good shoutcaster, by the way. She, Like, if, if she was on doing CSGO back in the day or maybe PUBG, it was normally better than when she wasn't on, for me personally, anyway. Yeah, she well, that, that spooky, I, I'm, I'm sure she does still do it. She's brilliant at it. Like, uh, in fact, she was talking about Valorant on the tweet I replied to. Dave Sardine. Interesting, interesting, yeah. It is, that is a weird thing. I, I don't really want to get hooked on politics, but my God, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's desperation calling, isn't it? You know, like, what the hell can I do? Let's get the band back together. <laughs> like, I'm all out of ideas. What's, what's next? Fucking Hessel time. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know if Michael Hessel time's still alive. Yeah, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know. But yeah, let's not get deep into politics. It's not it's not worth it. Yeah, it won't be long now, malevolent. <gasps> not that things will improve any. Oh yeah. I forgot it did that. <clears throat> I'm actually quite glad I got this spawn. I'd rather do this spawn than the Berezino one, to be honest. This is kind of cool, but it is a shame that we wasted like 25 minutes, half an hour before getting shot by the shotgun fucker. <laughs> Running man's, I don't like you. At that point, I was going, oh no. And but then the message follows up, Kevin, with, but I follow you because I love you. Interesting. Now I'm getting stalkery vibes. I follow you because I love you. Uh, in my car while you go out on your walk. I've got no pants on. <laughs> what happened to the DMR life? I died. I died it at the at the uh, at Tissy military base.
Whiskey Joe, thank you for the 12 months. Nagol, thank you for the Prime. Uh, cheers for the support. Jack Burton, you got YouTube Premium yet? I have it and love it. I haven't got it yet, but it's coming, dude. It's coming when I can be bothered. Whiskey Joes, thank you for the 12 months. Cool Hand Luke, how was the YouTube dinner meeting? It was amazing, dude. I did tweet a, a couple of things, a little video of me going through the tunnel at Anfield, so I got to touch the This Is Anfield sign, which was kind of cool. I didn't suddenly transform into, like, one of the world's best footballers and sprint out onto the pitch magnificently, like a prancing horse, though. Uh, but yeah, I, I, the, the Anfield trip was amazing. Made more amazing by the fact that uh, Nico Leonard, one of the, well, the biggest watch YouTuber, like, was there, and I basically spent, like, two hours talking to his group. But it was, it was great. I love watching you play, Daisy. Through the window. Uh, it was really good. He is exactly like like how he is in the videos, Nico Leonard. He's exactly like that. He, he, he uh, maybe because it was a YouTube event, but he, he is properly wired. Like his eyes are a little bit more alive than most people are, unless they're uh, uh, using certain means to make them a bit more alive. Now I'm not suggesting he is, but he's very very much a live wire. Let's say. Nico roasting influence with fake watches. Yeah. It, 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 I, I like his videos. I, I, I avoided them at first because the thumbnails were so clickbaity and the titles were so clickbaity and put me off. But when you've watched a few and you understand that he's not just a clickbait monster, he really knows what he's talking about. And like, I, he really does know what he's talking about, you know. I always thought he was Irish. Yeah, no, he was. Uh, he was. He's, he's from uh, Holland, or Dutch. He's Dutch, isn't he? He's from the Netherlands. I didn't know this, actually. I'm, it may be in some of his videos, but he used to... He played for the Ajax youth team as well. So we were at Anfield, and he played at Anfield for Ajax youth as well. Ever tried a life when you only use 357 and dress like a cowboy? I might have done years ago, Luca, when it, like in the old game. I might have let myself use a Blaze with a Magnum, actually, but I think I did. Blaze with no scope and a Magnum. Weren't you supposed to do a team up with Lottie today? Hurricane, yeah, she did. She's tweeted a little earlier, but she's no longer streaming today, so that one's no longer on, unfortunately. But I was meant to be playing with Lottie, but she's not streaming today. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I spent quite a long time talking to him and his group. He has like a couple of Pride Opinion guys were there. Uh. And on top of that, I uh, like they were after the event. The event only en it finished at half nine. They were going into Liverpool C City Centre, and I could have gone. I could have gone. I could have gone and carried it on, but I didn't. I, I went back to my hotel room uh, to be sensible, which is kind of. I'm almost a bit frustrated that I did, but it was the right thing to do. Do you think Daisy should improve the MP5? I think the MP5 is better than you think, if I'm honest. The MP5 is pretty decent. Sorry, guys, just alt tab for a sec. Oh, that sucks. Oh, sorry, I was just reading my emails for a sec. Uh, there may be an advert going to YouTube for Raid Shadow Le Legends, or whatever it's called. Uh at some point soon. Now, I, I I didn't say this, but I don't really like the, the whole free mobile phone game model and then they put paywalls in so that you have to pay money. But I, I'm doing a charity stream in uh, in December, so I was going to take the sponsorship and then give all the money to uh, Alzheimer's Research UK. That was the... That's the so, if there is one, that's why I'm doing it, just, just as a heads up. But... I've just had an email come back to say it's been delayed or it might not happen now, so uh, that's a shame. Is the gamma still on? No, it's not. There was a knife in the rail building. All right, we'll have another look. Yeah, I, I'm not. I've never done mobile phone games, but if I could have done one the month before the charity stream, how these things work? You normally do the video. And then you can send the invoice, and then they normally have 28 days to pay. So I could have then sent it roughly around the time of the charity stream. I could have sent it. That might have looked like a knife there. 
ain't seeing no knife. Very knife. No. Maybe there is, but anyway. Yeah, that, that was my plan. Unfortunately, that's out the window now. I've never played Raid Shadow Legends, but I, I'm very anti the, the free game, but they then funnel you into paying crazy money. Like, at, at most, there, there's a Star Wars, sorry, not Star Wars, there's a Star Trek game that's kind of similar. I forget the name, but, like, both games, like, like I believe with games like Raid, there's like a, if they get 10 people to download it, or they get thousands of people to download it, obviously, they make something like an average of $240 per download. So you download this free game, but you end up on average spending 240 bucks. But for every four people, there might be three that spend no money. So that means somebody's spending like a grand nearly, you know. And at Fleet Command, yeah, that's it, Heza. Uh, I, I, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. It's a free game, and if you want to pay money to play it, that's your choice, you know. But... They're obviously set up to be like money milking machines, you know. I'm just personally, I don't like that model. It's a bit gambly, and I don't really want to do it. Uh, but in this occasion, for a positive reason, I'm like, well, I might as well do it. I might as well take the sponsorship, and and, and it's a, it's an easy way to raise a bit more with with very little effort. You know, it seemed like a fair thing to do. But Whales, they call them in these games, who who will spend a lot of money and move on. Exactly, Luma, yeah. Is Shroud still developing? Yeah, it's Shroud and Sacriel that are making a survival game. They, they announced it this year, so it, it'll be in development, but they announced it like as almost like a pre-production thing, so it may have only just... The wheels may have only just started turning on that, you know, so... I should think it'll be a year to 18 months before we see any footage, maybe. Maybe we won't, but... I think it'll be a while, anyway. How do I think about skins? Uh, I, w I wouldn't do a sponsorship for, like, loot boxes and or skins in a game. I, I think if it helps keep the game in development, then it would Like, should Dave e Daisy have skins, for example? I'm not saying it will. I, I don't think it will. But if it did, and it meant, well, I don't know, while you were looting, you found a blaze and then you happened to have a different skin, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. If that's how they funded more developers and more development and better patches and stuff, you know. But I don't like the gambling. I don't like CSGO keys and gambling and FIFA packs and stuff. But again, that's my personal preference because I used to be an addicted gambler. I, I don't like it. It never ends there though. Tails, well, I guess with some it does and some it doesn't. But with a game like DayZ, I don't think they will ever have skins that... that like, they'll never have pay to win. I Like, they'll never have it where you can, I don't know, pay to spawn with a warmer coat or pay to spawn with a gun or, like, if you've got this particular skin, you get better clothes from the off or whatever. I just, just don't think Daisy will ever do that. I just think it would be completely against the ethos of the game itself. Uh, Luca, they, they 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 had a map called uh, Greyman was the name of their map, but they haven't got a game out yet, as far as I know. Right, let me catch up with the alerts. Uh, Brookie, thank you for the 15 months. Uh, Snyderman, thank you for the gifted subs. That lo looks like about 10 gifted subs there, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. Including one to MD Alteza as well, amongst others. Uh, Chimney Live as well. Uh, yeah, dude, thank you very much. Marv's World, I can see some very regular viewers in amongst those, I think. Snyder Man Online, thank you for the gifted sub bomb, dude. That's really, really kind. Thank you. First time gambling, lost 1,000. Second time gambling, won 1,000. Never gambled again. Holy shit, dude. That's a lot to be losing on the first the first gamble. Grey Man was only up for a couple of months, dude. It, 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 it didn't last so long. Uh, they were really, really eager. And then they weren't. <laughs> uh, private servers on console got into trouble for trying to have people donate for gun packs. And yeah, well, it, you're not allowed to try and make money from servers in Daisy. You're allowed to do things like charge for Q priority, I believe. You're allowed to uh, accept uh, donations to keep your server running, but you're not allowed to do things like sell gear for money, or think you're not allowed to like have transactions in the game. It's against the terms of the, the game. 
Hello Tims, we've been watching your videos for a long time. This is one of the few times I've been able to catch you live. Just finished my master's degree. A lot of my assignments were spent alongside your videos. Just wanted to say thank you for carrying me through that crap. Sharpie, good luck. I hope you get the result you want to. No team up with Lottie Player 1. Lottie's not streaming today now, unfortunately. So that, that'll just be pushed to another day now, I think. Can you please try and set a better bitrate for YouTube? YouTube has higher bitrate and is looking good. Kalinsky, I, I can't, no. I, the way I'm streaming, I'm using one piece of software to stream to two sites, and I'm streaming at the max bitrate that I can on Twitch, so that just limits me, you know. like Unless I maybe set up two instances of OBS and streamed both of those, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Like, I don't have a separate stream PC, so having one PC that's doing two lots of processing and streaming and encoding and then recording with Shadowplay and then playing the game all on the same rig seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> and unfortunately, yeah, YouTube's quality at 1080p is really bad. It's much, much better at 1440p. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's either 1080p or no stream, really. Until Twitch ups their bitrate. If Twitch allows a higher bitrate, then I can up the bitrate on YouTube, but until they do, I can't. Six, six, six likes. I always forget you can like the stream. I always forget that. Yeah, smash that. I hate saying that. I'm, I'm not even going to finish the sentence. It makes me want to be sick in my own mouth. Don't hit the like button. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah, and it would look way better in 1440p, but I'd have to probably I'd have to stop streaming on Twitch to improve the YouTube quality. And uh, I am a like I I'm like a full time streamer for seven years plus on on you on Twitch, right? I was looking so hard for one of those on the last life. <laughs> Did I kill the diet Tissy? No, unfortunately not. He killed me. I, I He broke my leg and ruined my DMR in my hands. So he broke my leg, ruined the gun, and then I died, unfortunately. So no, he killed me. Nearly said you preferred Twitch. Well, as a, as a streaming platform, I do prefer Twitch. I'm not going to lie, I do. I, I, I'm proud to be a Twitch streamer. I'm proud to be a YouTuber as well, but if I had to stream on one platform, I'd definitely stream on Twitch, you know? That's that's not to say <laughs> it's not good, but the UI and the actual viewing experience is just better on Twitch at the moment than YouTube. I hope YouTube improves it. It's just not very good right now in some ways. The, the better picture quality, if you can go higher bitrate, is an amazingly cool thing, but... The actual viewing experience on Twitch isn't quite as good for my taste personally as YouTube. Sorry, isn't quite as good as Twitch on YouTube. One BK13 apple and three bullets. Uh, hmm. I'm afraid they're mine now. All your loots are for me. Heza McBain, thank you very much for the gifted subs. You're very, very kind. I love good carpet, dude. Thank you for the gifted subs as well. Uh, cheers for the gifted sub bomb. Control switch, thank you for the resub. Good carpet. I love good carpet. Thank you for the resub, dude. Uh, Heza McBain, thank you again. Uh, Wolfie, cheers for the 37. Uh, Corpse Killer, thank you for the bits. I was never going to fill up. I'm a UA designer and I love to hear stuff like that. It's my job security, yeah. I, YouTube has some plus points and Twitch had some plus points, but if, if I was going to stream on one, I would stream on... Uh, I would stream on YouTube. Sorry, I'd stream on Twitch. Fucking hell, I'm, I'm getting the two mixed up all over the place, aren't I? I... Just... I, it may not be the same for YouTube streamers, but... Maybe it's because of Twitch Prime, but there seems to be more of a culture of subbing on 
YouTube, on Twitch as well. God, I'm doing it again. Like, the memberships thing on YouTube is not as popular as the Twitch sub thing is on, uh, on Twitch. And I just think people, it's more in the culture of Twitch viewers to maybe subscribe to a streamer as well. So, in the cold, hard reality of being a full-time streamer, the culture on Twitch would support you doing it for a living a lot more than the culture of YouTube would do. Screw Twitch, it's where, as Twitch allows too much bullshit to be streamed on their their platform, it's extremely inappropriate. Crown, all of that stuff and more is on YouTube, dude. You just haven't found it. Type licking ASMR into YouTube right now and go and see what you find. Maybe don't do it if your mum's looking at your monitor. But, like, it's all on YouTube, dude. It's just that YouTube is a search engine, so you don't find it unless you search for it. It's all there, dude. It, like... Trying to pretend that Twitch has worse content on it than YouTube is a fallacy. Like, you can go and find fucking snuff videos on YouTube, or you used to be able to, you know, which is awful. I, I hasten to add, I've not seen them, but you can. They, they, you can get actual murders on YouTube and stuff that, that like, like really bad content, of course, right? And, and then hopefully it gets taken down, but there, there is definitely the same kind of stuff on YouTube as there is on Twitch, dude. It's just that because it's a search engine, you have to go and look for it. Every time I open Twitch, there's a girl with her whole breasts out for months now. Well, all of that's on YouTube as well, like I say, but you have to search for it. I don't, I'm not trying to defend Twitch. I'm just pointing out that saying that Twitch is terrible because, but you're on a platform that's got it all on it on too. It's just that you haven't looked for it. You know, that's the that's the truth. And why should you? But the reason I'm saying that is that I remember watching one of Devin Nash videos, and he was talking about certain types of content. I was like, I bet that's all on YouTube too. So I just typed licking ASMR. And all the thumbnails come up, look like, like, cum shots and shit, you know? It's all on there, you know? It's all on YouTube right now. On Twitch, it's just in your face immediately without searching. Well, that's just the nature of the two platforms. One's a live stream platform and one's a search engine, you know? So, uh, that's not really Twitch's fault as such. And, um... I haven't I haven't snooped around just chatting or whatever you know like very often but I don't think I don't feel I when I go to the Twitch homepage I never see naked boobs myself I, I I might see a bikini streamer sitting in a in a hot tub or something but I don't normally see naked boobs very often in fact I never have there may be some body painting that goes on and stuff but I've never seen one of those streams so I, I wouldn't know It only shows you stuff that it thinks you would like based on your search history, so perhaps it's your fault. Well, I, I, I remember uh, once with my missus, like, we were talking about uh, Armoranth and that kind of streamer. We were having this chat. Actually, we were talking about how some people really hate it so much and how Twitch reacts to it. That's, and I was sitting in the bed with my missus talking about it, so I, we went and found an Armoranth stream, and we watched it for, like... I don't know, two minutes or something. And then for the next three weeks, I was constantly getting recommended armor and type streams. Whereas now, obviously, I don't anymore. So I, when I go to the Twitch homepage, I never see those kinds of streams, personally. Body painting is basically naked with nipple pads. Yeah, well, you don't, uh, you don't see full boobs. But we, we talked about this yesterday, but you need to be 13 or more to have a Twitch account. It's not just for gaming anymore. They also have... Uh, they also have, like, Bob Ross on, there's there's a creativity section, you could be on here, like, fixing cars, and you could be, you could be streaming, you have musicians streaming, and, like, playing songs, and writing songs, maybe busking in the street, there's streamers doing all sorts on Twitch, and for the betterment of the website, I think it's good that they don't focus solely on gaming, streaming in general seems like a good thing to do, so why not, you know, I, as far as body painting and girls sitting in bikinis, it's not something I'm desperate to see, but, you need to be 13 or over to have an account, you know. I, I think there's much more hardcore stuff around that 13-year-olds can find on the internet than the, what's on Twitch. It's it's just not really the biggest deal for me personally. And, and like I say, to be on YouTube saying, I won't watch Twitch, it's disgraceful, they have naked ladies, when you're watching on YouTube, which has way more hardcore content on it than, than Twitch does. 
pretending it doesn't is like having blinkers on. It's just that it's a search engine and you've not looked for it. So, yeah, YouTube is, is not like the fucking uh, moral high ground, really. It's not like Twitch does age checking or anything, to be completely fair. Well, I, I guess so, Twisted. I don't know. I can't remember when I set up my account. But to be fair, dude, they have like, you need to be this age to use th the platform. But it's not Twitch's responsibility to parent your children. I know you may not have children, but in general, you know, they can have the rule that you need to be 13 or over to have a Twitch account. But the person that's the kid that's using the phone should be parented by their parents, not by Twitch, right? That, that's, that seems fair enough. Like, you meant to be, I think it's 12 now, to have a TikTok account. I don't know, 12 or 13. Like, if you've got a nine-year-old with TikTok, that's the parents' fault. It's not TikTok's fault, is it, you know? I'm not defending. Well, I'm not. I, I'm not really interested, but I, I, I'm not I'm not defending it as such because I, I'm not really passionate that it stays. I'm not like, oh, it definitely should be, but I, I just don't think it's a big deal, you know? Like, people get so wound up about a, a girl sitting in a hot tub. Like, when I was 13, I, I think I was capable of seeing a girl sitting in a hot tub, you know? I just, I think it's it's a strange thing for people to get so wound up about. And most of the time, they're not really wound up about the fact that there's a girl in a hot tub. They're wound up about the fact that there's a girl in a hot tub making a lot of money. That That's really what it it's all about. It, it seems like easy money and it's not fair. That's the thing that winds people up. Of course it is twisted extra it, it's 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 for covering their asses but parenting's the job of the parents you know like it, like my my kid uh, my my now 14 year old wasn't allowed tiktok until she was 13 i i, I for, forbade it unfortunately my 11 year old has tiktok already and i've let it slide a little bit because her mum's allowed it and it, it's very hard for me i'm obviously i'm divorced i don't live with my kids i only see them every two weeks I've let it slide on the provider that she's provider that she's not she's got to keep her account private and she's not allowed to upload stuff, right? Which which she does, but I, if it were me, I'd be saying no. You've got to wait till you're 13. However, my 11 year old at 11 is much more mature than my 14 year old was at 11. If that makes sense, the younger one is way way older than her time at 11, whereas the 14 year old was a bit younger than her time at 11. If that if that makes any sense, so. Uh, it kind of, I'm not quite so bothered. But nonetheless, it's not Twitch's job to, to police who's on their platform. If you've got a 10-year-old that's on Twitch, that's their, their parents' job. It really is, isn't it? That's the way it should be. Uh, we're doing alright here. We're finding some half-decent shit again. I don't know why I got two, two lots of lighter, really, but there we go. Two lighters. Sometimes the youngest is the most mature. Craig, well, I think it's partly because they've got an older sister, I guess, but... Well, mine's got an older sister or an older brother, but... I think with my... When I was a kid, my sister's younger than me, and she was definitely older than I was for my time, but that might be a, a boy-girl thing as well, I think. Sometimes boys are boys are a bit more immature than immature than girls. Anyway, maybe you know certainly I was. Two boxes of matches also. Yeah, we really are doing it. It's just one of those things. I, I maybe I'm a little bit. I'm not defensive of it. I don't really care. Maybe I come across defensive, but like it's a weird thing. There's so many people that are like desperately advocating free speech and all this other bollocks. But they don't want a girl to be allowed to sit in a hot tub in a, in a bikini because they want free speech, but not like, like they don't want freedom, you know. Like, but the, to, to me, I'm not really one that's sort of like going on about free speech. I'm really not. But 
there are far worse things around the internet than a lady in a bikini for your 13 or 14 year old to stumble upon, you know? So I think there's bigger fish to fry, personally. Is this a fresh life after yesterday? Michael, I, I started on the DMR character today. Unfortunately, I lost it probably about an hour ago. I died at uh, Tissy Military Base. It was getting dark. I just couldn't see the fucker and piled loads of bullets into him and then he broke my leg, unfortunately, and so I was dead. Guys allow targeted ads from Twitch. Uh, Spartacus, Twitch doesn't really do targeted ads at the moment. They just have ads. They're not targeted. It's both Twitch's and the parents' responsibility, what you're talking about. How can it be, Crown? How, how can Twitch... What, what, you, uh, what ID do you have at the age of 13 to prove you're 13? Like, you, you go and start... Like, if you've got somebody in your shop and you can, you can stop them buying alcohol because they don't look 18, you can ask for ID, right? But what ID does a 13-year-old... You, are you really saying that websites like Twitch should not let you have an account unless you can prove your age at 13? You know, like, how many websites do you know that will ask for ID as well, you know, like, I, I, I just, like, how can you expect that to happen, you know, like, at the age of 13, you're not under the internet's uh, stewardship, you're, you're under your parents. I, I just, that's what I'm talking about. It's not reasonable to expect a website like Twitter or YouTube or TikTok or Twitch to try and prove you're 13. It's like, how the fuck can they do that? So what am I talking about? I'm just talking about how the internet is already. That's how it is. It's fairly reasonable, I'd say. It's like saying that a TV program should ensure that the person watching it is old enough to watch it somehow, you know? That's just bollocks, isn't it, you know? If it's on late at night and a kid's up watching it, what can the TV do about it? I, I don't agree. Uh, T. Sunik, thank you for the prime. Uh, T. Sunik, T. Sunik, uh, Dark Vet, thank you for the bits. I watched a YouTube video last night of you and Ish battling out of the ATC on Dear Al. Spoiler alert, you lost, but I think Ish cheated because he took five rounds of an Orge X to the face and lived. He did take a lot of rounds on my screen, or at least I felt he did, but he didn't on his screen and I was really injured, but that was a fun fight. He played that really well. You can find adult content if you go looking for it, but that's the point, you know, like, hence me saying that somebody in a bikini is not the worst thing on the internet. Oh, guys, gaming, how you doing? Oh, live on the YouTubes, love to see it. Uh, thanks for coming in, dude, appreciate it. Tim, yeah, uh, Tim, old guys, gaming, I... Twitch changed their rules on multi-streaming about three weeks ago, so I've been trying it. I think this is the fifth time I've done a stream on both platforms. Uh, I haven't completely made my mind up that it's going to be a forever thing, but so far I'm really liking it. I, I completely agree. I, 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 it, you can't have... Like, like Pornhub, for example, has warnings coming up wait, that, that say you must be 18 or over. If you go to, like, I don't know, like a whiskey website, it'll ask you to put in your date of birth. But you can just lie. What else are they meant to do, you know? Like, if you're going on to, I don't know, the Glenfiddich website and they want you to be 18 or over to go and look at their products, right? They can say you must be 18 or over, what's your date of birth? But what else should they do, you know? Are they meant to, like, every time someone tries to log on their website, they have to send, they have to send somebody round? to knock on the door and inspect the person to see if they're old enough or not, you know. The internet is the... If there's somebody, like a, a minor, looking at whiskey, that's the parents' fault, not, not the whiskey website's fault. That went well. You have to upload that invitation on Pornhub, do you? Well, not, not here, I don't think. But that might be a rule that was imposed locally. That's kind of a good rule, but... 
I guess because it's porn, that kind of makes sense, but I bet you don't have to upload identification for, uh, I don't know, the Jameson's website or something, or the Black, the, the Jack Daniels one or something. If you give a 13-year-old kid a phone with full access to the internet and no way of keeping check on them, that's on the... I agree, that's completely on the parents. That's exactly what I'm saying. Some kids have that, though. Some kids have unfettered access straight away because their parents don't understand very well. Like, a lot of parents are, are not as familiar with things like iPhones and whatnot as their, as their kids are, so the kids can, like... Pull their wool over the eye, the eyes of the parents in a way, you know. Guess what my nine and eleven year old want for Christmas? It's either an iPad or a phone, one or the other, but it probably both. Yeah, Gala Steve. Uh, my, my, mine are 14 and 11. They're, they're both got phones. But I think when when you're of an age where you're getting the bus to school, it's probably nowadays the age where phones are about reasonable. Like, they both have to go to the big school that's like six miles from where they live on the bus. So having a phone is probably okay at that age, I, th I think. When I was their age, there wasn't any phones. <laughs> uh, Frank, thanks for coming in. Zombie Negan, you reckon? How about a solution for the complainers about bikini streamers? If you don't stop complaining, I'll start streaming in a bikini. <laughs> Christ, that would that would definitely scare people away. I, I think it's okay not to like it, but like abstaining from a platform because they have some people in a bikini and staying on a platform that has way more sexualized content on it than that is is an interesting hill to die on, you know. I won't watch Twitch because of naked ladies, or semi-naked ladies, but I will watch YouTube that has way worse. Don't the majority of kids walk to school versus bus? Dig Dug, well it depends, right? It depends whether you're living in the country or not. My kids live in the Fens. Their primary school was in the town where they lived, so they used to walk to school. But now they're going to the big school and that's not in the town. They only live in a small village, so they have to go like six miles. You wouldn't, they're not going to walk six miles in the morning, are they? That, that would seem a little harsh. <laughs> so a lot of kids, a lot of schools have got their like hubs for all of the surrounding small villages, right? So when you go to the bigger school, like a, a like a, there's like eight or nine classes per year in the school she's at now. They they have like the kids from a big wide like catchment area of villages and stuff. I don't watch Twitch because I don't like the platform. That's okay. That's why I'm doing the multi-streaming. You don't. I don't really care what your reason is. Like the dude that says he doesn't watch Twitch because of the the bikini streamers. He's entitled to his view, you know. Like just because there is worse content on YouTube, maybe he doesn't see it. So he's still entitled to have his choice. Of course he is, you know. Like that. That's that's fine. But that's why I'm doing both. It allows me to. There's an awful lot of people that won't watch Twitch. I don't fully understand the reasoning sometimes, but that doesn't mean it's not valid for that person anyway, you know? They don't have school buses in the UK. Paranoid. Well, they, they do. My kids go to school on a school bus. Yeah. It's not bright yellow like a school bus would be in The Simpsons or something, but yeah, they go to school on a school bus. It picks every kid up that goes to... The town my kids live in, or the village, and takes them to the to the school. I think that's one of the things that is very much better for YouTube if you're trying to start and grow. Is that because it's a search engine, right? So if you make a video on YouTube that's like I don't know the best loot route or whatever people might find you and then decide to subscribe because they were looking for a video that you've made. Whereas if, you, if you're just streaming, it's very much harder to get noticed because you're just like one of the many hundreds of people streaming that game, you know, but you're at the bottom of the list. 
MK on bottom shelf. In here, I guess. I'll have a look. Good spot, dude. I didn't see it. It's a wrench. I think it's a wrench. Don't want to be your monkey wrench. Or your MK. That's all good, maybe. No worries. Here in the US we get commercial with Brits, with Brits as the voiceover. I guess they make it sound more elegant. Do they use Americans for voiceovers in the UK? Sometimes. I think what happens quite often is that American celebrities will be the face of a brand in Europe, but they won't do it in America. Sometimes. Not always. Uh, so they can get lots of money from advertising but they don't appear to be quite such a shill in America right so sometimes you get people be the like Kevin Bacon is the face of EE mobile phones over here but maybe he might not do it in America land you know just for example right I don't know if that's the case yeah. or not, but that, that's quite common like they'll, they'll do adverts here but they wouldn't take that same advert in America because it might affect their stardom like, in terms of being as like a a, a triple A rated fucking megastar or whatever, you know, like being in the films and shit. Hollywood. What the heck is EE Mobile? Just a mobile phone. Like, same as like uh, I don't know, O2 or some kind of service provider for mobile phones. I don't know what you'd have in America. America Land versions. British people do a way better job at American accents than American, the Americans at the English. Not always. Someone sent me a clip of Seremor trying to do an impression of me the other day. He was doing some kind of like uh, read out the Twitter drama thing. <laughs> He's become like a, a drama alert streamer all of a sudden. But nonetheless, it, yeah, his his was like typical like Dick Van Dyke Cockney attempt. You know, oh, oh governor, you all right, my old squire, my old China, <laughs> like that. AT&T, Verizon and stuff. Yeah, T-Mobile. They're the ones. Scumbag, yeah, while I'm multi-streaming, the alerts are off. They may go back on when I'm... If I do a Twitch-only stream, which I may do tomorrow or Wednesday, I don't know, then they might come back on again. Hezza, thank you for gifting Phil Beds the sub. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Uh, Phil's a regular. Hezza, uh, uh, gifting Pickle Apocalypse as well. Thank you very much. Marilic, Marilurk, uh, thank you for the Prime... Uh, Blonde Nemi, thank you for the resub as well. For health and prosperity, so uh, suck a fart out of a dead sheep. Oh my god. I'm not going to try and do an, uh, an American accent. Rice on the fridge, okay. I, there is a clip on Twitch of that, that's called a highlight that's called something like Why TMZ Doesn't RP, where I'm doing this terrible accent from years ago. That, that's about as uh, much American accent as I want to do. Yeah, Lot Lottie's not streaming today, as someone else has just said, sad plops. Yeah, she, she was going to be... We were streaming together, but she's not on today anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Heza, dude. Cheers for the support, man. Tyler Davis and Skunk No. Cheers for the follows on the YouTubes. I'm only come this way to go to the police station. It, it just seemed like an half decent place to come see if we can get a stab vest or similar. What happened to the DMR character? I died at Tissy Military Base in the dark, unfortunately. I went to Tissy Military Base to try and get NVGs and rushed in when it was dark and got killed. Well, when it was going dark. Yeah, the dude doing the Arnie impression was really cool. Uh, I did start off on YouTube, Mike Allen. Yeah, I, I'm just reading your message on YouTube. I, I did start off on YouTube. I did YouTube for about 10 months. And then I started streaming on Twitch. But when I'd was, I started in 2014... 
streaming on YouTube wasn't really very viable. There was no audience. Not like now. That like they didn't even do the YouTube gaming app in 2014. It didn't exist. So, uh, it, they weren't really bothered about streaming at all. And they've had two or three reimaginations of YouTube streaming since then. But if you were if you were a content douche like me in 2014. You, you made videos on YouTube and you streamed on Twitch and that was the choice. That was what everybody did. Uh, I think it's still the best option now, you know. YouTube is best for video, Twitch is best for streaming. In terms of audience, you know, what you might like as a viewer, that's different for different people. But in terms of capturing the best audience, that's the best combination. Hey, big boy Lou, you're right, dude. Thanks for coming in. Uh, what server is that? KSW, I, I said it a bit earlier, but no, no streamer wants to say what server they're on, dude. It just spoils their stream if they do that. If I get more bullets, I might fix that, but with just four or five bullets, it doesn't seem worth it. Where does TikTok, TikTok land for you with its rising popularity? Scott, I, I have never done anything with TikTok, which I should have, but... Uh, I don't have a TikTok account personally. I don't. I don't use it. So I, I, anyone that's doing what I do should be on TikTok, and I know that. However, there is one slight caveat, and I know some Daisy content goes down fairly well on TikTok, but compared to most things, TikTok is not as conducive to Daisy footage as it is other things. You know, Daisy sometimes needs quite a bit more than a one-minute video. You know, like it's not as good for Daisy stuff as. YouTube or Twitch or whatever else is so that's why I've never re rushed into it it could help me but and I know that they're allowing longer videos now but it's never really been as big of a deal what's my opinion on official servers I, I like the vanilla game I very much like the vanilla game it's the, it's the level of cheating that might go on that causes me some pain you know I saw a, a I saw a Twitter conversation yesterday between Marky and Anarchy sort of saying uh, I'm really enjoying official right now and Anarchy said I've been playing on the same character on official for two months and I've not met a single cheat and then about an hour or two later he turned up in the same conversation and said I've just jinxed myself just got killed by a cheat <laughs> uh, it might be that because I'm streaming I see it a bit more but my last three characters that I've had on official died to cheats like blatantly obviously so as well so that's the thing that puts me off the, the game the vanilla game is amazing but the level of cheating that goes on is frustrating. I, I know what you can post on TikTok, Echo. I, sorry, Eok. Ioc. And I have done some YouTube shorts that are all under 60 seconds, right? They have to be to be a YouTube short, but the YouTube shorts grow me, a, grow me some subscribers on YouTube, and that's why I do them. But TikTok... It's just not a platform I'm on. There's a few people on TikTok pretending to me to be me. One or two of them have uploaded some of my YouTube shorts, but they're not getting very good views. You know, <laughs> so maybe it might not work so well for me. I guess it, I could advertise it a bit more, but I just don't think it's that huge of a deal right now for me. So I've not done it. If I had another three days a week, I'd have done TikTok by now and sorted out a proper merch site again. Do you think if more streamers showed the amount of cheats on official, they might do something about it? I think Bohemia... Do, well, Bohemia probably don't do much, but the Daisy devs are trying the best they can, and I, I genuinely believe that. In one of their streams this year, they said they'd banned 30,000 accounts for cheating last year. They aren't doing nothing, but they're only a small team, and Battle Eye, unfortunately, is a bit shit, isn't it? You know, a Battle Eye doesn't ban cheaters quick enough. It takes too long, it seems, to ban the accounts that are doing the cheating. But Bohemia aren't doing nothing. The reality is, though, if they really focused on cheating, there probably would be nothing else, you know? Like, there was years and years ago, there's been times in the past where development has been massively slowed because they've had to focus on dealing with the cheats that people were using, you know? It's really frustrating. I didn't say my server, KSW. <laughs> Well, there we go, Jubert. Glad it worked. Ah! 
Uh, Funky, yeah, I need to try the, uh, yeah. the miserable apocalypse. Uh, I've been meaning to try it for a while. I've still not got round to it. I guess I could have got my gun out and tried to shoot them, couldn't I? But yeah, battle eye bans in waves, but also it doesn't know, like it doesn't ban until it knows what to look for. If that makes sense as well, so. I guess uh, maybe it looks for certain codes or whatever it looks for. I don't know how Battle Eye works, but sometimes it doesn't find the cheaters for several months because it doesn't know what it's looking for on that particular cheat, if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, whatever code they're using doesn't flag until it knows what to look for. If that, I think that kind of makes sense, and it's a vague stab. I'm not a developer, you might have guessed. But it may, it may, it doesn't just ban in waves for any for the, for that reason. It bans in waves because they don't know how to find what cheat is being used until they do. I wasn't going to come here. I'm spending longer in Cherno than I wanted to, but we ought to, I guess, because I've only got half a bandage left. I don't even have that. I've only got a quarter of a bandage. Getting any bandages, are we? That sucks. One chlorine tab. Hey, Paul, how are you today? I'm good, Joshua. I play every day and get get looted enough to make it to the airfield. It takes an hour or more. I, I don't know who you're arguing with, Charles, but you you can you can get really quickly into the map if you want for sure yeah not always the way you want to play it though you know you can do but you can travel a lot quicker but like arriving at the airfield with a BK-18 and one bullet or something can sometimes be a bit counterproductive if you just get there and die why don't you cut clothes not being sarcastic I haven't got anything to clean the rags with so I like they wouldn't be uh, they wouldn't be any good I can still do that but uh, I'm, I'm here looking for bandages for now because it makes more sense, but they they won't be disinfected, right? So bandages won't be my best option at the moment. If I don't find any any bandage, sorry, uh, rags won't be my best option. If I don't find any rags, then I'll do exactly that. But there's plenty of chance yet for me to find some. Yeah, spook dog. I, I've heard that similar thing. People have said the same. So I picked up this exactly for this reason. So I've took my blood, and we kind of the colour's gone a little bit washed out. But now, if I take this saline, it'll it'll mostly bring it back again. So these blood bags are just very useful, you know, like if you get shot and you really lose a load of blood but you win the fight, you can replace your blood right quick and it helps with health regen. If your blood it, if your blood is low, your health regen is slower, so having a blood bag is quite useful for that. Also pretty good if you're planning on going to a... Uh, we might as well take that one. If you're planning on going to a gas zone, it's pretty useful as well. I think that's the thing, Dig Dug, you know, like, even if the even if the Chinese government is using TikTok to spy on me, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> that wouldn't be the reason I wouldn't use TikTok, because I'm not, I'm not 007, you know, I, if I was in MI6 or something, it'd probably be a problem, but me, me if I had a TikTok posting pictures of the dog or something, I, I don't think the Chinese government is going to learn anything too much, you know. So it wouldn't be the thing that makes or breaks me using the platform. I don't care about K-9 
cat videos, they care about selling your data. Every fucking website does that, right? It's, that's frustrating. You like, I don't know, you, you order one thing from a website. I, in the summer, I ordered a pair of shorts from Cotton Traders. Just a pair of cargo shorts, right? Like, they email me like they're my best friend. And I, I, obviously, I can unsubscribe. I just haven't done yet. But I must get an email, like, every fucking day from Cotton Traders. Every day. They're fucking desperate, they are. But yeah, I, I can see that angle as well, like keeping your data safe. I, 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 I can see the reason why you want to do that. It makes complete sense. Jacob, uh, I, I can't really write uh, rules for the chat so easily on YouTube, but one of the rules we have over on Twitch, which transfers to YouTube really, is that we don't talk about gun laws and that kind of thing, so that's not a topic for here, dude. It, it just gets too emotive. Talking about gun laws is like talking about religion or something, you know, or politics. It's, it's utterly tedious, unfortunately. Sorry, dude, but it always gets taken to a level that nobody wants to go to. If you have a blood bag on you in a contaminated zone, no, it will fix you if you get sick. It will work. However, it only works really early on. So if you're in a contaminated gas zone and you get the germ symbol, take a blood bag straight away and it will it will cure you. Uh, however, if you wait until you're like coughing up blood or you wait too long, it won't cure you at all. So you have to do it real quick. Uh, similarly, if you go in a gas zone and you start coughing and then you take your blood that blood will be contaminated, so that wouldn't fix you later. You have to wait a good while before you take your blood. I started getting all sorts of fucking pop-up ads on Twitter for fucking fake watches. It's really doing my nutting. Like, the the amount of crap adverts when you go... Like, I, I know I'm here streaming on YouTube and Twitch with adverts, but, like, Twitter ads are really, like... They're, they're, you can't actually see your own Twitter feed anymore, you know? It's really annoying. And a lot of them are done in the guise of... They, they look like posts written by someone you follow, and then you realise it's some fucking ad halfway through. No need to be sorry, Jacob. It's all good. It's a topic some people bring up. I'm only explaining kind of politely. You're, you're, there's no drama, dude. The ones I, the ones I, I find laughable, I hope nobody falls for them, but the, the ones I find laughable are the ones that are like an advert and it's like, it's like a picture of some really famous celebrity and then it says how I made all my money from crypto and they're written in, written in the style of an advert usually pretending to be a website but it's not actually the website it's like i don't know it might be pretending to be a bbc news article from uh, i don't know some famous celebrity and how they made millions in five minutes on the internet and they, but they're, they're terribly written that even if there's spelling mistakes in the fucking headline and stuff but they they still are they still exist it's fucking shocking Plus, man, we're not complaining about ads. Not on Twitch and YouTube anyway. That might come in a minute. No, we're talking in general about social medias and we're talking about Tickle Tockle just before. The community notes on those that tell you they're scams. Yeah, they are pretty useful. I like it when, like, the owner of TikTok gets a community note. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, when he says something that that's then like corrected underneath, I've said I think I've seen that once maybe, but I don't follow Elon Musk. I follow bored Elon Musk, but I I think I unfollowed Elon for some reason. I, I just got fed up of seeing what he was saying. I guess.
how I made millions selling, reselling used beans. Flicked beans. We love ads here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, everybody does. Nobody dislikes, right? I've, I've done that wrong. Hi, Nelfim. Nelflim, how you doing? What's happening? I've pleased her. I was going to say, I thought I'd prematurely released again. That would have sucked. Do I need matches and a lighter? I don't, do I? Nobody need matches and a lighter. Well, let's go up here. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's a convoy spawn at the top of the hill. Maybe we'll get lucky. And all of the YouTube messages just came in in one go there. GPS on radio slot for backpack. Well, it saves a battery space, I suppose. I don't really know why I picked it up, to be honest, dude. But it, I don't need it. But it does carry a battery, so I could put it there. I picked it up at the summer camp without really thinking. But I need a GPS on, on here. Like, I need a, a GPS to find my cock. You know, I, I just don't need it. In fact, I think I'll just keep the battery and drop the GPS, to be honest. Have I tried the Brazil map yet? Nope. I didn't even know there was one, to be honest. Isn't a lighter better than matches? Yeah, that's why I dropped the, the matches. A lighter's better because when it's raining, if, if it gets wet or if you swim and it gets wet, you can still use it. Matches you can't use when they're wet. Right, I haven't read the alerts for a little while. Uh, Rum and Coke, thank you for the resub. Big Boy Lou, thank you for the Prime. Sorry, guys, I need to go back a little way. I haven't read them for ages. Uh, and in other news, thank you for the resub. Where does the time go? Fuck knows, dude. Thank you. Big Boy Lou, thank you for the Prime. Heza, thank you for the gifted subs again. You crazy bastard. Uh, Parks, thank you for the nine months. Fist and, da Fist and Dantilus, uh, thank you for the five. Uh, Pothead, thank you for the two months. Dupree, why do you not have yellow school buses? Uh, because they're just not yellow. They're just buses. <laughs> Cheers for the 10 months, dude. Uh, Stridermans, thank you for gifting Spook Dog. MLK, thank you for the 16 months. And Martin, thank you very much for the support as well. They just use buses, and then I guess those buses do other things during the day. Hmm. Yeah, Stridermans, MLK, and Martin the Beard. Thank you for the gifted sub and reset. 16 months of listening to a perpetually 30 year old mom and repeat himself 100 times to chat. Yep. Dual stream is really increasing their viewing figures. Yesterday, we, yesterday, I, I topped out at six thousand eight hundred and something, which was mad. You know, that's a lot of people. Obviously, that that's been fired by a player. But I wanted to go this way. It does sound a little bit like the Terminator music, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not going for that because it's it's not shots, it's just someone that's let off fireworks. They'll probably be right on the coast because the fireworks normally spawn at the uh, at the where the fairground is, you know, where it'll probably be right on the very coast and by the time I get there, they, it, the dude won't be. So I, I don't much see the point, we might as well carry on. We might see him at Bolotta Airfield if I go that way. So the convoy spawn is just on that road there, it's not there unfortunately. Jefflim, you're sick, are you? I hope you're on the mend, dude. Hope you feel better. Yeah, I'm getting that same thing again that seems to happen where YouTube comments don't come in at all and then I get like a full page of them in one go. So I'm trying my best, YouTube. I am seeing the, the YouTube comments, but the multi-streaming, they're kind of sporadic, let's say. I've just had a load of them just crap in just now. 6,800 people, it's like, it is like a small town, kind kind of, I suppose, but yeah, we may not get that today, Sundays are a bit busier, I guess, you know, but nonetheless, it's still in, I think, I did have a look, I don't normally bother looking at the stats, but yesterday, Twitch topped out at 4,450-ish, and YouTube topped out at 2,400 or something, that's a lot, right, it seems like a hell of a lot.
Check yourself, dude. I hope you're on the mend. Plenty of water, rest, and I hope you feel better soon, dude. <gasps> Bison mag for the scorpion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good shout. I think we need that coat as well, rather than having the purple purple one. To be honest, I don't remember whether I don't remember even seeing the bison mag. Bison mag, sorry. I think you called it a bison mag, and I'm doing the same. Wherefore aren't they? Bison. There it is. Yep, yeah, that's a good shout. For the scorpion. I'm, I'm still not entirely sure. I want to waste the uh waste the weapon cleaning kit, but we'll see. I'm a new follower and a new player uh, to the game, been playing a week. Drunken Bot Gaming, dude, thanks for coming in. I hope you keep enjoying the game. Oh, shit. Oh, you fucker. I didn't have the new knife on the hotbar, so I wasn't ready for that. Get into the tree before I bandage, I suppose. Haven't scored with my teen in seven years. Blimey, Melon. Did you know that Chernerus map is a copy of... Yeah, I did, Carol, yeah. I, like, in real life, the south coast is a riverbank. But yeah, Chernerus does exist. It's uh, based on a real area of uh, the Czech Republic. I'd kind of like to go there one day. That would be amazing. There is a real Starry Sobor. We were talking about it a little bit earlier, actually. Is there a bot for random questions you get from viewer, from from new viewers? I'm sure you're tired of repeating yourself. Unfortunately, Apple bots don't work. So we do have like a new player command, for example, and like if somebody asks what server I'm in, there's a command for that. But unfortunately, people don't read it. You know, sometimes people say what server, and then I model at them with the with the command, and then they don't read it, and then they'll ask me again, like. It doesn't really matter if you have the commands or not. People want to hear it from the stream douche. So sometimes they won't take the uh, the, the, the written answer anyway. <laughs> I just got an email from Goldsmith for Black Friday. Reckon they'll be doing anything on, on Patex and Rolex. Yeah, I reckon so, Dave, Dave Sardine. Buy two Nautilus, you'll get the third for free. Of course, yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> they won't be doing anything because they won't have any. Uh, Darkman Esquire, thank you very much. Time for the Evil Man's now. You get some bullets. Well, hopefully, dude. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Apple, thank you for the bits as well. Bunce, thank you for the uh, 13 months. Tactical Play Doh, thank you for the 39, dude. Dave, yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be right. Uh, I. Uh, I haven't. I, I probably have had that email actually. I, I get. I, I'm on the same emailing list. Bruticus, there's no alerts on the screen. I'm just thanking him on manual if you like. Reactive cheers for the five months, dude. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Big wolf. Big wolf, is it? Yeah. Sorry. Yep. The ne on on this multi-stream and stuff, the colour of your name, I just can't see it. It's so vividly blue against a kind of blue background, I can't see it. Yeah, exactly, Doctor Bob. Like I put the name of the like the map in the title of the stream every day, but people still ask for what the the map map is. So some people do it as a joke, but most people don't. Yeah, Topa's Cloud090. Topa's been to uh, Chernerus. Like, as in the real Chernerus. Uh, a YouTuber called Barely Infected went as well, so both of those have got videos. Tope took a drone, so he's got drone footage of Starry Sobor and whatnot on his YouTube channel from, I think it might have been like four or five years ago, something like that, but he's been to Chernerus IRL with a drone as well. Nice thing to have on the CV. For six years I was a stream douche. I don't even know what I'd do if I had to write another CV now. 
I, I'd have to maybe go to my emails and find the CV I emailed out to the last job I applied for, and then find that email, find the CV, and then. I, but I haven't had like my last job. I did it for five years or so, and I didn't update my CV the whole time I was there. So how I would write what I did in my last job and remember what like I know what my title was, but I don't really remember anything about what my achievements were. I don't know any of it. You know, like it's like from another lifetime now. I was my last job, Josh Walters. I was a uh, regional manager, not assistant to, uh, in retail, but for a small company. So the title was a lot better than the pay. Uh, so I was regional manager for a confectionery company that sold pick and mix into cinemas and uh, supermarkets and stuff like that. Wilkinsons before they went bust. A CV is uh, curriculum vitae. It, yeah, it means res. It's like a resume. Yeah. Built a multi-billion dollar streaming company by myself. And there we go, Gala Steve, yeah. I hope not to need a CV. If I need a CV, I'm really on my ass. <laughs> if I need a CV, I'm fucked. You know, I, hopefully I don't need one again with any luck. We'll see. What's my favourite pick-and-mix item? Uh, I like the those red and green kind of straws with like the white stuff inside. But I used to work for... The company I worked for was called Candy King. I, I'm not trying to throw them under the bus, but they, they, the flavours changed quite a bit since before. So I like the ones that flake. Like, if you get a green one and it tastes of apple, like, the, their ones didn't really taste so good towards the end, I don't think. I quite like the yellow belly snakes as well. They did those. They were good. Yellow belly snakes are good. And the uh, fizzy bubble gums. I like those too. kind of hoping we might get a gun. Sometimes this can have a blaze, which is why we're here, but a box of bullets. Could be a scope here, maybe. Could have, would have, should have been. Yeah, the blue and pink fizzy bottles. That's the fizzy bubble guns. Carter Steve, I like those. Do I enjoy streaming more than my old job? Fucking yes. <laughs> yes. Streaming is a lot more fun. Like, what's not to like about playing a video game for a living, you know? Like, it's not really just that, but streaming is way more fun than my last job. There isn't... Unless I could be, like, I don't know, a blowjob tester or something. <laughs> I'm struggling to think of something I'd rather do, you know. I, like, there isn't many things that I could, I could do that I'd rather do. Yeah, I, I'm receiving tester, I mean, not giving. I don't think that's a job, to be honest. If it is, it's an it was it was a job that was invented by a man, I think. <laughs> no, I I I don't know. I it to me being a streamer feels a bit like being a B-grade radio presenter. I, I might be doing streaming a disservice there, but I as I grown up I've realized that what I wanted to be when I was a kid was a radio presenter and I didn't know that until I became a streamer to be honest and now I don't need to because I'm doing this and it's it's kind of similar you know uh, but yeah I, I like it I like it a lot I'd quite like to do the radio I'd I think I'd quite like to do like local radio one evening in a week even if it was like free I'd quite like to do that too but it doesn't matter I, I haven't got the time for that kind of shit he's got a face for radio yeah I think my face is right. It wasn't that. The picture I put out last week was about the worst picture of me that I've ever taken, but I had to share it because it had Nicola Leonard in it. Pear drops. Bloody hell. The grandma's choice then. My picture is looking rough. Is that because it's live? Just make sure you've pressed the little cog, Wayne, and selected uh, 1080p, but uh, it's. It's YouTube and 1080p and compression. It's not like, not the best. You interact with chat a lot more than most big streamers. I, I try, Charles. The, the whole YouTube multi-streaming thing makes it more of a challenge because I just can't see as many messages. I'm interacting at least as much as I normally do, but there's kind of twice as many messages. So it, sometimes people feel like I'm not seeing theirs, which is true because I'm not. You know, <laughs> That's good, though. We've got... I think we've got two boxes of 308. 
and a scope. We're actually on the way. We're, we've got two of the three for the Holy Trinity. We just need... Uh, we just need the gun, which we might get in the next house if we're lucky. Bruticus, yeah, I could be like the, that that man you fan guy that that went from YouTube to uh, Talksport. Is there a reason to not unpack ammo? Yeah, freedom, la laziness. Th there is another reason. If you keep it packed, then you've got a piece of paper for a fire. Like I, I don't need to load this anywhere, right? Like I unpacked the shotgun shells so I could load them in the gun, but the bullets I've got that are still in the paper, like. Like, what if I might want to make a fire to cook a fish or two later, or cook something, make myself warm or whatever. It's just paper, and beyond that, it's just laziness. There's no point unpacking it if I don't need to. A major part of why you were able to keep my attention in particular, in particular is your voice and the way you talk, so I could see you on the radio. Don't sell yourself short. I'm not selling myself short. I, 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 I did kind of. I guess. I guess I said streamers a bit like a B-grade radio presenter. But I guess if you're a presenter for a really big station, it's more of a prestigious job than Twitch streamer. But I don't know how much radio presenters earn. But there'll be some Twitch streamers. I'd imagine someone like Summit, for example, earns most more than most radio presenters do. So uh, at, at some point, being a streamer is better anyway, you know. I don't know whether I'm at that point or not, but I'm doing pretty well. I, I had a DMR earlier today, Nick. I had a DMR with three 20 round mags, but I died. I'm not doing the 75 at the moment, Jacob. I had a bottle of wine and a couple of whiskies last night, to be honest. But I, uh, I'm kind of thinking it's time for me to be healthier again, though. But. Uh, not polite, I got killed at Tissy Military Base. Uh, it was getting dark and I was looking... For, I'd found an MVG, uh, pair of MVGs. And I was looking for a head strap or a helmet to wear them and it was getting dark and then I got killed by someone I couldn't really see. Rather annoyingly, he broke, he broke my leg. And then, the best thing, I didn't realise this but someone in the chat did, he broke my leg and shot the gun so he ruined the DMR. <laughs> So in killing me, he ruined the DMR, so at least he can't have it. So the guy killed me and the DMR's ruined. You didn't see my message earlier, but if you had to pick one whiskey to drink forever, what would it be? Uh, high Twisted Extra, by the way. I guess if money's no object, I'd probably pick... Of the ones I've tried... I'd probably pick Redbreast 27, which is the most expensive whiskey I've ever tried, but it, I really like Redbreast, and Redbreast 27 is glorious. Uh, if if we're talking more reasonable but still expensive, I'd pick, I'd pick Bunnahabhain 18. Bunnahabhain 18 is absolutely amazing. That's really, really good, but it's, it's still like 110, 120 pounds a bottle. So for me, that's like a once a year kind of special treat kind of thing. I, I wouldn't pay that every month. It's just... It's not. It's not about what I can afford and what I can't afford. It's about value. It doesn't. I, spending that much money on something that you drink in a couple of weeks is just too much for my brain to enjoy. You know, like every sip, you're like, "Fuck me, that was twenty quid." You know, I can't do it. Do I wear my own work merch? I've got a TRMZ cap that I've worn once or twice this year, but not much else. No. Redbreast 27 is crazily expensive, yeah, but, but my, uh, very kindly, the uh, the mods and one or two members of the survivors bought me the Redbreast 27 when my dad died, so they sent my mum some flowers and they sent me a fancy bottle of whiskey, which I, I opened just before the funeral, but I drank some on the day of the funeral. I like all Red Breast. Red Breast 12, 15 and 21. They're all amazing. The more you spend, the better it gets, pretty much. But the 12 is... like If I was buying it for me, I'd just buy the 12. It's really good. And There is a point with whiskey where it gets to... like if, if I buy something that's more than £100, which again is very rare, once a year probably, 
the cost of, of it affects my enjoyment of it because I know how much a, a drink is, you know. Like, if it's £40 for a bottle, I'll just drink it and enjoy it. But if it's £140, I'll be too aware of the cost and it will affect my enjoyment of it a touch. What's wrong with Tesco own brand whiskey? Aldi, meant, uh, Aldi are meant to do pretty decent stuff if you want, like, cheaper stuff. Aldi's meant to be really good. Do you ever get recognised in public? Josh, I've never once been recognised in public, thank you, thankfully. The only time I did, I, I emailed a store in advance of going in. I emailed them to ask if something was in stock and then I went into the store and they, I emailed on my running man's email address so they knew it was me and they watched my stream. So I've had that once, but I've never, uh, I've never been recognised, no. Ardbeg's pretty nice. I quite like Ardbeg Super Super Demon. Yeah, Ardbeg's pretty good. Kind of smoky and but not crazily so. You know, it's like a Ardbeg was one of the smoky ones before it all became sort of Lagavulin, Lagavulin and Lefroy and so on. You know. You get diminishing returns regarding quality, though. For example, a sixty-pound whiskey would be a lot better than a twenty-pound. Well, that's how everything is, sad plops. That's absolutely true. That happens with everything, whether it's cars or whether it's, I don't know, stereos or PCs, you know. Like, there's no way that a 4090 graphics card is way better than a 4080, but if you factor in the price, it's not, you know. But that's the way it is for everything, you know, really. There's always a sweet spot. And with whiskey, to be honest, the sweet spot is probably a 10 or a 12-year-old single malt, you know. that's You can pick them up for about 25 to 35 pounds in the UK. And you get really good whiskey for not crazy money. You can get better, but... Like, do you want to spend three times as much or twice as much? That's personal taste, really. I remember once doing a subplay stream years ago, when I used to do subplay streams with a with a viewer that used to keep about six bottles of whiskey in his, like, collection of whiskeys he drank, and they were all four to five hundred pounds, you know? And that staggered me then, as it staggers me now, you know? But people like what they like you know if you if you're drinking it slowly and you really appreciate it then fair play but i just i couldn't do it i have a 4090 blake i recognized you in ipswich town center once before you were zooming around in an electric scooter and a vape in your hand <laughs> Uh, step above vanilla, lightly modded servers, AV American. You want lightly modded servers. Day one and zero are probably the best lightly modded servers. Karma Crew's pretty good as well. If you want, like, Karma Crew's the one for base building. Day one and zero are the ones for no base building. Any recommenders, good recommendations for a single malt? Good bang for buck. Mad, yes, I have. Uh, Balvini Doublewood is really, really good. It's about £40. Balvini Doublewood, get that. That's a really good... If you're, if you're new to whiskey and you want to try something that's good but not crazy money, Balvini Doublewood. <laughs> Arbolore is nice, Pad. I do like Arbolore, yeah. Arbolore's pretty decent. Well, she, uh, I haven't asked that for a while, but the the, the Silverstone, uh, well, it wasn't Silverstone, actually. I thought it was, but I got to go to the Mercedes headquarters uh, and play on their eSports rig. I, I, because of the Liverpool thing last week, it seems like such a distant memory now. But, yeah, I, I got to go on the, the proper Mercedes eSports rigs and do, I don't know, 25-ish, 30 laps on, on the, it was the Austrian Grand Prix they picked. That was really, really fun. Like the, It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, and I thought it was going to be hard, but it was really fun. Jake and Maria Gaming, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Thanks for checking out the stream. I don't really do brandy, Dark Man. I, I find brandy or cognac, whatever, I find it a bit too sweet. But also, I think you can get much better value from whiskey, like... 
if you get like a 10 or a 12 year old single malt, like somebody just said Arbalor, Arbalor 10 you can often get for 25 quid or 22, 23, whatever. Uh, but brandy, to get something decent, is normally nearer to 40, I think. Or more, you know. But I personally, I find it a bit sweet. I don't really. I, I sometimes get a little bottle of brandy at Christmas and I'll have one bottle, but it's not my thing. Yeah, he did say he was coming to the UK cool hand, Luke, but that, that's the reason why, why uh, whiskey's better value here than there, because here it's about 40 quid. Uh, but obviously it comes from Scotland and we live right near Scotland, whereas you're in America land and no, it doesn't. It just, brand, like over here, bourbon costs a bit more than it would do there and vice versa with whiskey. I didn't race with Yano, no, it was it it wasn't it wasn't with the esports team, it was on the esports rig, but it was with other random people that had never done esports before. So there was eight of us in total, two groups of four. And they split us in like I say, they split us into two groups of four. So we had two practice sessions of ten, and then we had a race, and then the top two from that race went through to a final against the top two from the other one. That's what they did. So I came second in my race, in my half, and then in the final I came second to the same guy that beat me in the in the semi-final. So I, I, won, I came second out of the eight and I won myself a Mercedes cap, which was kind of cool. Like, it's a nice cap actually, I'm probably going to wear it in the summer next year. Cannabis better than alcohol? Maybe. One's bad for your liver, one's bad for your lungs, but uh, I like the taste of, uh, I like the taste of alcohol. It, like, it depends what you're having it for. If you, I don't necessarily have alcohol because of its mind-changing properties. I like the flavour of whiskey a lot. I could quite happily have just one small whiskey and like it and enjoy it. Whereas if you're smoking marijuana, I'm guessing it's mostly for the effects rather than the taste, you know. What did the winner win? It, the same thing really well not quite true they gave a cap to second and third place and they gave a slightly more creamy premium premium cap i just invented a word premium it means uh, a premium cap yeah so the winner got a slightly better cap with the same kind of thing never seen cannabis ruin someone's life ah oh, that's naive Alcohol is a much bigger problem, I would guess, but to say uh, say, say, uh, marijuana or cannabis, whatever, has never ruined someone's life is incredibly naive, you know. Some people that get uh, addicted to marijuana stay addicted to it, and some people maybe go on to other things, and then that ruins their life, you know. But uh, to say it hasn't ruined anyone's life is very naive, but alcohol's clearly massive. That, that there's hundreds of thousands of alcoholics in the UK alone, so I'm not talking down one and bigging one up. But to say it doesn't cause any problems is incredibly naive, isn't it? I'm not addicted, promise. <laughs> Prison looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I me and the missus, Darth, I, I had one al I had one beer. It will, it, obviously, it would have had gluten in as well, but I took a glutolytic tablet. After we went to see uh, Killers of the Flower Moon on Saturday, we, had a, we just went to a Prezzo locally, like nearby the cinema. Prezzo's okay, you know, chain, chain, chain restaurant Italian. It's not the best, but there wasn't anything better nearby, so we just went there. It, I quite like it, it's alright. But I had one beer with, with a pizza, and, like, one beer sometimes can be amazing, you know? Like, one beer is good. Yeah, I'm definitely not denying that alcohol's worse. I'm just not going to agree that no one's ever had a problem with marijuana. That's not true, is it? You know, like, clearly there are there are good and bad parts to both you know but not a debate I'm really bothered about you know live and let live people should like if, if it's your your body your rules you know do what you want to do rate the movie out of 10 uh, I think I'd give it a high 7 if we're using like IMDB scores 
I don't know what it's got on IMDb, but I feel it feels to me like it's something like a 7.7 in the long run. Something like that. I, I think Killers of the Flower Moon is a, is a really good film, but it, it gets some point deductions for being just too long and a bit too laboured and a bit too slow. And also, without... I don't want to do any spoilers. It, it's really, 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 really slow, and then it, it, it like, completely skips and, like... It skips a load at the end in a really quick and hasty way, you know, so uh, like for the length it is, it should have shown everything that happened rather than skipping some of the things, if that makes sense. Nonetheless, it was a it was a really good film. I, I did like it a lot. Possibly my second favourite film at the cinema this year behind uh, uh, Oppenheimer. Why do all the kids in chat want to talk about weed? Well, it's not not everybody does, but if someone's relatively young and has just started smoking marijuana, they're kind of eager to talk about it. <laughs> that's that's the case. Just the same as you like like if you're relatively young and you've had a night out and you've had a really crazy night like you were like, "Oh, you never guess what me and the boys did last night." It's a little bit like that, you know, like when you're about 23 and you have a crazy night out with your mates, you know, you go into work the next day and you might tell your workmates about it. And and most people think it's cool. But somewhere in the corner is a sad middle-aged bastard like me that thinks, oh, you fucking prick. <laughs> you put a cone on your head, did you? Yeah, fucking hilarious. It sounds so fun. I bet you had a right laugh, didn't you? God, your mate Terry, he sounds like the life and soul of the party, didn't he? What a cone on his head. Fuck me, dude. Wow. <laughs> like there's because obviously you're like yeah it, it doesn't seem that fun anymore that it seems a bit stupidly shit you know <laughs> but you that it's a bit like that 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 that's all it is you know live and let live though <sighs> there's a debate to be had uh, yeah I, i'm not like it, it's it's illegal in the UK, but it, it's not really a debate for me personally. I've I've got no stake in the game. I I, I definitely believe in uh, like live and let live. You know, like like what people want to do. You know, I'm, I'm like it doesn't affect me if it was legal or not. So I'm kind of okay. Does off the top of my head, my instinct is it'd probably be okay if it was legal. But there's always a lot more to it than that. You know, maybe it. it, it it would be a, a really good way for governments to tax more things if it was legal, wouldn't it? You know, you'd certainly generate a lot more tax revenue if it was legal rather than illegal. It would also legitimise potentially a hell of a lot of very dodgy businesses around the world as well. <laughs> potentially, I suppose. I've already got two cleaning kits. Why the fuck am I trying to take a second, a third one? Let's use it. Uh, Spooky Wagons, thank you for the Prime. Limmer Foxtrot, thank you for the Prime as well. Scotty, cheers for the resub. 25 monthening, dude. Thank you. Heathen, thank you for the bits before that. You're very kind. Thank you. I just found a good 1911. I thought it was badly damaged. I've got two that were, they were both badly damaged, hence I thought, fuck it, I'll use this cleaning kit. But I'm using the cleaning kit just because I can, you know. More tax revenue, more cost for the healthcare. That's definitely the trick, the case as well, Adin, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Does, does that stats bear up? You know, if people want weed, they're probably already getting it, aren't they? You know, like, are the costs going to go up? I'd imagine the tax revenue take would go up a lot more than the health cost because people are already having it anyway, you know, like like if you want if you want marijuana right now, it's probably not particularly hard to get it wherever you are in the UK or in America or wherever, you know. So I suspect there would be more tax take than cost cost, but that's just a gut instinct, you know. It's not legal in the UK, no. In the UK, it, it, most of the I'm not a policeman. We sometimes have a police officer in the uh, in the chat metric, but 
If you if you get stopped with a small amount on you, you're likely to have it seized and not much else. But if you get stopped with a large amount, like you might be selling it, you're you're probably going to get yourself in a lot more bother. Uh, I might drop this. All right, there's no point right now. In fact, let me just drop it anyway. It's shit. I'm going to need space. At some point while we're here, we're either going to get a uh, a Pioneer or a... Uh, just drop those. We're either going to get a Pioneer or an SSG anyway, so I might as well make the space for it now. Ceased for evidence, yeah. Mm, that would be okay on a Pioneer, I guess. It's not the best scope, but it is a scope. It, it's medically legal in the UK, but only if you can get it prescribed by a doctor. So, I believe. So, you can have it for medi as medicine in the UK for certain things, like, like for example, like epilepsy. Maybe you might you might have it for certain types. It might help, and so on. Like medicinally, it can be legal, but it doesn't get prescribed on the NHS very much at all. Like, like to have it prescribed by a doctor and given on the NHS is very, very rare. I was on the news about it the other day. They've made it legal, but there's only a handful that get it. Uh, some people have it privately and pay for it, but. On the NHS as a prescription, hardly anyone has medicinal mar marijuana, even though it's legal. Fat, fat sloth, I, I just explained that, dude. It is legal to have it on the NHS, it just hardly ever happens. it when they when the bullets keep going on the floor it's really annoying i don't think i don't know if it cures parkinson's vins but it certainly a, it, a cure implies it, it removes it and then you don't have it anymore it, it might remove the symptoms but that's not a cure is it that's like masking the symptoms but still a very cool thing you know parkinson's is a hell of a horrible disease it really is you know like it must be such a frustrating disease to have like like one that i hope i don't get to be honest you know and I, I, there are, I'd much rather that than dementia, I guess, but like both are very bad, you know. Paul, do I have, do you have a belly button? Uh, I'm an innie, definitely an innie. But to be honest, I, I've been, I've, I'm a bit, in, it's a bit too, bit deep of an innie at the moment. A couple of days ago, this spot I killed a four-man squad solo. Very cool, dude. G Joe, GG, yo man, Ch Chicago. Wow, look at that! That is a beautiful thing. Finding an SKS on this island is a beautiful fucking thing. That is the. I couldn't have got probably a better gun on the island than that. That is amazing. I'd much rather have that than a B, sorry, than a uh, SSG or a Pioneer, which are normally what you'd get here. In the past, I've found full-size AKs and uh, M16s, but with them making it ra rarer on this patch, probably those happen less. I'd be dead. It's worn, which is good enough. Any tips for presenting in front of a large audience? Oh, always shave your pubes. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, I don't know. Make sure it's a nice and warm. Uh, uh, I, any tips for presenting? I don't know. I think the honest truth, it's a bit boring, is just keep doing it. The more you do it, the better you'll get. That's the honest truth. If you mean presenting on Twitch, I think the, 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 best, the best advice is to just act like you're not presenting to anyone, you know? You're like just in your room playing a game. But 
like giving a speech or doing a presentation or something, that kind of thing. The, the only way to get good at that is to just be be prepared to put your hand up and volunteer and do it more and more and more. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. Give it a couple of tugs, yeah, like like you do used to do in the shower back in the day. Like, give it make make the best of it. Uh, I take care of my dad who has Parkinson's and he is a he is in a study for cannabis but there is no real train so it does not cure it yeah that that's a shame dude sorry to hear about your dad man that sucks uh, pretty good all in all that I'm gonna lose the I'm gonna lose that one and keep this Yeah, the SKS is pretty decent. Come on, man, I'm making food. What, so you can't imagine a penis? <laughs> what are you making? Sausages? <laughs> Uh, I used to, I, I found myself quite liking giving presentations when I was, uh, I, I think because of the circle joke, you know what, you know when you go to like, uh, like head office meetings or you go to like regional meetings or whatever, they're basically like a circle jerk of trying to impress the people above you, you know, so I, I guess I used to like them for that, but like some people were so afraid of doing them that they would oh, they would never volunteer you know so i was thought it was a good way to stand out like oh, i'll do it but i i i think it is something that you get used to i was always quite good at making it up that like usually like i used to hate it right but it, at, well, I used to like doing it. I used to like doing it. But, but the company I used to before, work for before, you'd get like, you'd get split into two groups and then given half an hour to write a presentation that was meant to last 10 minutes. That was basically what used to happen, you know. You've got half an hour to get on paper something that you can then talk about for 10 minutes. It's like, who the fuck can realistically do that, you know? It, it never really felt like it was very constructive because it felt like everybody was just getting together, spitballing basic bollocks and then regurgitating it and trying not to look an idiot in front of the managers because they didn't give you long enough to do anything, you know, but nonetheless, uh, I'm not good at many things, but I am good at talking bollocks, so I used to be pretty good at taking a few scrawled words and making it last quite a long amount of time, you know, that, that was something I was good at. I think, if I'm being honest, uh, me in work, I was much better at sounding like I knew what I was doing than I was at the job. That <laughs> That's definitely the case. I was much better in an interview than I was at the job, mainly because I didn't like the job very much, you know, like I could, I knew what was good. I knew what was the right thing to say. I knew I could impress, I'd like, I could get the job in an interview, but when I turned up to do the job, it was tedious as fuck, so I didn't really do it very well. Management material, exactly, exactly right, yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to really try your hardest in something you're not passionate about, though. Like, some people can. Like, when I was in Asda, there was some people that would come in and really put in a shift and work really hard and much respect, you know, like, but I had real, tr real trouble. Like, I, my first job, in I was in a garden centre. I remember having a day, we used to work from a job sheet, so you have to do a job. And then you'd sign your name, and then you'd have to go and do another job and sign your name. And me and this other guy had a competition to see who could do the least jobs in a day. And in, in a full eight-hour day, all I did was staple one sign up. I, I, like, it was job. But stay, stay, like, re-staple re the sign up on this, I don't know what it was, but, like, a little post where there was a sign for some compost or something. And, and that's the only thing I did in eight hours. You know, like, uh, that, that's quite bad. And funnily enough, they, uh... 
they pulled both me and him into the office the next day and said, we'd, we'd, we'd like to talk about the day you had yesterday. Because the reason you were doing a job sheet is that they could then track what you were doing. And I got pulled in and they were like, what, what on earth were you doing? Why, why did you do so little yesterday? That's just completely unacceptable. Rah, rah, rah. And I just said, I've got to be honest, I'm so sorry. I felt so ill. I was so ill. I, I was just like, spent most of the day on the toilet. I was really, really rough. I should have gone home sick. But I just didn't want to do it. I thought I'd try and stick it out and try and help out, you know, in case I was needed on the till. And <laughs> I made up all this bollocks. And they just let me off, you know. <laughs> that, that, that was that. <laughs> I, left, I left Deagle Ammo in one of the barracks. Ugh. I, it's where I'm ejecting bullets and they're not going in my inventrix, isn't it? I, I would imagine, but I think I'll just leave the deagle ammo, to be honest. And we'll just forget it. I'm already at a point where I can't be fucked with that. I should keep that. I should keep the I should keep the ACP rounds as well. They're not ACP rounds. They are. Uh, I'll get the other ones back out of the pistol as well. I, we might as well keep the ACP rounds because an FNX would be better than the Glock later on, wouldn't it? It's so frustrating when it does that. It seems to go through spells where it does it all the time. Shotgun? I'll be riding shotgun. I do prefer the double barrel, but I don't really want to I don't really want to fix it. I've been watching you at work today and that's literally it. Sweet meat, sweet meat. So you don't really like your job very much either, you know. I I think it's a much more respectable thing to do to put everything you can into your job and you'll probably end up having a better career if you adopt that ethos but I don't know if you're 18 19 working in a shop and you know you don't want to work in that shop forever unfortunately the reality is that you're not going to work very hard are you and, and then if you're really unlucky you might end up in a position where you're managing twats like that when you're older as well you know there's something kind of cool about going to work as an 18 year old and earning a bit of money and not and like phoning it in you know <laughs> but when it's your job to manage those people it suddenly becomes a much different prospect you know it's really annoying Everyone has an off day. I definitely have off days of streams. File transfer, you know, like, like I, I, I don't think I phone it in when I'm streaming, like. But the the problem, like, streaming is not a hard job, so I'm not. Don't anyone think I'm trying to say it is? It's hard to be a successful streamer, but it's not a hard thing to do, if that makes sense. Uh, but nonetheless, I, uh, I sometimes have days where I'm not as good as others, but it's more to do with mood, you know, like anybody else, like. If, if you're in a bad mood, or you've had a bad day, or you've had some bad news, sometimes it can be hard to uh, give a fuck, you know. To be honest, once in a blue moon, that's why there's no stream. And this is the honest truth. Once in a blue moon, it might be that I, I say something like, oh, there's no stream today, and such and such. But the, re the uh, once a, once in every two of those, it's not really such and such. It's just that I've had a really shit day, but I don't want to say that I've had some bad news and like do some kind of like, uh, like oh, I've had, I've had a really bad day or the whatever, or I've had an argument. Nobody wants to say, oh, I've had an argument with the missus, so I'm not streaming today, for example. Uh, not that that happens very often, you know. We don't have arguments. She tells me what's what, and I, I acknowledge that. I don't, I don't I don't know if it's all women I hope I'm not going to go down some generalist route here but I've only had a few girlfriends I've, I've had a wife and 
two kind of long-term girlfriends on top. Like the one of my fiance now, who I've been with for a long time, right? But every one of the three longer-term, four longer-term girlfriends. Sorry, I was forgetting one, but she was only like three months, I suppose. But uh, everyone that I've had could recount everything that you've ever said ever. Like. If you say something, you're like, well, that's not what you said three weeks ago on Tuesday when you said this. Like, how, why can't I do that? Why, why can't I ever remember, like, how it works for me if I'm in a discussion, let's say, a healthy discussion in a relationship rather than an argument. Like, I always think of the thing I should have said, like, three days later when I'm on my own. <laughs> I never think of the thing. I'm like, I could have won that if only I said that. But I can never do it. My my brain only finds that information two days too late. You gotta be like me, never wrong. Hmm. A healthy discussion, yeah. <laughs> I think most men can probably rejoice in that, yeah. This doesn't explain, but my partner has said, said I forgive but never forget. Yeah, I think that, I think to be honest, maybe it's to do with dealing with problems. But like for me, anything that happens that's negative, I want to lose it as quickly as possible. And maybe it's to do with how brains are wired or how my brain's wired. But anything that happens to me that's negative, I want to try and get it out of my head as quick as possible, whatever it might be, and move on with my day. Whereas perhaps my girlfriends over the years have not done that. <laughs> they more stew and cogitate and think about it and think about it and think about it. So it might be that, I don't know, you say something fairly innocuous and by the time you see them at the end of the day, it's now a massive thing. Whereas if someone says something to me innocuous in the morning, I probably have forgotten about it half an hour later. But that, that's uh, not like a complete generalisation, that's just how I found it, personally. Dude, you're blessed that the one time you come up with the right line in the moment you realise how wrong it was. Exactly, Bubbles. Yeah, sorry, Bub. Yeah, Bubbles. Chatter, not cheddar. Yeah, I think you're right. Men deal with things on a bit more of a surf, sort of surface or not so serious way. Hi Hotfix dude, how you doing? Someone just asked what the plan is right now. I died, I lost a DMR at Tissy, uh, so someone asked that as well, what, what happened. I died when it was getting dark in, at Tissy, dude had a suppressor and I just was really struggling to make him out. And he killed me, broke my leg. The really cool thing though is that when he, when he broke my leg, he then shot me again and ruined the gun. So the DMR is ruined, so he didn't get it, which I was very pleased about, to be honest. Uh, but what, what's the plan right now? I've, I've just spawned in, so I spawned in Cherno, and I'm trying to re-gear. In fact, I spawned near to Electro, actually. So the plan is to try and get gear or die trying, you know. I've got, I've just picked up an SKS at the Prison Island, but we've only got four bullets. So I'm, I'm trying to get into the map, get, get some proper gear and get away, you know. I've picked up a little bit of NBC loot, so we might try and find a full NBC suit, maybe get an SVD. Uh, how many DMRs in the map at any one time? I guess it could be one or none, really. I don't know. What, I I don't go into the server files to check, but it's going to be a couple. I bet it's no more than three. But given that they only spawn at convoys and heli sites, and there's only, I think there's three convoys and there's four heli sites, but I could be wrong. I suspect there's one or two on the server at any one time, as a guess. But that's a complete guess. Like you could check ten helicopter crash sites and not find a single DMR, you know. I want to see you destroy everyone, uh, white boy. I, I feel like I've not done a, a day where I destroy everyone for a while now. How often is loot respawning? Christopher, it effectively respawns constantly. Like every six seconds the server checks itself and puts more loot in. But it shouldn't really spawn in where players are really close by. Uh, so if somebody picks up a blaze, or maybe let's say two blazes get picked up now, uh, every six seconds the server is checking and then it will put another one or two in somewhere in the map. 
Uh, I didn't live that long with the DMR today. Maybe a couple of hours. I maybe a bit less. I I, di I didn't get any kills, unfortunately. And I, the first person that shot at me killed me. Air bears. Well, thank you for the sub, dude. Uh, if you subbed, maybe you got a gifted sub. But either way, thank you. Daisy Timmy, thank you for the 59 months. Uh, we're Why Rook, thank you for the 14. O'Neill, thank you for the 9. Blocky Yarda, thank you for the 16. Do you rate the Bison? Uh, not really. Uh, it's really good with the mag capacity for killing Zeds, but it's a bit of a ball ache. Like, once you're out of the spawn zone, the bullets are a bit harder to find because you never bother, you know, so... I'd much... For killing zombies, I'd rather have an MK2, personally. But the Bison's pretty good with the mag capacity. Problem is... Suppressors get ruined so quick that you probably ruin the suppressor before you run out of bullets. Uh, why Rook? Thank you again, Daisy, Timmy, and Sea Biscuit. Uh, hello, uh, have a good day as usual. Love you, bye. Uh, sea Biscuit, thank you. Have a good day yourself, dude. How much was the Patek Philippe Tony Soprano? What? Tony Soprano gave away. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. I don't remember him giving a Patek Philippe away. To be honest, I've seen all of it, but the thing I remember more is the special jacket that he gives away. You know that I remember that a lot more. <laughs> that was. He gives away a jacket. I forget the dude's name now. Uh, he has. He comes to an abrupt end thanks to Mrs. Soprano. Uh, well, the sister. Anyway. Uh, that's funny, where he gives him this jacket and it's a really big deal, and at the end he sees somebody else wearing it. That's fucking... Richie April, that's exactly who it is. Well done. Yeah, to the maid's husband. I, I've only... I've seen The Sopranos all the way through uh, earlier this year. I, I must be honest, I kind of like the idea of watching it again. I, I've done... All of the Sopranos and all of Game of Thrones this year, and I'd never seen all of it. I'd seen a lot of the Sopranos, but not all. Uh, and whilst I think possibly Game of Thrones was better on the first watch, if I had to watch one again now, I'd much rather watch the Sopranos. I, I think it's much more worth another view, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I've not done The Wire yet. That was recommended to me, and I started watching it, and I, I just couldn't... I couldn't get through the first few episodes. It, I just didn't like it. And, and I know it's meant to get absolutely amazing. But the first few episodes were just slow and I didn't really like it. And I just didn't get past them. So I, I, I didn't give it enough time, really. I, I'll probably try and go back to The Wire at some point. It's meant to be stunning and I, I didn't really give it a fair shot. Never seen West Wing. Have you seen AJ and Meadows podcast? I don't really do podcasts, if I'm honest. I, I, I'd like to do a podcast. I just don't have any idea or time or talent, maybe. But uh, I don't really consume podcasts. The only time I could do it is if I was driving. And I don't drive very much. So I, uh, if, I'm, if I'm in the car, I'm probably like listening to TalkSport like, once every two weeks. Or, it, it, like, I'm, I'm, when I'm driving on my own, I should qualify, you know, like, a podcast is quite a poor personal thing, so, like, it's very rare I'm driving on my own. I've normally got the kids or my missus in the car. And so, it's normally kind of music that we both like, rather than a podcast that's for me. The only other thing I could do is listen to it while I'm on the, uh, like, well, I go out for a walk every day. I went out for about an hour and a half today, maybe an hour and a quarter, I don't know. Uh, but I like to not be on my phone and just kind of look around and go in to the countryside and whatnot, you know. That said, I've got I've got caught on Twitter a little bit. I was on Twitter a bit today, but very positive. It wasn't wasn't negative in the slightest. I was listening to a podcast and almost ran a red light. I actually missed my junction, thanks to TalkSport, on the way back from Liverpool, I think it was. Uh, they would, they did a little bit. They replayed it at like 10 to 10. Uh, and it was about a darts player whose name was Masters. Uh, 
No, not true. Let me get it right. His name's Bates. His name's Bates. And you know darts players all have, like, a bit like snooker players. They all have names like like the wizard or, I don't know, like, whatever, you know, the professor and shit like that. They all have names. Well, this guy's name is Bates. Surname is Bates. And he's called the master, right? Uh, so he's, 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 like, he's introduced as Master Bates. <laughs> uh... But yeah, anyway, the uh, they they did a little skit of it, and like he he was trying to do it on the radio, but he obviously couldn't say masturbates, so they were skirting around it. But then they were like, and oh, now we're going to go to the cricket to see who's won the toss, and like everything they said within those few sentences were all like jokes on masturbating, and they didn't even mean them. So him and Ali McCoy were just laughing and laughing and laughing. It was fucking beautiful. It was really good. It was Alan Brazil and uh, and. Uh, the other dude I just mentioned whose name now I fucking forgot, Ali McCoist. It was it was pretty funny. But anyway, it was making me laugh so much and then I looked up and I'd missed my turn. <gasps> Legions, good luck. Yeah, Simon Whitlock. I I don't watch a lot of lot of darts, but I was just trying to think of uh some nicknames, you know. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know them all. I know them a bit more with the uh, with the snooker. It never really works very well with snooker. They have that dude that does the announcements at the world championship, and then they're like, "And here he comes, the jester from Leicester," and he's not even fucking funny. Like, why is he the jester from Leicester? He's not fucking funny. <laughs> he's not funny in the slightest. It's just a trade descriptions act. He's not fucking funny. He's a fucking snooker player. It's about. I like watching snooker, but let's not pretend there's any fun in it. You know, it's like watching paint dry. But I, I like watching it nonetheless. But yeah, come on. Do you have tinted windows? Uh, cool hand in the front of the car in the UK. It's not legal to have tinted windows, so you can only have it in the rear, like the the courtesy glass in the for the back, like people in the back, like your kids or whatever. So yeah, no 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 tinted windows in the front, dude. Uh, I like watching snooker, I do, but I, I think the attempt to jazz it up with walk-on music, and uh, his name's Rob something, the guy that does the, uh, like, a little bit like they do in boxing, where they do their let's get ready to rumble, but he's like, uh, in darts they have it as well, but it seems to, like, he's like a hype man, but... You can't hype snooker, you know, like you can hype darts because you whoop in the crowd up and then the crowd, like in, with darts, they get really loud and they get really behind the players and it's really dramatic and stuff. But you can't hype crowds up at snooker and then like someone's getting told up for opening a boiled sweet too loudly, you know, it doesn't fucking work, does it? <laughs> like hyping up the crowd and then as soon as it starts, if you'd like to turn all your mobile phones up, do not open any, any sweet wrappers or any crisp wrappers, you will be ejected from the premises. Like, what, how does that work, you know? I disagree. Some players can be hyped and crowds can be good. Well, not very often I want I want lots of cows. Like, they don't have... I, I, I don't see it myself. I'm, I'm a big fan of Q-Sports. I used to play pool a hell of a lot. I really like watching snooker, but... It, the crowds are dull, and it, nearly every 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 crowd they get told off like somebody's mobile phone ring. It's the most exci exciting thing that happens, you know. Like it, it's very rare. There's one or two one or two tournaments. I think the uh, that single ball single frame shootout where the crowd are allowed to shout like it starts, and it's very different. But normally with the snooker, it's a really whispering commentator. And if anybody coughs at the wrong moment, they get in trouble. If the phone rings, they get in trouble. If they're too loud, if they, if they move, if they scratch their face while the player's taking a shot, they get in trouble. It, uh, it's not like the Moscone Cup or something, where you get a lot of... Uh, well, there's a, the, the military trains here. We'll go and check that in a minute. Exactly, Grey Zone. It, it, like, something like the Moscone Cup is a bit more like the Ryder Cup in terms of the crowd really getting behind it and really energetic and whatnot, but... Snooker is not an energetic crowd, is it? It's mostly people that look like they're struggling not to fall asleep.
Matt, Matt Scarfo, thanks for coming in. Cheers for tuning in to the YouTubes. Shotgun Nelly, bottom sneeze. Cheers for the resubs. 33 streak. Hope you find Diamara D again. I'd like another Diamara. I would, yeah. Uh, bottom sneeze. Thank you. Gr Nomi. Thank you. Nomi. Sorry. Thank you. you Yules Kaya. Thank you for the for the new sub. Uh, DG Morfrog. Thank you for the membership on YouTube, dude. Thank you very much. Kai, Tob MC, and Miller. Thank you for the primes on Twitch and Anonymous. Cheers for doing what you do. Thank you for the tip, dude. Mr. Anonymous, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right, let me... Uh, I'm running out of space. I think... Let's just get in a bush for a sec. This seems like a very big train, doesn't it? But it's the military train, so... I'm probably going to get myself a bigger bag here, which would be good. There is a convoy spawn. Uh, Laszlo, there is, yeah. I didn't. I only checked the edge of it, but you're right. I can check it from the coast. It, it spawns along the... Uh, by the green PD thing. Yeah, I, I should... I kind of checked a little bit from on the way up, but you're right. I didn't check it fully. I didn't check it properly. Yeah, last time we were at a train convoy, I nearly shit a brick because of a dude, didn't I? That was what I feared. I, I don't know if I really want that. I, I don't think I'm going to carry it. I, I, like, I might come back for it if we find some grenades. It's in the second container. Dun, dun. The spawn loot as well. I think this one does. Yeah. Not any loot I really needed, but anyway, let's take it. Not so bothered about the uh, three rags. We'll be okay. Do I really need that shotgun anymore? I think so, yeah. I've only got seven bullets for the SKS. I can't reload, can I? So, do I really need the shotgun? Yeah. If I bump into anyone, with my accuracy, I'm not sure seven bullets will be enough. If I find a box of bullets now, how cool is that? If I find a box of bullets, I'll probably drop it, but right now I can't. Uh, Miller, uh, Miller872, cheers for the prime sub straight after you followed as well, no less. Thank you very, very much, dude. Uh, Kyle Stud, dude, thank you for the membership as well. Stash the launcher on the roof. Uh, it's not much point. If I find a grenade, I'll come and get it straight away. If I don't, I don't want it. Was there anything in those trousers? No. Nope. Oh, this is a pain. How am I going to do this? What am I dropping? Oh, fuck me. I, I, I haven't got... A, this bag is doing my fucking nut in. This small bag. I need a bigger bag. Give me a tortilla bag, please. Or an Alice bag. I'll even take an Alice bag. Whatever. Stuff can spawn on the top of these, I think, like on the on the top of these uh, train dealies. My voice helps you sleep, Tony. Does it? GG. Glad to be of service. Managing people really is the worst. It, you're right. I don't know. I, I'd rather be a manager than be managed. I, I, I didn't enjoy that very much. Like it, it, It's okay if your manager's good, but sometimes your manager, like... If your manager is good at their job and they expect the same from you, that's okay. But when you get a manager that's not very good at their job and they expect you to do better than they're doing, that's not so easy for me to compute, you know? 
once upon a time in in, in Asta, I made my store manager cry. I was like a. In, they didn't really have an assistant manager position, but I was kind of like the assistant manager, but there was more than one. Uh, and I, I got pulled in, and he's like, in my review, he's going, and, and how your shop floor was on Monday morning. Like, so on a Sunday, you only had, like, one manager in. And, like, like he was like, and when I came in on Monday morning, this wasn't done, and this wasn't done. And, and like, and I, I just immediately, <laughs> well... Well, the Monday before, you were in charge on the Sunday, and I came in, and the shop floor was way worse, and we took way more money than you. So, we were busier, we had less staff, and I still delivered a better shop floor for you on Monday morning than you delivered for me last Monday. And that kind of thing doesn't go down very well. I, I, I made my store manager cry in my review. <laughs> that was not a good <laughs> that, that was not a, That was not a smart move for my future prospects. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, thank you again for the membership, dude. Teddy, thank you for the gifted subs. You're very kind, dude. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, I need to go and get uh, get my water bottle filled up. I don't know what I've done here. I, it's like, my, the, I've got a water bottle I'm drinking. It tastes like shit. I need to go and uh, like empty it out and fill it back up. If you have a PC, you are rich. Congrats. Well, everyone has a barometer, MJ. Some people would say if you don't have a Lamborghini, you're not rich, you know. But I don't have one of those, by the way, nor, nor would I want one. But I don't know. I don't know. If you have a house that's big enough, if you have a, a bed for every person in your house, you're rich in a lot of countries, you know. Well, obviously you might be uh, sleeping with your girlfriend, you know. But, like, when I, when I went to India, you know, there's, there's people living in, like... like more than one person living in something like many people living in something the size of a garden shed you know uh, rich is very subjective I don't think personally that owning a PC is my barometer for being rich or not uh, no he, he, he was a he the store manager for each of your girlfriends. <laughs> I think there, there's different levels, right? I, and I, I feel really lucky to be where I'm at right now. And I... I certainly don't feel rich, but I'm doing pretty well. And, and what I mean by that, personally, I'm not showing off. I'm just trying to talk realistically, you know. Like, for me, feeling comfortable is a really cool thing. Like, for example, if something breaks and it's not the end of the world, you know. Like, in the past, before I was doing this, like, if something went wrong, like I needed a new washing machine, it would really mess things up for a long time and possibly mean debts and things, you know. Like, like... I feel very lucky not to be in that position as I was in the past, you know, uh, where you like you could be on your ass if the car goes wrong or something. You can't afford to fix it. You can't afford not to fix it, kind of thing, you know. Money is the only measure of how much value your talents bring to the world. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really like to measure people by the money they earn or the the, the value. Uh, for example, somebody that chooses to be a nurse probably doesn't choose it solely to make money. They choose it because it's what they want to do. You know, like. So, I think that muddies the waters massively. Some people, for example, want to be a teacher. They really want to do it. But you can't earn as much being a teacher as you could being a. I don't know. A trader or something. I think trying to define people's worth by money is tricky, or what they do by money as well. Uh, like having worked in retail, you get looked down on a lot. Where people come in and they they, they like treat you like shit, and they want your service. Oh bollocks! They, you do get looked down on, but defining people for what they do is a because there's many people that have earned lots of money. They're actually complete dicks. 
and actually lots of people that can be really stupid that have got quite a lot of money as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the case, you know, but nonetheless. I think not such a smart move myself. You could actually go SKS with scope and SKS with no scope as a viable loadout, I think. That would be kind of a fun thing to do for a life, but... I need a new bag. I really need a new bag. Yeah, I saw the case in point Jedward. I, yeah, I saw the uh, grenade for the thing. I, I don't want to... I don't want to fuck around with it. I don't want to go back and get the M79 launcher. I, I just can't be bothered. I had one on the last life with three grenades. It still didn't help me. And I was a bit unlucky, you know. They, they are very good, but I don't think I want to go back and, and get it. Is this a multi-stream? James, I'm always going to be streaming on Twitch as well as YouTube. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to... I guess I shouldn't say never ever, but I don't see any time I won't stream on both. If I'm only streaming on one, it'll be Twitch. I'm excited for Lights Out as well, Ethel. Have you always done the multi-stream, Big Bear? No, Twitch never allowed it until recently, so... They only allowed multi-streaming about three weeks ago. And so this is only my fifth stream where I've streamed on both YouTube and Twitch. I've only just started doing it. Uh, it might not be something I do forever. Right now, I've done five streams. They all feel like test streams, but... I like it. I feel like it's something I want to carry on doing, but... I may change my mind. Look at that, big AK. These are meant to be made rarer, so finding one here is uh, pretty cool. The shotgun's got to go now, even though I don't have many bullets. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave that. I've got to take it. I did just find a mag as well, didn't I? So that's pretty useful too. I just don't have many bullets yet. I best have that that bag. Only an extra seven slots, but it's still seven. Empty that shotgun, it might bite you. It's very unlikely that'll bite me, dude. I, I don't think it's worth it. It's only a shotgun, it's only rubber it's only red shells. And we're a reasonable way away from the uh the spawn zone now, you know. If you leave a shotgun in Electro or Kamishovo, a new spawn might grab it and then you might have to shoot with shoot against them, right? But if you leave a shotgun at a military base, chances are whoever comes here has already got something at least as good as that anyway, so it's unlikely to cause me too much grief, because if somebody's here, they've already got a gun. Doesn't really matter. It's still not a bad thing to do, it just makes it harder if somebody wants it, but like I say, I don't how many of that there was more of those shotguns at the prison island and we already went there, you know. I disagree. Uh, the last Mounchie. I want to know what what you what you yeah. What what do you leave behind for your loved ones? A big pile of debt. Hopefully not. I guess it's money. Train cart for AK rounds. Was there was there AK rounds in there? Was there? I could go back and check. Uh, Phil's a German. I, I've no idea, to be honest, dude. 
I've no idea. I, I, in general, YouTube ad revenue is higher than Twitch's, so I, my gut feeling is probably YouTube. But as far as Twitch revenue for ads versus YouTube revenue for ads, I don't know. I've not really even looked at the ad revenue on, on YouTube for this. I, I've not even bothered looking. Like, I, I, I have, I've got ads running on YouTube, but I've not really been studying, studying whether it makes me more money or not. And it clearly must make me some more money, but uh, it's not been my primary focus. Yeah, I'm going to go to the train. Keep in mind, after you die, everyone is going to ransack your home. Hmm. I don't really uh, give too much thought yet to that shit. I I'm going to live for at least another uh, 60 years. What with me being only 38 and all. I said money was useless because you can't take it with you when you die. To some extent, it does buy a lot of freedom, though, doesn't it? You know, like it, money is useless uh, or it's not so important if you've got enough to not be worried. You know, like if you're struggling to pay the heating bill and have enough food for you and your family, then money's very, very important, isn't it? You know, like that. Uh, that's the, the the balance, isn't it? Like there is a point where you've got loads and whether you've got more or not it doesn't really matter but very few people get there I guess quit eating sugar and you'll live much longer I would have I would have lived till I was 100 if it wasn't for that bastard sugar I don't know I don't know irony my uh, my nan is 96 and if she has a coke she has full sugar coke she she just doesn't have very many you know like I, th I think, personally, that the, the change in diet in the last 50 years or 30 years, probably a lot of the processed stuff is more, more dangerous than sugar. If you're, having a, if you're having a healthy diet, you know, like, if you have a, have a, like, a full sugar soda once every now and then, that's fine. It's drinking, like, eight a day or something's the problem, isn't it? It's, it's one of those debates that you can't win, though. Like, there's all sorts of things that are bad for you, but... Uh, Trying to move more and eat less is probably the best thing. Yeah, you, that's right, Michael. You, you can you can help your family. I I think if you've made it to the point where you're so rich that your kids have got it easy, that's a problem for your next for the kids, though. You know, like it's a nice problem to have. Uh, <laughs> it's a very rare problem that to have. You know, like I I, I know I, I'm not in that that boat, right? But if you're like I don't know, like, gazillionaire rich and your parents don't have to do anything. Ricky Gervais does a really cool skit on why he doesn't want to have kids about, like, having a Hampstead C word running around and stuff. But it's kind of true, you know. If, you, if you've got money like he has got, your kids are just going to be dicks, aren't they? It's really hard to, to not have that happen. You've got to really, really focus them in order to make it... make them not just be, like, fucking lazy, like... I don't know. Slow ranges or something. Uh, CKV36, thank you for the seven months. Clay by the ton, thank you for the bits. Aaron Toto, thank you for the 52 months. Rusty the Robot, thank you for the 66. Clay by the Ton, thank you for the bits as well. I feel like I I can't remember which billionaire it is. It might be Richard Branson, but I feel like there is a billionaire that said to his kids they're not getting anything. But if they if they go and earn a living, it'll double their yearly salary. Or if they do something really important, like a nurse, they'll triple it or something. It might be him or some other one, but that's kind of a cool thing to do, isn't it? Thank you. Like, you go and earn your money and I'll give you more. Matey from Jack Dragon's Den, is it? I think it would be really funny to be a billionaire and tell your kids they're not being left any inheritance, so they've got to make it all on their own. And then they go out and make it all on their own and then you leave them all your money anyway. That would be funny.
Joseph, I don't normally drop the C-bomb very much. Am I a millionaire? No, I'm not. I'm doing pretty well. If I can sustain how things are going for an extended period, I think I probably will be, but uh, I didn't start this until quite late, and when I started, I was quite a lot in debt, so these things, like, it doesn't just happen overnight, right? Six million in the bank, yeah. Sorry guys, I'm uh, I'm eating at the moment. My missus has just brought me some. Uh, uh, I've got beef, but well, cheeseburgers in pita bread, gluten-free pita bread. What if they don't make it and just have a miserable poor life? I, I think most kids that come from money probably do all right. They probably go to the best schools. They probably make the best connections and probably do all right. If streaming disappeared, what would you do? I'd be back in fucking retail, I suppose. I don't want that scope. I could have got the grenade given that I've come back here, but I don't really want to carry it. I don't know if there's any more of these. <laughs> yeah, retail is shit. When am I going to stream Minecraft? I've never even played Minecraft. Ever. Not once. But I can't be fucked to check the rest. That'll do. some kind of FPS shooter and I just didn't want to play Minecraft. If Minecraft, Minecraft came out today, I probably wouldn't play it. The chances are, like, if it was new, maybe I would. But. What is your age? 38. Is this server double loot? No, this is this is vanilla vanilla loot. Like what I'm finding here you can find on official. Golden monkey, well that's that's a depressing thought, but I hope you're wrong. <clears throat> if humanity's still here in tw by twenty thirty, I'll be surprised. Fuck. How long have I been 38? Since the year before I turned 37. Up uh, the year after. Num num num. You consider making your own server? I would rather insert pine cones into my urethra than make my own server. Brown Rice, thank you for the bits. I'm having some good old American fried chicken and watching your stream. Gonna hunt down a DMR. GG, dude. Thank you. Uh, been to a five crash sites. No dice. Good luck, dude. Hope you get one. Basil Sweet, Clay, clay by the Ton. Uh, cheers for the bits times two. CKV, thank you very much, too. What is the name of the server? Shh, it's a secret. That's the name. 
I can arrange that for you. I know a pinecone guy. Very cool. Num num num. What happened to the running man server? They're still there. Sorry guys, I should try to not talk so much while I'm eating, shouldn't I? They're just branded Spaggy now. They, they used to have my name on, but I was only ever the mascot. I wasn't in charge of the servers. Well over a year. I think it was more like 18 months, two years ago they changed. What's my exact coordinates? I don't know. Would you live stream the insertion of pine cones? I'm sure that would bring a massive donor. It would it would probably be fairly special interest, wouldn't it? I don't know. That that would be a It's not something you'd imagine many people googling, is it? Videos of pine cones being inserted into peens, you know, like that that's I wonder if anyone's ever googled a video. <laughs> I, I feel like it's not a, it's not a market many people are looking for. Well, the servers are still there. They were always hosted by Spaggy, so it used to say in the bottom left-hand corner, hosted by Spaggy, if you need any assistance with the server, go here, and it was to their, to his Discord. Well, Spaggy and Wayward Jack, but... Uh, the servers are still there. I, I've been playing on Spaggy servers ever since. That like, there was no, There's no drama there. It's just that it became too toxic to have my name associated to those servers. Like, every time there was an issue... The chat was all about servers. That's why I don't have servers now. Uh, you, you stop becoming a streamer and talking about random shit and start becoming a server provider and it gets really dull. Yeah, someone's probably Googled it, haven't they? Now. I think at the top of here is where the picnic table is. We'll just quickly check that in case there's a gun. And then down the down the way there is where there might be a convoy. That's Savannah. That's cool. Oh, then that's actually kind of tricky though. I've got bullets and a scope, and I like the idea of that more, but. I just googled that pineco thing at work and got a message saying it pop-up message saying it was blocked and to speak to HR. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what time am I streaming till? Usually on a Monday I do a 12-hour stream, but I, I started a bit late today. I, I went on my I do a walk every day, and today I went round my mum's and had a cup of tea and a chat with my mum. So uh, I'm going to be on probably till about 11, which will make this about a 10-hour stream. If it's a full server wipe, Darth, then everything gets wiped. All of the bases, all of the players, everything. Convoy's here. And then we've got a helicopter site to go and check after. But this, this could be really good news. This is the convoy. I've literally just picked up a savannah. Now we could be picking up some other shit too. I'm just going to sit here for a sec. Bar fumble, no worries, dude. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. 
Do I ever build bases? Not really sneaky. It's not something I I feel is easy to do while I'm streaming, so I don't do it. Uh, Bram Rice, uh, thank you very much for the bits, by the way. Best, the best, 6199. Howdy from Texas. I just got off my shift at the cowboy factory where I do cowboy stuff because I'm from Texas. Makes sense. I am eating uh, cheeseburgers but in pita bread rather than in a bun because the gluten-free pita bread is better than gluten-free buns. How many years have you been 38? Ish. <gasps> I was really hungry. Uh, eat that. Tell you what, a DMR here. I've already got two DMR mags, I think. Two DMR mags. We'd be living the fucking dream if we got one. Right, I've just moved the mic back. Unfortunately, I think we're going to be shit out of luck. Did I already have some of these? I thought I'd pick some up. Maybe not. We haven't even found a gun at all yet. Come on. Play the... Oh, there's three fucking ghillie st stuff. Where the ghillie stuff spawns is where I always feel like the gun should have been. Oh, what a crock of shit. Oh, fuck me. We're just All we've found is more bastard problems. I think I can take that. Let's get rid of you. Mm, fucking. Right, there's one more. Oh, oh, uh, is that a pistol? I came all this way to a convoy and all I found was a 1911. Oh, oh no. Surely not. <laughs> get 1911. Oh, that's kind of good though. Eat the jam. I, I probably will, but because I'm triple gunny at the moment, I can't eat it while I'm moving around here. I just can't do it. Alright, that sucks. Now I've got to try and remember the way. It was somewhere over there, I think. We'll go and see if we can find this heli site then. I have two stacks of pills. I thought I'd found a stack of those. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, we'll do the heli. I got really lucky yesterday and I found a heli crash at the very first uh, heli site I went to, you know. Unfortunately, not so lucky there. If there's no one, if there's no uh, DMR, then you'd kind of hope there might be a FAMS or something. But now they've moved the Org AX to the, and the SVD to the permanent gas zone, it, you'd think the chances of a DMR and a, or a foul would be massively higher, but it doesn't seem that way. Didn't want the extra pistol suppressor. Honestly, I couldn't be fucked to piss around with it. I really couldn't. Yeah, I died earlier, Mike. I, I died earlier, so no DMR. I was hoping we'd get one there, but no, no joy.
Can you always spot how each server map could be improved? Uh, I think anyone with a lot of experience can easily have an opinion, but what I think doesn't make me right all the time, you know, so I'm going straight at it. That's kind of cool. I think if you give me some time to play play on a map, I can probably give reasonable feedback about what's balanced and what's not, you know, but uh, the reality is that map design is a really tricky thing, but balancing a map, I can probably do that, you know, yeah. I think most people can. They've got a lot of hours. Little to the left, he says, Messi, as I'm running straight towards it. I know you couldn't see it on the screen when you said that, but it looks like I've got it pretty pretty damn on the on the bat on the spot. Do you think there are too many trees in Daisy? An interesting question. Not loaded at all, Picky. No, I don't. Okay, X is only in the gas now, Bowie. Same with the SPD. I'm a bit worried that we're going to get there and find another gun and then I'm going to have problems trying to work out how to take it while I'm at the heli and fumbling around. So I'm saying that out loud now because I, I need to remember and then I'll try and hide a gun in one of these trees before I leave. Probably just do it here. If I just put that there I've got space on my back. Probably work that out. Uh, Dark Man, uh, thank you for the bits. Brown Rice, thank you very much as well. My dad say, always says he's 25 with 30 years experience. <laughs> well, I'm 38 with no experience. No zombies again. Alright, I've got one of those already. Please have a gun. Oh my god. How did I see... How did I miss that guy when I came around the first time? Maybe just the angle I came from. No, no loot at all. Though. So, that's happened really, really recently. So, unfortunately, there's no gun because someone else is at it. He has a belt. Yeah, I'm not going to go back for the belt. It would be fairly helpful because I've got the uh, the cookie. Sorry, the canteen. But I'm not running back to a dead body at a heli for a belt. It's not high value enough. It's also the sort of thing that you'll miss while you're looting. Oh, oh, also, as well, up until recently, if somebody got shot, their belt nearly always got ruined. So I've kind of become preconditioned not to check. But they have fixed that now, so it's more worth checking again. I don't think we heard any shots. He could have been shot by a by a suppressed guy, I suppose. Like maybe somebody with a, su a sniper rifle and a bottle suppressor or whatever, you know. But it happened very recently because there's no flies. The flies happen after about 15 minutes. We also know it happened very recently because we heard the helicopter crash, you know. It, it was recently enough. Like he may have only been looting that like two minutes before I got there. Probably what didn't help is the fact that I was crouched down looking at the convoy, eating the last of my dinner, so I didn't rush as quick as I might. Black Bat, I died earlier at Tissy military, military Base. It was kind of a cool fight, but I just very getting very dark, couldn't see him very well. And his suppressor really worked. Couldn't. I, I was struggling to work out where he was.
He might be at the convoy. I'd be really surprised. Some players know where all the convoys are, but someone at that heli, I'd say there's a better chance than not that they don't know how to find the nearest convoy from there. Like, they might have a map, I guess, but... Yeah, we can go and try and get an SVD if I can find NBC gloves. We can go and do that. Spook dog, I've, I've not entirely made my mind up about the alerts yet, to be honest. I think some people will miss the uh, robot lady and some people will miss the, the the alerts in terms of the activity it brings to the stream. But I think more people would prefer it without. So in terms of feedback that I've had over the years, people get annoyed by the alerts more than they like them. So by and large, I think it's a positive change for the stream in, in general. But... On the flip side, it's probably a negative change in that alerts create interaction, which creates more buy-in, which creates more subs, which creates more revenue. So, uh, in terms of a financial decision, it might not be a wise one, but for the stream, it might be a good one. I, I don't really know. A few people have said they miss Robot Lady. Aiden, there's no longer Robot Lady, just for now. While I'm doing the multi-streams, I've, I've turned Robot Lady off. She may make a return. But right now she's switched off. Silverback. Yeah, I've got two kids, dude. How are you doing? Thanks for coming in. Ed, thank you for the 41 months. Uh, Dr. Manhattan, thank you for the prime. I was only here for Robot Lady. I'm guessing you're not getting a lot of feedback from people, content with alerts, I love I love Robot Lady. Uh, yeah, Mo, Mo goes the cow. I, I think people like it. Some people don't, but when I first introduced Robot Lady, there was a hell of a lot of people moaning about it, you know, but it's one of those things. Bring it in, people moan, take it away. Nobody's moaning here, so not you either, by the way, but like you add something, people don't like it. You take it away, people don't like it. <laughs> but... Uh, the, the trickier thing is that it's easy to just be enjoying the chat and the game and then not read out any alerts for 45 minutes, you know, which is something that concerns me more than any of those other things I mentioned. Like, uh, like the alert is a physical reminder to me to say thank you to something, which I don't currently have. Stream is much better without Robot Lady. There you go. Look, you, you, there'll be a bit of one and six or one and half a dozen of the other kind of thing, really. Uh, riding with Kevo. Thank you for the 20 months. Hey, how you doing? Thank you very much. Moist Cobra, thank you for the 25. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. What did I think of the Man City Chelsea game? It was frenetic, wasn't it? I did watch it last night. Uh, I, I was, obviously, people were talking about it as as the result, like as the goals went in. It was a really good result for the Premier League, I think. <clears throat> like Man City are top, but everyone's in touch. You know, if Man City get any kind of a decent lead now, everyone's fucked in the new year, right? They, They'll probably win 10 or 12 games on the bounce after Christmas. So if they, if anyone else is going to challenge, they need to l slip up a bit, you know. Jerome Sortbag. Sortbag. Well, thanks for coming in. Is it possible to have alerts on Twitch and no alerts on YouTube? It's not, Mr. No. Uh, it, at the moment, how I'm streaming, it would be possible, but I'd need two instances of OBS and have to be running them twice, which would be a real ball ache for me. But I, uh, if I have alerts, I have alerts on both platforms, basically. But Twitch have got some rules that prohibit me from having YouTube alerts on Twitch. So for now, I'm doing it this way because having no alerts seems a better choice than... Like, I, I don't really want a situation where somebody follows on Twitch and they have a message on screen, or somebody subscribes on Twitch and they get a, they get an alert, but somebody becomes a member on YouTube and they don't. That, that really frustrates me, and I'm annoyed by Twitch's stance on it. So, 
I don't really want a system whereby there's no alerts for Twitch things, sorry, for YouTube things that Twitch does get alert for. I think that's not very fair. Just gloves, FLDR. Probably probably gloves and also more, more filters, but you can farm the filters from zombies pretty easily. My view count's gone up, Mystic. Yeah, it's definitely gone up. So I don't feel it's gone down very much on uh, on Twitch. Uh, like yesterday, my, my total view count on Twitch topped out about 4, 450, which is crazily high. But it's about standard. It's about normal. And YouTube peaked out at 2,400 or so. So if you add those two together, that makes a lot more than I would normally get. So it definitely is opening me up to more more eyes, for sure. Rex, I, I, I think it's it's pretty weak, you know, the, the, the reasons they've given. They've given some reasons, and I understand it if you, like, why they don't want overlays for the chat. I really get it. So some people stream with an overlay on the screen that has the chat on it, and I can see why they don't want YouTube logos on the screen or YouTube messages on the screen as well as Twitch messages. I can kind of see that. But a little thing in the top corner that says, uh, Fred Blogs just subbed on Twitch. Uh, like it doesn't even say the platform it just says Fred Bloggs just subbed or it says Joe Bloggs became a member you know what difference does that make to the platform it doesn't make any you know like I, I, I don't it seems like incredibly protectionist but it is what it is more people watching you watching TRMZ than MK Doms <laughs> holy shit I don't think I don't think the alerts on YouTube reduces channel revenue on Twitch, Sean. I, I don't think so. I think if I have an alert for Twitch and an alert for YouTube, that's probably better than no alerts, which seems to me to be the only viable choice because I just won't do what they. I, I might I might do it. I might I might change my mind and turn alerts on for Twitch, but I feel it's a bit unfair. I don't like it. The reality is that the, it's a it's a relatively small thing. Just talking about memberships, for example. Uh, on the subject of memberships on YouTube, like joining, I don't get any alerts for any gifted memberships. I don't gift any memberships yet. I still haven't set it up. So if anyone's gifted memberships today, I haven't seen it. And apologies if I've missed yours. But don't do it because I don't know. <laughs> uh, but today I think I've had two, possibly three memberships. Whereas on Twitch I probably had a hundred resubs already. Or subs and resubs, you know. So we're talking about small numbers of, that I wouldn't be having alerts for, you know, in comparison to the Twitch stuff. Shall I eat some of that? I suppose I might as well. What sort of population do I prefer? Full. I think, ho hopefully, I agree with you, mysticism, so... I, I, th I think multi-streaming is still kind of new and like the rules that Twitch have written, they will revisit them. They, they won't, they will change them and they'll adapt, you know. Uh, Rex, I agree. It, it, it is... The, the, the bit that really annoys me is that we're allowed third-party alerts for PayPal tips and stuff already, you know. They're kind of changing the rules on... what It's my stream. If I want alerts for something, I feel like I should be allowed them. It's, do you know, like, if I wanted an alert for somebody subbing on YouTube, I should be allowed that anyway, you know. When I hit 100,000 subs on, on YouTube, I was live streaming at the time, and I put something on the screen that showed the sub count, and it said, like, 99,875 or something. And then it was ticking up through the stream and it went to 100,000 on the stream. Strictly speaking, it turns out that's not allowed now, you know. That's bullshit, isn't it? Surely. Like, I understand YouTube is a competitor, but I'm bringing people to this platform from YouTube, not the other way around. Uh, you're, they haven't said anything about merch alerts, Kegu. Their issue is with third-party alerts integrated alerts on multi streams.
Uh, baseball, thank you for the seven months. I, I shouldn't really be fucking around with this, should I? But I just want to eat as much of this as I can. I'll just eat one more one more load and then I'm going to... Do you know what? I can't really be bothered. I haven't got the patience. Whoever looted that heli could be around. Well, I, I ought to... I ought to get a wriggle on. We might find them at, at the summer camp. Or Moschino tents. I'm surprised that Partner Plus level allows for multi-streaming. Uh, well, I don't know why Partner Plus or Partner makes any odds, really. That The revenues... They're not allowing you... Like, I, I think they've taken an approach that they need to allow multi-stream, otherwise they're going to wither and die in the long run, and I think that's probably a good choice. This is not not rotten, by the way, it's just dried, so it's fine. It looks pretty tasty, doesn't it? Uh, I think not allowing it would stifle Twitch in the long run, so that's why they've allowed it, but... Uh, there's no cross-platform in this game, Joseph, no. Do you sell shirts that say this is vanilla? No, but I should. So, Jimmy, I don't know. They, they certainly are... Uh, well, it seems like Wobo, is, Wobo in one of his videos... Slight spoiler alert. <laughs> has teased the fact that there may be DLC on the way, so... Uh, it looks like they've prepped the uh, the front page of the game, if you like, for DLC. Uh, so we may be seeing some of that soon. Am I still going to release weekly vids on YouTube? That's the idea. The only reason there was no video this week is that Uncupa's been working on one, but only since Thursday. So there's there's edited videos coming. The reason there was no video Sunday was partly that, but also partly because I didn't have any footage, you know, like... I obviously play a lot, but for the three weeks prior to this, I've been playing mostly experimental. Uh, which was third person in a first person server, and that's really hard to get decent content on. We made one experimental video where I was playing third person on a third per first person server, but it's really hard to win firefights, even more so when you're giving away the camera angle to most of the people you're shooting against, you know. Uh, that was a good move, Paul. Well done. And I also, beyond that, I was playing Winter Chernerus, which is really slow, too, so I just had no footage. Uh, but the, the plan is to still have weekly, revi weekly video releases. The only caveat to that is that it feels less likely that I'm going to do unedited stuff, so... If I'm streaming on YouTube three or four times a week, I can't really push that same stream on a Sunday as a video release. It's like the same thing. So if I stream on Twitch and it's a really good stream, that might go to YouTube unedited. Otherwise, it won't for obvious reasons, you know. <laughs> Joseph, no worries. I hope you keep enjoying the game, dude. <laughs> Uh, Natsu, thank you for the membership on YouTube, and Burkant, Denovus, thank you for the membership on YouTube as well. Cheers, guys, thank you. Yeah, Nightbot is a bit sensitive to caps and stuff like that, but a purge from Nightbot is, is no drama, it's all good. Have I got... A, no, I've got a battery in there already. I don't need those, I suppose. It has occurred to me that they might do a Winter Chernerous DLC, and, and they might be Outrage as well. <laughs> that it might be... I, we talked about it briefly earlier, but what if they do... They could do a DLC that's like an old school Chernerus, like the original Chernerus from 2014, or a, like a 
They could do, I know there's some modded versions. They could do that. They could do Winter Chernerus. They could do all sorts. Hopefully it's a new map or a, maybe the map from Armour has been daisyized. Who knows? Maybe they're going to start selling an upgraded engine for DayZ so you can play it with the armor, in, like the Armour Reforger engine or the, the, the looks and the... I doubt that. I, I really doubt they would do that, but you just don't know what it might be. Do you have your, do you have your own favorite YouTube channel that you watch after hours? Uh, I watch mostly stuff to do with watches, as in wrist watches. I'm a really, really dull. I, I, I don't I don't watch a great deal of uh, Daisy related stuff because I do so much Daisy myself. So, uh, like if you make if you're playing Daisy for like today ten hours, at the end of that stream you don't want to watch Daisy. You know, like and same beforehand you don't want to prep for a ten hour stream by watching Daisy. You just I I watch of of, of Daisy I watch more to not Tope sorry I watch more Wobo than anyone else because there's some good tips in there. You know or good little updates on the new patch or whatever but for Daisy, I occasionally watch a taupe video or an Amish said video occasionally keep an eye on like sour or whatever but I, I don't watch a great deal of YouTube content for Daisy. I, on it's more for watch stuff and even then I, I don't watch as much as I was I used to watch it loads like like websites like watchbox and there's loads of watch tubers like YouTube urban gentry and uh, bark and Jack and Loads and loads. Nico Leonard. I still watch Nico Leonard now, who I met last week. But I found myself not watching most of that lately because it seems to have got somewhat stale. For me personally, anyway. Yeah, you were only prohibited from multi streaming Orb 1, as somebody else has just said, if you were a Twitch partner. So. You could give up your Twitch partnership or give up your affiliate if you were a Twitch affiliate and then you could multi-stream. But if you wanted to be partnered with Twitch, i.e. have a sub button and such like, like partner with revenue share for adverts, you could only do that if you were if you didn't multi-stream. Otherwise, it was not allowed. Where They changed that recently, so you could partner and still multi-stream. And then I woke up, Dave. <laughs> well, there is no 57 and Evan anymore now, dude. They they were quite smart with that, right? Well, they sorry guys, this is dull Patek talk, right? But they used to do a watch that was in steel and it was crazily expensive. But the, the boss of Patek decided that they didn't want their most popular watch to be a steel basic watch, so they discontinued it. And then a year later, they brought it out more than twice the price in white gold. <laughs> so now you can only buy it in, in precious metal because they don't want their most ex their most popular to watch to be a cheap steel watch, which was still like 25, 26 grand or something crazy. Uh, King Daddy on Twitch? No. I, I, well... I, I, I can't even see when an ad is playing anymore now because of the multi-streaming software I'm using, but uh, it's possible to delay the ads up to three times if it tells me a minute before an ad's coming, but I haven't got it set up on a stream deck or anything, and if I'm in the middle of something, I'm not... Like, if I'm in the middle of something that means I don't want to play ads, I'm not able to delay the ads because I'm in the middle of something in the game anyway. Do I use OBS or... A, you need to use OBS even if you're using a capture card, King Alex, but if you're PC gaming, you shouldn't really need a capture card, no. So I, I use uh, I use Streamlabs to stream right now, but normally if I'm just doing Twitch, I use OBS. Dusty, uh, you still have a lighter and matches. Yeah, I did. I was carrying both ages ago. Yeah, I, 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 I'm carrying all sorts of shit at the moment. I'm, I'll probably drop that. I suppose I could drop that too. I think I'm actually going to go across. I'll just check for the train. We've already seen a military train, but not, not one. What is that? The boar.
What's my favourite watch from my I.O.? Lorenzo, I can do a cop out there. On the subject of that, I actually posted a picture in the was watch section of the Discord of my, a little collection of mine, but they're all Seikos and Casios mostly, but the favourite watch of mine that I own is a, a Casio G-Shock that my dad wore for the last year of his life. So it's a cop-out answer, but it's true. Uh, I don't talk about my collection of watches or not, as they may be, because I'm not... I, I don't collect things to flex them on the internet. Uh, but my favourite watch, my favourite two watches are both related to my dad anyway. So one's a Raymond Veal, or the Whale, however you meant to say it, Raymond Wheel, uh, which was his for about the last ten years of his life, and the other one's a, a Casio G-Shock that was mine. And I wore it on a trip me and my missus took to India, and he, he had dementia, so for the last year of his life, he, he kept playing with his watch. He was wearing a Timex Indiglo most of the time. But he kept playing with it and fucking around with it, and so it was never showing the right time. And he knew, obviously, he'd look at it and he would know it wasn't showing the right time, but he didn't know how to fix it. So I, uh, I gave him my G-Shock because it had band six, so it would always be the right time. You know, it just sets to an atomic clock. It's not, a, it's not a personal question, Sneaky. He was seventy-one. Thoughts on moving the VSD and the ASVAL out of the gas zone? I think it was a very smart move. And in fact, not that it had anything to do with me, but I've been saying I hope they would do it for about a year at least. So I think it was a really good move. Putting two better guns in and taking those guns out was a really good move. The ASVAL and the VSS are just not aspirational guns. They're, they're nice to have for killing Zeds and maybe players, but... They're not something that you ever... By the time you get to the gas zone, you don't need them, you know? Like, even now, if I found one, I wouldn't need one, and I haven't even been to Tissy or anything yet, you know? Like, by the time you've collected up a full NBC kit, that gun is not a gun you need. Or those guns. What was Nico Leonard wearing? He was wearing his uh, carbon uh, Ulysses Nardan Freak. And proudly telling everybody that Ulysses Nard Nardan had won a prize at the GPHD, but not to repeat it, cause, because it wasn't going to be announced until Friday. <laughs> so we, they announced these, like, like, the, the, like the watch Oscars, if you like. The announcements were Friday, and it was telling everyone on Tuesday what watch had won. <laughs> I used to be addicted to collecting things, movies, records, toys, trading cards, all to flex on the internet. People do. People do. Like, I, I, I still, I'm in one or two watch forums and whatnot, and people will, like, race to, like, uh, oh, I need that backpack. Like, to put pictures on and stuff. There's, it's crazy, though, that there's some people, that, like, in, in a watch forum that I go to, like, proper, like, gazillionaires, that they're, like, posting a new watch every fucking day, like, two or three a week and stuff. Some people seem to have, like, a watch that they wear specifically to buy a new watch. They've got that many, you know. <laughs> it's fucking madness. But each to their own, you know. Like, the thing that surprises me sometimes is that, like, even in Facebook groups where you've got your actual name on, like, people are like, I don't know, my name's, let's use Joe Bloggs again. Joe Bloggs and I've got this Patek Philippe, you know. Like, why the fuck would you post pictures and your real name of something like that? It's like invitation to burglarise, right? Fuck me. Yeah, it could use a fix. I'll fix it when we're done here, because I might find a new one. I've got my watch shopping watch on. Let's go buy watches. Exactly. That's exactly how it feels, though. There is something about that in, in collecting, though. Whatever you're collecting, like, the chase for the, for the thing you're collecting is better than when you get it in some ways, you know. That's how the brain works. The, much like DayZ, the journey and the attempt, like trying to get a DMR or trying to get an SVD for the first time or whatever, the attempt and the journey and the challenge is a lot more fun than the realisation of making it happen, you know? Am I a fan of tags? I am. I don't own any. Uh, I did own a steel and gold Carrera, like a two-tone, a while back. Uh, I actually reposted a sale of it. I was trying to sell it, but this was six, seven years ago, probably. Five, six years ago, whatever. But, yeah, I, uh, 
I, uh, I am I, I am now. Tag have been a bit not so great for a while, but more lately they've done really well. Their watches are much better. Not long ago you'd buy a watch from them and it would have a movement that should be in a thousand pound watch and it would be three grand or something. It was They, they were a bit of a rip-off, whereas now they're not. You know, they're much, much better. It's all crazy, crazy money that we're talking about there, you know, but... I died at Tissy Military Base with the DMR, Wes, uh, earlier today, unfortunately. Amiga and Tudor are the most interesting for you. I like both of those brands. I find Tudor a bit boring, if I'm honest. I, I really, they're really good watches. They're amazing watches, so I'm, I, I really like them. But Tudor are a bit like Black Bay and that's it kind of thing, you know. That everything's Black Bay, this and that and the other, you know. What makes a watch worth one grand? It's the same as anything, dude, but uh, it's not just telling the time, let's put it that way. It's a lot to do with materials, what it's made of, uh, like how much time is spent on the movement. Like mo Most watches at that kind of price are going to have a mechanical movement, but uh, they can have like a really basic, very industrial movement, or they could be like more finished by hand, or they could be uh, uh, made of more precious materials and whatnot. But it's mainly to do with the movement and the design and the finishing and like anything you know like whatever it might be you could have like what makes a painting worth a painting you know like watches aren't art but they kind of are they kind of are as well but it's the amount of time that's spent making them having said that though like the most popular watch brand probably is it or the most known watch brand is probably rolex but most of those are made like an on a like assembly line industri industrial you know What are the differences in movements? All sorts. All sorts to do with accuracy and uh, reliability and uh, and the, the quality of the parts. and the. You can get movements where every part is finished by hand. Like, every part is sanded. Like, like finished by hand. Maybe it's got hand engraving on, the, on it. It, it. They are, like, real top-tier watches, but, but literally every, every single part is... Like, they'll have, like, a screw that's sunk into a movement, and the screw is black polished, and then the, the screw bit where the screwdriver goes is chamfered on either edge, and then uh, the bit where the screw has been sunk in, that's all chamfered, and it's all done by hand, <laughs> you know, like, like you, you can literally take it to, like, the grandmaster of uh, watchmaking degree, like it used to be in the 1800s, or it can be made by a machine. As a rule, the more you sp you spend, the longer it took to make, and the better quality the materials it's made of. And that's right, yeah, you've also got, like Master Noob says, like, better quality movements will have more jewels, and they, this is really detailed and geeky, sorry guys, but, so they use jewels on, like, joints, if you like, or, like, on, uh, like, where they have gears, like, watches are made up of, like, gears and, like, little cogs. And each time there's a moving part, like a little spigot, they'll have a jewel there so that it sits on something that, that lasts. The jewel is made normally of ruby, and so it doesn't degrade over time. Like if you've got cogs turning forever, parts wear out, but they put jewels in in places where there's stress to make them not wear out. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're like uh, synthetic rubies, but they're not, they're not cheap to do. Probably cheap individually, I suppose, but not cheap in the movement. You love watches, I love fountain pens this way. It's funny, I, uh, I I was in a shop on Saturday, it's Friday in London, uh, Like a, it was called Grey's, it's like an antique place, and my, oh, I saw it and my missus wanted to go, so we had a look. And there was a, there was a shop there that had like a massive great ice cream tub, all full of Mont Blanc pins, like fucking hundreds of them, <laughs> just loose. <laughs> I had I had a Mont Blanc pen that I got, you know, like in the UK you can convert uh, test card club card vouchers into like like more money if you spend them in shops. Well, I I got a load of club card vouchers and I bought a uh, 
a Mont Blanc pen and a white gold uh, chain for my neck. I, I don't own either of them anymore, but I sold the chain when I was really in debt. I sold it for about 150 quid or something, I don't know. But the uh, the pen, I was working for in my last job and I went into a store and I put, took it out of my, my jacket pocket and then I, I went to write something and I dropped it from waist height onto the floor and it broke in half. I mean, that that's a 300 pound pen for you. It breaks in half when you when you drop it from your waist height, whereas a big <laughs> that would never have broke, you know. Can you recommend a good watch brand for besides Rolex for between 10 and 20 grand? There are so many. Uh, JLC is amazingly good. Glass Hooter Regional is really good. Zenith's really good. Uh, Brightening's very good too. They're, they're both of those two a bit cheaper than that, more often than not. Uh, but at that kind of money, you could be looking at Blancpain or Breguet or all sorts. There's loads of really good stuff. I've not played Dear Isle since the update yet, dude. I'm playing it tomorrow with Amish Zed. How many viewers do I have now total? 5,864. Uh, which is quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. That's full of rabbits. Alski, thank you for the resubs. Really kind, both of you. Tired as fuck. Dark Vet, thank you for the bits. Why do so many people like the SKS as their CQB gun? It's just pretty powerful, uh, easy to get bullets, easy to get gun. It's, it's a really good gun all round. And you're going to keep an assault rifle over it, but they're harder to get and harder to get bullets for more often than not. Uh, I don't think I missed anyone else. Verminator, thank you for buying the merch, dude. Cheers for buying the merch. I appreciate it. Two bits as well. Thank you. Snack, thanks again. Getting really bad ear ringing today. I turned the sound up earlier when I was getting shot at to see and I didn't turn it down again for about an hour and a half I forgot and my ear ringing is fucking terrible as a result I don't think there's any dead dudes here or dead zombies oh there's a fucking captain down there I'm gonna need to drop something in the meantime, while I go and loot that, I think I'm going to drop uh, the AK. Only got eight bullets. What's a captain? It's the one that when it screams, it aggroes all the other jump zombies. What's your pin on the bird stand stopping when shots are fired? I don't think it's quite as OP as it was, but I, I think it's a kind of a cool feature, but... When, when they first introduced it, Wobo intro like kind of made it out to be like a thing you could use to find players. In reality, it isn't. It doesn't work. Like, the chances of it actually, you ever finding a player because of uh, someone shooting suppressed in the birds. Really small. Uh, Dave, I honestly I can't remember the, the pen very much to be honest. I, I did watch it, but I said earlier, but I I I've not been drinking much lately. And yesterday I had a, a bottle of wine and two whiskies, so I watched it. I can remember one or two of the goals, but I can't remember it very well. I watched the Liverpool game this morning because I fell asleep before the Liverpool game came on. I was watching the Liverpool game and then, and then I woke up at half past one asleep on the sofa. <laughs> well, I was watching, waiting for the Liverpool game. I see after the international break, Liverpool have got another 12.30 fixture. Like, there was some news about it the other day. The next game, Liverpool have got Man City. And it's a Saturday fixture at 
I think that makes it 15 fixtures straight after international breaks that Liverpool have had at 12.30 and the nearest behind is something like six. I saw the gun, it was a, it was a, it was a Vega, I don't need that. Yeah, I've not seen Loki yet, I do need to watch the last week's episode and this week's, I've not seen them both yet. I need to watch them but I haven't done yet. Fifteenth, twelve thirty, and the nearest one behind it is six. Yeah, I know it's ridiculous. And to be fair, I think Liverpool are, a, are quite a popular side to be watching on the telly. But so are Man U, so are Man City, so are Tottenham. You know why? It does seem incredibly harsh. <laughs> They're getting the early kickoffs all the time. It, it's crazy. I, I don't fully understand how it's possible, really. But there we are. Give up something to moan about. Klopp speaks his mind, but he's no different than any other manager. It's it just where Liverpool have done fairly well recently, in recent years. He's probably been on, like, been heard more. But I look at how Arteta was the other week when they had that bad decision, you know. Like, Arteta was like a fucking baby throwing his toys out of his pram, you know. Like, they're all the same, you know. Like, two weeks before, Arteta was going, we must support the referees, we must be really on their side. And then something doesn't go away, and he's oh the the refereeing is embarrassing. I've no, I'm so embarrassed for this country. Ah, like the, the, everybody's the same. It's not just one manager. It like it, at, at least for the most part, Klopp is fairly fair. He does moan quite a lot, but he does see things that happen in his own team. Over the years, there's been some managers like Arsene Wenger was the best at it. You know, if there's a penalty that he didn't get, he's like all over it. If there's a penalty that they didn't deserve, he'd be like, I didn't see it. <laughs> like, he was the worst for that. He'd see everything the opposition opposition did, nothing that his own players did ever. But that that's the way probably a good football manager is. Uh, it's because the mods can't take the, change the title, Matus. That's why. Like The mods can change the title on here, so I asked them to change it. But they can't change the title on YouTube, I don't think, so it's not changed. Yeah, I ought to use the mini site. I did grab it, didn't I? Someone's been loot cycling this by the look of it. There's a load of dropped loot outside the... I've seen a lot of dropped loot on the floor. Did I kill that one? Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that you can't nurse, I'm just saying that the uh, the mods can't. I, I think I can change it, but I haven't been and changed it because I've been playing. But on, on Twitch, the mods can change the title with a command, whereas on YouTube, I think I have to change the title and I've been too busy fucking about. Oh my god, what a shot! Oh my god, that sucks. Fair play to that guy. That sucks though. What a fucking shot. Of course the zombie aggro's on me. Oh, fuck me. I had a vest on as well. He didn't even have a vest on. I don't know what he killed me with there, but it was, it was an instant kill, whatever it was. Yeah, I wish I'd got the AK, but I, obviously the AK that I dropped would only had eight bullets in it, and then I've just found a box just now, you know. But... Oh. That fucking sucks. Right, I've been needing to... Uh... It felt like it was a rifle. It looked to me like I'd, he just one-tapped me with something like a... Uh, like a like a Tundra or something like that, but it, it was it was a crazily good shot. Yeah, and I, th that was probably the M79 from the train that I didn't take, wasn't it? But it didn't. the grenade didn't make any difference. He missed it. What's annoying is I saw him out of the corner of my eye before he fired the grenade. And then I, I went to go and have him and it, I, just, oh, I just couldn't get him. Oh, that's... Jared, thanks for the 25. Tem, thank you very much for the prime. 
Uh, Sigildi, another month of my favourite streamer. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, appreciate it. I think we might change maps, you know. I, th I think I might change maps. I don't really want... It's about to go night time. I don't think I want to do another start on Chernarus. I might, I might switch to Deer Isle. Uh, let me just have a look. There's probably a few mods to update for Deer Isle, so we'll have a look at that now. Right, that, that, it's doing it's doing an update on that. I'm going to go and uh, make a cup of tea. Fill up my water. Be back in a sec. Can we get your triggered take of Loki finale? I've not seen it yet, Dark Vet. I've not seen it, but yeah, I'll, I'll certainly give my triggered take once I've seen it. <laughs> I'm struggling with Loki. I'm struggling to bother to get through it. All right, well, you want no sugar, do you, Sniff? Fair enough. The grenade put me down to yellow, did it? I, I hadn't even noticed I was too busy chasing him. But yeah, that, that probably explains why he one-tapped me after then, doesn't it? Because I had a vest on. But I, I... Loki's the highest rated MCU show. By who? How? Uh, Temeri64, thank you. Jared Sigildi, thank you very much. I, I, it deserves to be like, I don't know, 5 out of 10, just because they've made the God of Mischief so fucking boring. He's like, uh, he's like a librarian. I don't like it myself. I, I, if you like it, Last Mount Sheep, fair play, but I, I, I don't like Loki myself. I, I, I like the cast. I want to like the show, but it's just rambling bollocks. Like a bit like this stream, but every time they talk about the fucking time, like, like, like the strands of time and that thing that, the loom that that's broken. It's like they just make shit up. It just it sounds ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, I, frustrating. I, I I don't personally rate it very highly myself. I, I it's not my favourite. Let's put it that way. I think it's called character growth. I I feel like Loki has just regressed into being a boring bastard. You know, he's like a referee. He's not any, he's not any fun anymore. He's not he's not the god of mischief. He's the god of fucking tedium. You know, he's like a He's like a traffic warden through time. It's really boring. But I'm still watching it because I'm paying for Disney+. Plus. Anyway, I've got to go and make this cup of tea. Otherwise, I'm going to get back into the map, am I? Wap Wob, thank you for the three months. Honesty.
we seeing our first YouTube viewers who think it's like a video? Please. Right. Sorry, guys. I, I took a while. I had to boil the kettle. I made my missus one as well. <sighs> Fucking hell. The, the YouTube views go down crazy while I'm while I go go uh, AFK. I think. Yeah. Look at this. This is. So my views before I went AFK were about 2,000, and now they're 1,550. I'm down like 500. I know I've been gone for like 10 minutes or whatever it was. Fucking hell. Uh, right, anyway. I was just th thinking downstairs how shit of a run I've had today so far. Right. It does say Map Deer Isle on YouTube. Thanks, Mods. You've, they've, the Mods have changed the title of the stream. Very cool thing. YouTube chat, their laser sharp focus. <laughs> Easy now, Uncle Food. I didn't say that, he did. Right, I'm just joining Dear Al now. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed Chernerus today, but we've been on for six and six hours and whatever minutes, six and a half hours. I've not killed anyone. And whilst I've had chances in both firefights, it's been tremendously hard. <laughs> I guess that's Chernerus Lone Wolf for you sometimes, but. I could have won both fights and I didn't, and I guess that's that's the story of it. But I and that one, you got to hold your hand up. The guy just pulled off an absolute fucking worldy of a shot. There's not much I could like in that circumstance. What can you do? You know, like he pulled off an amazing shot. Uh, his kitchen is the other side of the mansion. Yeah, that's right. It's in it's in the west wing, and I'm, my stream room's in the east wing. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not really, uh, I live in a very small house actually, but it is, we, it is downstairs. I only have, I'm only a, a one, one toilet house, so I have to go downstairs to piss. First world problems and all that, right? So I can suicide on here and, be, and get my favoured character, so we might as well do that. I haven't played Deer Isle in quite a while, I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. The only problem I've got is I've not done any of the researching about how it works, so I have no clue about the whole swimming. They've added scuba gear and whatnot. I've no clue how any of that works. At all. Well, Dennis, it, it wasn't really a lie. I just said I was playing with Ish tomorrow. Kind of... I've never had this spawn before, I don't think. Go this way. This is just a regular... regular spawn. I think we'll just go this way for now. Deer Isle is the best map for Daisy. Sure it gets old, but let's get... let's get down to brass tacks. Brass tacks, eh? Uh, I think... Best is subjective. I think Deer Isle is one of the best modded maps, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, there's some maps that really stand out of the modded maps. There's some amazing maps, and there's some really cool maps still work in progress as well. But of the modded maps that are more established, Deer Isle is, like, one of the best, along with Nemaus, probably. And there's some others, too, that are close. You can stream on, swim underwater without scuba gear. Yeah, Banov is very good. It's just unfortunately not so popular. You know, I like Banov. Banov's a very cool map, but it's not got the player count to, to make it as easy to play if you want to play on a full server. Anyway, right. This is going to bring us down towards where those summer camps are. We'll start with them and then we'll move on from there. Running simulator, dude. Uh, 2014 called. They want their joke back. Any Christmas events this year? There is Ariana's planning one, but the lights out event is the lights out two is in uh, in December. So yeah, there will be that. I'll be doing a 16-hour charity stream in aid of Alzheimer's UK. 
at Summers Research UK in December as well. Probably on first or second Sunday of December, but it's not fully planned yet. My keyboard does have a numpad topper. I think it's numbers to swim, isn't it? What? It's two and eight on the on the numpad. Oh, well, we're getting a right two and eight. We will. I don't want to see what it's like. I guess we might as well just go and we'll go in the water in a second, have a little try, shall we? I'm de definitely not a sad tack who took time off work to watch the lights out. That is a kind of a cool thing, you know. Like, you know, so, you know don't, I, I know you, most people might see it as like like you've just said, but the fact that there's, I think that's kind of cool, you know. Like, like the lights out event meant a lot to me it was a hell of a fun event last year and I was really really pleased to be in it uh, and when I was I want I nearly said when I was younger before I was 38 when I was kind of started out on YouTube and they were doing the they did two uh, survivor games on DayZ standalone and watching them I really wanted to go in one I wanted to be in something like that and like take part and I guess in, in modern times the lights out is the closest in terms of size of it that that we've got and that, I'm really looking forward to it myself. I think it starts on December the 14th. Uh, the, the author of Banoff was not supporting it anymore. Uh, I, I don't know if that's true or not, it may well be true. Uh, I have no clue though to be honest. Uh, Cabello his name is but uh, I think there was some updates this year, there's been quite a few updates this year but I've no idea. It's like the Daisy version of Gladiators. Hmm. Ah, oh, we need John Anderson. You will go on my first whistle. <laughs> I used to like Gladiators. That won't mean anything to somebody that watched American Gladiators, but never mind. Uh, Pierce Rod, yeah, the, the zombies at the end of Lights Out was a bit frustrating, but it was the same for everyone. The thing that annoyed annoyed me at the time, and only in the moment, it didn't annoy me afterwards at all, but we'd specifically planned and prepped and made a plan the whole week and really thought about where we wanted to go. And we even fought over the place we wanted to defend to win the lights out, you know. So having specifically picked a cul-de-sac that we could put our backs in so we could defend it and win the day, it was kind of disappointing to get forced out into a corridor with players either side, you know. But... And nonetheless, I think it was fine. You know, I think they had to do what they had to do. It was a tricky place to have a final zone. Oh, well, yeah, that'll be cool. Happy birthday inning. It's Cherno. It's Chernerus for lights out this time, Red Rocket. Yeah. Hi, Peach. By the way, Topper as well. I know you probably at least I think probably Topper's been here a while, but I'm not. And Wildcats as well. Hope you're good, dude. Uh, Lodatron, Hitman, McBarnsey, uh, thank you for the resubs. Jay Will, thank you for the resub as well. Time flies almost a year. One year's hard labor got got my mate Craig into watching your streams. Hi, Craig. Uh, dude, Lodatron, if everybody watching got me a view, I'd have more views, I think. <laughs> Astronel Lone, thank you for the new sub. Sam goes live. Cheers for the two months. Cheers. Thanks for coming in. Got back to Daisy in the last couple of weeks because of your stream. Sam, thank you. Are you going to get the snow owl? I doubt I'll get the snow owl today, dude. I just died on Chernerus. I, I didn't really get much of a look in. The, the guy injured me with a M79 and then killed me with a really, really good shot. Was it Muller that won the lights out? Uh, it was... There was three players at the end, so it was... Uh, I forget the name. It was Holly Rex and somebody else whose name I've forgotten and I shouldn't have. And then Muller were the, the top three. I think I finished fifth. Uh, I killed someone with an M79 grenade launcher and then there was five of us left and then I died and then somebody else died and then there was three. Adam Crook, that's who it was because they were in the team together. Yeah, well done. Daisy's hit 70k now, is it, Deshi? That's very cool. Well, that's a regular restart time at 8pm.
love to try playing Chernus with 1,000 players. That sounds like horrendous. Could have shot the pox at the end of Lights Out like you planned. I think once we got pushed into that corridor, all bets were off, Penny. We just didn't know what to do. So uh, I was annoyed with the way I died. But in an event like that, you're always going to be annoyed with the way you die, you know, like, but I, I just, I felt really like no, I, I'd rather move around and die than crouch still and and die, you know, but I, I should have been hiding in cover more, you know, like I literally all Muller needed to do was, was he didn't kill anyone after I died. He just, he just made sure he didn't die. And then he made it into the top three. You know, I wish I'd done that, you know. What happened? Servers just restarted guard trial. I'll be back in in a sec. Yeah, I think 100. Having played on the Grey Man and then uh, zero Summer Chernerus when it was that way, I think about 100 players is, is really spot on if base building's not too prevalent. Have a click just starting. Oops, I, I clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Yeah, we're not ending. It's my bad. Ghost, I've got about 16,000 hours in the game, roughly. Uh, I'm not using my main Steam account right now, uh, but I'm using the one I've used for more years playing DayZ. I'll just have a look at this one. Uh, where the fuck is... Oh, I clicked DayZ, not Steam. Let me click Steam. Uh... So I'm on my secondary account, not the one I started with. On this account, I've got 677 hours on experimental and 9,637 hours, 0.9, on stable. So just on this one account, I've got 10,300 odd hours. And my running man's account, which is the one I used for the first year or two or so, uh, is, it must be on five or 6,000, I'd have thought. I've only got more multiple Steam accounts because I had a spell where I was getting stream sniped really badly, so I, I bought Daisy four times on four different Steam accounts to try and avoid stream snipers. Uh, and I happen to have been playing on, for about six years or so, I've been playing on a different account than the one I started with. Bailey, thanks for coming in. Cheers for the support, dude. What's that in Moon Minutes? <laughs> Ever since October 21, Daisy concurrent player base haven't dropped below 40,000 today. Once again, it broke its own record of 69,372. Long live the survival king. Very cool, Smash. Very, very cool. Smash T, how you doing? It is cool to see, uh, it is cool to see Daisy growing in players, even now, like coming up 10 years old. How many hours did I have? I don't remember Venom, but I've probably done, I must have played for the best part of 2,000 hours a year since I was full time you know like how many hours is that you know may maybe not maybe about 16 1700 hours I don't know but if you if you were conservative and said 35 hours thirty five hours times 47 hours 47 weeks per year that's 1650 so even at, even at conservative numbers, I'm doing 16 to 1800 hours a year, I guess. I think it's December the 14th, Dej. I'm not getting in the server at the moment, I'm getting the authentication error. Which sucks. Corpse killer. Well, most people take time off, right? So I would. That's why I said I was being conservative. So, no, no. I certainly haven't ever streamed all 52 weeks of every year. Like most people, don't go to work for all 52 weeks. You know. Right. Let me just. Uh I'm going to try joining using the official launcher because the third party launcher is no bueno. Wife and daughter ordered a fancy closet for my daughter's room. I figured it's just out to get 
just just to put it together i had to cut metal bars and have to buy a circular saw to cut boards to fit uh jesus christ t-bear yeah that sucks it's a simple wardrobe and you're, you're using proper tools that sucks it's not letting me in the server data verification error unknown error that sucks what do i do to fix that I'll log out of Steam and log back in, I guess. That sometimes helps. <laughs> Whack out, you're such a fucking fuck. <laughs> such a fucking troll. I hear spamming the server Discord helps. That's probably the right idea. It's all good, Pink John Wayne. No worries. Chris, uh, not very much, no. Uh, not on PC anyway. Like I, I sometimes play a little bit of like Mario Kart with the kids on a Switch or something, but when I'm done PC gaming, I want to get out of the PC stream room. You know, I want to get, I want to get out of here and just chill out. Oh shit, on uh, air fryers, are they worth it? On channel four right now, Twitch viewing stats in the UK are gonna drop like a stone. Loot vegetable, I'd quite like to watch that, I ain't gonna lie. All right, it's fixed now, there we go. Logging in and out of Steam, fixed it. It should be called air fryers, you can't even fry air. <laughs> uh, Rose, thanks for the five. Smash T, thank you. Smash T, I remember you being all up in the Reddit years and years ago, I'm sure, I'm sure that was you. Hello, by the way. Right, 2014 time. Air fries are the best for reheating, reheating fries and tots. I'm definitely going evil man's, Bob, by the way. Yeah, I need to go evil man's. Team air fryer represent. Uh, I've just refreshed the chat, guys, because I was missing YouTube chat. I wasn't seeing the messages, so hopefully it'll start popping in now. Yeah, I died on Chernerus. I, I, I had a terrible run on Chernerus today. I've had two firefights where I had a chance, and I, and I lost. It's a good gameplay, you know. I lost to good gameplay, both 1v1s, and I lost them both. It sucks, but that last one, I, I, uh, I had a zombie hitting me, and the dude pulled off a fucking worldie of a shot. Do you see this? Jason to Summer? No, I don't see it, dude. I don't see it. Isn't it essentially an oven? Yeah, an air fryer is just a small oven, but they, they, are, they are pretty good. I don't have one, but I, I understand why they are they're fairly useful for some people, but they are more... It's just like a small convection oven. But they are good for certain things, like cooking. Fuck, I saw it as I went over it. I'm glad about that. Well, it's only right that we set it up for somebody else. No kills this stream, Venom. It's not a record. I've, one 24-hour stream, I went nearly, nearly ten and a half hours without killing anyone. If Tyson Fury sponsored an air fryer like Foreman did the grill, would you get one? No. I, I, I don't buy products because of who they're sponsored by. I, I'd, I'd be really in shit, you know, like... But no, uh, no, I would The Tyson Fury fryer. The Fury fryer. It actually works, doesn't it? The Fury fryer. The Fury fryer. Hard to say, but it sounds right. I can't wait till Tyson Fury fights next, you know. He was so disappointed against Nganu. When he fights uh, Usyk, he is going to be a fucking monster. I'm telling you now. Uh, I, I know I'm seeing... Uh, I'm like maybe rose-tinted spectacle, but 
when he fights uh, Usyk, he is going to be a different fucking fighter. He's going to look like supreme. Can't wait. He's going to be. He won't be like he, he was so undercooked for that fight. And all this bollocks about 12 weeks prep. He didn't do 12 weeks prep. I don't think he did 12 days prep. What are my plans for this stream? Uh, Valorant clips. I don't have any plans, dude. I'm not a schemer. I'm, I'm an agent of chaos. Sorry, that sounds really pretentious. It's a line from Batman the Dark Knight. Okay, it's not. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't have any plans. I wasn't planning on being on Deer Isle, but I've been chased off a Chernerus by being too shit. To be honest, for today, I'm playing on this map tomorrow with Amish said. So for today, right now, I'm trying to get some gear, get some basics done. Aspson, I don't think he did start as a boxer. I, I don't think he did. He wanted to be a boxer, and he went into a gym where he was say he was doing really basic boxing skills, but he hadn't had any amateur fights and things. But the gym where he went to to train, they said you'll be much better off if you do MMA. You'll make more money more quickly. You're more suited to it. You should do MMA. So he did. He didn't have like some massive like amateur career as a boxer or anything. His story is amazing, though. He like uh, he like was uh, like crossing countries and countries and countries to go and try and find a better life, and then ended up in was it Germany? I forget which country it was where they, he ended up training in a gym and becoming who he is now. So he didn't have a massive career or like history as a boxer. He went to a dream, gym and asked to be trained as a boxer, but they trained him as, him as an MMA fighter instead because they said he would make more money. France, yeah, that was it, France. But they, they ran that st like story with an interview with him on the day that Tyson Fury fought, fought him. And I, I don't know a lot about Nganu because I'm, I'm not really watching MMA. It's, it's just not easy for me to see it, unfortunately, in the UK. It's on a pay-per-view channel. Sorry, a pay channel that I don't have. So, But his story is amazing and, and GG to him. That's hard luck, that is. That's really hard luck. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm robbing this guy. Just let, let me be. He's going to wake up in a minute. I'm robbing him. Don't make me kill him, okay? Alright. I had to kill him. He's going to wake up. Bastard. I didn't really chance, want uh, I can have some of his bones? What? Can I have some of his bones? I thought you said belts for a minute. Yeah, hang on a minute. Just just give me a sec, okay? Give me a sec. I need his trousers. I'm trying to get in his pants right now. I feel a bit bad oh, for him. Well, let me give you some let me give you some room. I'll turn my back. Yeah, okay, get in yeah. his pants. There you go. You can cut him up now. I've just backed away. Uh, hey, do you have a, I don't have a knife. Do you have a knife? Fuck me, you don't want much, do you? So you, you want to cut him up, but you don't have a knife. Well, I thought you were going to cut him up. Well, you thought wrong. Hang on, I'll cut him up, shall I? I've just had this idea. I want to cut him up all of a sudden. Oh, such a gentleman. I didn't really want to kill him, but you made me kill him. Oh, well. To be fair, I saw his bag and was hunting him too, but I didn't have a knife to. Uh, was make he moving? Crossbow. Yeah, I, I saw him come from. There's a house just on the other side of you. He looked like he I was AFK to me. Bag. The poor bastard. He must have been like alt tabbed or something. <laughs> I right. might have. Yeah, I saw him come down that way and was trying to find a knife. Oh. To follow him. There you go. There's eight bones on the ground you can have. Good luck. All, Thank you. All the best. That's the only way I can get kills nowadays. Kill them while they're AFK or alt tabbed. It seems that's the best best chance I've got. Why is that not going on there? Because it's fucking ruined, you prick. Kills a kill. Yeah, that's that's what Lax would say, right? I I didn't really want to kill him, like I said before. I I genuinely didn't. But he uh, he he pissed pissed on my chips. The guy did. He slowed me down too much.
Give him the extra pistol. Ah, oh, fuck him. <laughs> I did mean to do that, but then I forgot, and I'm not going back now. Bollocks to that. Embrace the darkness, yeah. Uh, Adam, thank you very much for the three months. Rose, thank you for the five months. Uh, Gilo, uh, Big J Bar, thank you for the resubs. He would have killed you also. He might have done. He might have been the friendliest player in the game, you know. He might have been the most friendly player the game's ever seen. Like, more friendly and ba than barely infected even, you know. Uh, Livonia is good. Somebody just said, would you recommend me playing Livonia? I don't know what it's like on console, but getting in a full server on PC is still f possible, but you're limited with choice a little, but Livonia is a lot of fun. If you're on PC, there's a load of, there's a whole world of amazing modded maps out there, but Livonia is still worth playing. It's still a good map. It's not as good as Deer Isle, for example, in my opinion, but it's still a very, very good map. I have to say, by the way, that sentence alone just goes to show how good of a job John McLean has done with this, because... Livonia is made by the DayZ devs, and it's not got as much time in it by the devs as maybe it needs, but the fact that Deer Isle made by one person in his spare time is better than Livonia, in my opinion, is a, a hell of an achievement. I think. Yeah, I should be doing Deer Isle, same map as we're on now, but I should be on this tomorrow with Ish for sure, yeah. Yeah, I do feel a bit bad for that guy. I know that might sound like a hollow gesture when I just shot him in the face, but genuinely I wanted to try and rob him and then leave him, but the other dude slowed me down and I wanted I wanted to get everything, but I didn't want to get killed by the dude that just showed up either, so it just like, upset the apple cart a little. Upset the loot robbing. Both options are horrible. You say so. Robbing him blind seemed better than killing him. To be honest, I was literally taking everything, so it really doesn't make any difference, does it? You know, like he's in a spawn zone. Like he's either dead and he's got nothing, or he's unconscious and wakes up and he's got nothing. So it really doesn't affect much, does it? You know, like you are right in a way. Like, like I was taking everything, everything he had. So probably wasn't worth leaving him alive anyway, in a way. I was taking him to the fucking cleaners. You're right, he was he was gonna be killing new spawns. You could tell by the way he walked. He was a new spawn KOS, so you could tell. The way he walked that walk when I saw him and he was static and he never moved once. It was insane how quick you turned into character. You should try method acting. <laughs> I don't know about that. I can't act for shit. He was aggressively alt-tabbed. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was alt-tabbed in the style of an evildoer. Uh, G-Lo, Big J Bar, thank you again. Mr. Smile, Small, maybe. Uh, Hilberto, uh, and Admiral Cranky, thank you for the, for the resubs. Are you following me? What? Yeah, you almost got shot, bro. Yeah, You're yeah, that's I right. I'm following you, yeah. I ain't following shit. Alright, let's try this swimming underwater business.
that's how I always do front crawl. I, I always do front crawl. What's that? I always do front crawl with the uh, when I'm completely solidly underwater. It's also called front crawl, Frick Zed. Front crawl or freestyle? No, I think you know what I mean, right? <clears throat> yeah, I was pressing eight, but it wasn't going up. Thank you, thank you again. I feel a bit like Admiral Cranky right now because of the deaths on Chernerus. It's made me the Cranky Mans. I was in a really good mood at the start of this stream and I've been brought down by my incompetence at the game. There is there is a mod with scuba gear like now to try and get uh, Molnir to do the uh, the ice sheet adventure. You need more stuff. looks way different. Hmm? So yeah, you can find the scuba diving gear on Deer Isle now, yeah. Because you need it to go and find the underground shit. I think they've split the hammer up. So the hammer, Thor's hammer, Molnir, the handle probably spawns where it used to, or the head for the hammer, one or the other, but the handle and the head are in different places and then you have to put the two together. And for one of those two parts, you've got to go somewhere underwater. I just skip a step and start playing in a bad mood. Well, that'll work. Strange DNA, thank you for the follow. Garrett Pickering, thank you very much for the support as well. Dude. Oh, it's much harder now. Like, Molnir was hard enough. Sorry, uh, the, the Snow Owl loot room was hard enough as it was. It's now harder. But I don't mind that. I, like, the Deer Owl adventure, like, trying to get the Snow Owl is all about the challenge of the journey of doing it and not really so much about using the Snow Owl anyway, you know. It's much more fun getting it than having it. Been away for a little while but why no alerts uh, hi mr small because i'm streaming on youtube as well and the alerts are just a bit crazy but also twitch don't allow al youtube alerts on twitch for me, so twitch changed the rules i'm allowed to stream on both platforms but they don't let me have youtube alerts so i don't feel like i want to have an alert for a twitch follow but not an alert for a youtube equivalent you know it seems to suck to me so i turned it off Should be good though, this server's full with a huge old fucking queue as well, so there should be lots of action to be had, should be pretty, pretty busy. I don't really know where I'm going to go beyond here, this is Camp Bear. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to go yet, but we'll see. Let's be honest, I'll probably die here, I often do. John McLean saw I was completing it too quickly. Yeah, he'd seen me get the snow owl and die old, like umpteen times, so he thought he'd make it really hard, so I never get the snow owl and just die instead. Bunky, you think it's much better? A few people actually miss Robot Lady, but there's a, there's a few people in either camp. Some people prefer it now, much quieter, and some people uh, prefer it before. 
I do think it might affect my uh, particularly gifted sub, so if I'm honest. I think it might affect my revenue a little. Uh, but that doesn't mean I, it's not something I think I should do, though, you know. So we'll have to wait and see, you know. Like, if you've got alerts on screen, it reminds people they... Like, sometimes somebody will sub, and then that'll remind somebody else to use their Twitch Prime kind of thing, you know. But with no alerts, you don't get that the same. There was a player on the left, was there? I'm just reading the chat and paying no interest. I, I should be, shouldn't I? I don't know if he was running my way or if he was running the other way. Yeah, I understand there's a player to the left now, but by the time I've read it from you, that doesn't I don't know where they are now. It's probably the same crossbow guy, to be honest. Ozzy, thank you for the ten months, dude. Really kind, thank you. He was running parallel. Mm. He should have bumped into those Zeds then. that him behind? I think that was a zombie. I feel like the dude that got this UMP actually got it from here. Well, it's scary. The loot here isn't normally the best, but you often can get like a cheeky SKS here, which is kind of what I'm after. UMP power. Yeah, it happens. I, I I'll miss players quite regular, like, but I'm not. I'm just not looking at the screen enough, as you just gathered. Not, not the end of the world, though. We're not dead, so hopefully we'll see him again. Well, hopefully I'll see him for the first time. My G69, I don't know. I, I personally, I think the opposite for VODs. I think the VODs are more viewable without the alerts, you know. I, I, your, your view is your view, though. I'm not trying to change your mind, but my view is that uh, with regards to VODs, I think it's much more viewable without the alerts. The alerts are much more kind of useful during the live stream. Uh, like, obviously, some alerts are very much current affairs and of the moment, of the time, whatever the conversation might be about, like today might be about certain Mr. Cameron or whatever, you know, like, who knows? But nonetheless, uh, like, the alerts can be very much of the now. And if you're watching this stream in six months' time, they're probably less needed. I, I think also the alerts, their alerts are for like an alert, for like a sub or a resub or whatever. That people on the VOD probably care less about that than people during the stream. Kind of annoying that I've lost lost the two firefights that I've tried to have today because I actually feel, as far as I go, relatively sharp aim wise, but I just I'm just not really getting a decent fist at it, you know, I'm not getting a decent shot at anyone. Yeah. 
Well, YouTube videos, they're not in anyway if it's edited, edited Death Dealer. The, the unedited Twitch VODs that I put on YouTube are still exactly that. They're, they're VODs. So, for me personally, the, the VODs are better without the alerts, and my edited stuff doesn't have them anyway. Like, that's one thing that people always get fed up about on, on like, YouTube. When I put an unedited VOD, people are forever going, can't you turn off that? It's time to start running. Can you turn off the robot lady? Like, like they want to enjoy the game. They, they Like, genuinely, more people are annoyed by it, I'd say. Kepano, yeah, the, the, bit, the bit rate isn't enough, but it costs a lot to save VODs, I guess, you know, so its cost is the reason they don't allow higher yet. I haven't got the bullets to waste to be shooting zombies that are moving at the moment, I don't think. Because I'll miss. To be honest, I prefer Robot Lady Only Stream, no TRMZ. <laughs> my balance, ba my bank balance would prefer that. That's that's probably true. <laughs> JPD game, uh, sorry, JDP game. Thank you very much for the four months. Slimy D ninety six. Thank you for the new sub. The loot here is not the best. I still think we've got a chance of an SKS or similar, but. December the 14th is when it starts. 14th to the 16th. There's a, like, command there. Just... Sad plops. I don't think it's just people that want to type their message, but I think people really do like... Never mind hearing their name and getting the recognition. People like... Like Aiden, one of the mods was in earlier. Like, people like making a joke that Robot Lady reads out because then everybody hears their thing, you know? Like... It's certainly good for my sanity that I won't have quite so many dad jokes necessarily, you know, but people like to play jokes with Robot Lady and stuff, you know, and I don't mean like trolling the streamer, like going, my sprinkler goes T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T S T like, like, I did that quite a long time, didn't I? There we go, I should be Robot Man. Anyway, I don't mean that, I don't mean trolling the streamer, I mean making jokes that the chat can laugh along to. I think I need to just have like a like whack gatter on uh, like uh, mute or something. It would definitely be good for my sanity. Shadow ban whack gatter. What is send message in sub only mode? Uh, if you're subscribed, some streamers have sub only mode, which means that only subbers can chat. But I don't use sub only mode, so it won't make a great deal of difference here. It has occurred to me to try streaming on YouTube in member-only mode, or members-only, uh, just to see if it makes it easier to keep up with both chats, but I don't really want to exclude people from the chatting. I see what you mean there, Uncle Food. So that's what you meant by nostalgia, it's see your name on the VOD. Like, I, I, I understand that a bit more now. I didn't really get... I wasn't quite sure what the nostalgia meant, but I guess you mean it's more if it goes on there with your name, but I don't know. I, I hadn't quite got that. For me, the nostalgia comes from the way the game was at the time or what adventure I was trying to complete or whatever, I suppose. But I haven't actually missed a shot with this MK2. Not that they've been necessarily hard, but I'd normally miss quite a few. Got one bullet left. Time to miss. Oh, I didn't.
I don't know whether to start heading towards Alcatraz or whether to... Uh... Right, it's night time now. I can't really make it to the temple. It's too late. I, I guess if I ran straight to the temple, I could probably make it, but I'm not convinced that would be a very wise thing. That's a tundra. Dude just shit on a shit himself out of a tundra for trying to kill a guy with a UMP. How amazing is the UMP in terms of recoil control though? It has so little recoil, it's like a fucking laser. I, I, I was shooting him going, I can't believe how easy this is. <laughs> like the recoil in Daisy is fairly low with some guns, but the UMP is like an absolute laser. And it's weak, so that's where it makes up some of its, uh, like, usefulness, I suppose. But nonetheless. Oh, that's nice. Look, we, we were on Chernerus for six and a half hours. Didn't kill a single player. We've been on this server for half an hour. Killed two, including one with a Tundra. That's cool. Admittedly, the first one was a little bit of a... Uh, Oh, he only had one bullet, look. That could be the guy. Because he'd switched to his crossbow. That could be the guy that we'd met before. <laughs> He's got bones and they're pristine. I reckon it is the guy. I reckon it's our dude. I bet it's him. He's got bones. We, he had eight bones. He's made at least one or two knives, right? I bet it's the same dude. Space does that take? Holy shit. He doesn't have a head torch to take it. Right, there we go, that'll do. Where would he have found the tundra? How is it this task? That that's uh, first person darkness for you, baby. It has got dark pretty quick though. It's gonna put the gamma up. <laughs> no, the UMP doesn't take that torch, unfortunately. I wish it did. The UMP takes the full size torch, not the pistol one. Oh, it won't be fit. It won't be fit. I don't think night time's very long on this server, so... Could uh, it really? It's either Alcatraz or it's Beringer, and I'm not sure which I want to do. I think we might go to Alcatraz. He had a tundra its shoes. Yeah, he only had one bullet, which he'd fired. So we've got the tundra now, badly damaged, but no bullets.
them trees be creaking indeed. Right, just refreshing the chat because I can't see the YouTube chat. So let me just refresh that. So I've missed all the chat messages for a bit on YouTube because they haven't shown. My god, this is dark. Holy shit. Hey Joe, you're right. FLDR, it's mainly medical stuff on the left hand side and then everything else is placed really randomly other than maybe if I've got a protector case or pouches, which then I, I kind of keep things in places where I don't want them to get ruined, like suppressors and scopes and bullets and things where I don't want them to ruin. But I, I always keep medical stuff on the left because it's just quicker to drag over if you need it. This server has the mod on it where you can combine... I think I already looted this, didn't I? You can combine bandages and sewing kits and stuff, I think. Still haven't had a YouTube message pop in. I've just refreshed it. No YouTube message yet. That sucks. They'll come in all in one group in a second, but... There's Shadowfire. Would MVGs be blinded by a torch? It doesn't really do it, no. If you shine it straight at it, it's quite bright, but you can still see everything. First time, first time, long time. Glad to finally catch a stream. Ridley, thanks for coming in. I'm not afraid to walk with your light. Oh, not really, Charles. It's, it, there's, it's actually quite hard sometimes to kill somebody with a light source, believe it or not. You know, it's easy to miss, so... I'd rather use the light source than not, because, like, it's not much fun being able to not see. I can hear it. I can see some movement. Okay, it might have been a bit further away. I could do with killing one of these with a uh, with a head torch on. That'd be good. No, I, I think not always will I use a light source like this, but more often than not, it's just much more fun to play this way. You know, like we're still really in a new spawn area. It's not like I'm at the Northwest Airfield or something. There are still players here. Someone just tried to shoot me with a tundra, right? But there are still plenty of players here. Uh, but they're not normally that geared. I could get blasted by a shotgun or something. Some kind of loot in there. Not, not this time. How about some of that sweet gamma? You've already got it, Shark. You have got the gamma. It's just so dark. On first person, there's only so much gamma can do. You know, it's dark. <laughs> I can't. You can't make something really bright if it's just dark. Like this is as good as it's going to get. It's it's darker for me than it is for you, which tells you all you can <laughs> you know. I found it someone else. I was going to say, I heard a zombie aggroed and it's not here. I was wondering if it was aggroed on somebody else. I have to. Uh, another thing I want to say killing zombies with a fire axe is a lot easier than most other melee weapons. It's really good, isn't it? It's a single heavy, atta heavy attack if you hit, hit them in the head. Jesus Christ. Pretty scary stuff, folk. I can't fucking see what the hell's going on. Yeah, I, I, it's, it might get me killed once in a while, but I've had this conversation with people in the past. Even one of them made it into a video, I think, where I'm 
I'm like saying uh, sometimes having a light source on can attract a player to you but they miss their shot on you and then you kill them kind of thing and, and then I've had uh, there's something in one of my videos where I say exactly that and then someone tries to kill me about 10 seconds later and I kill them you know like like sometimes you can be getting shot at and then you just quickly do that and then turn change direction and then you kill them kind of thing you know it happens more than you might think Yeah, it did get me, Joe. I, I, I haven't had very many kills yesterday or today. That was the only. That was the DMR. That's the only kill I got with it, which kind of sucks, you know. I, I really, really wanted to do well with the DMR, but I, I had it today for a while. Was around airfield, didn't see anyone. Went to Tissy and got owned by a dude. I'm gonna go this way. There's a summer camp. I might, if I'm lucky, get some 308 rounds for the, uh, for the tundra and a weapon cleaning kit as well. Would be good too. Call me Rick Grimes. Thank you for the 37 months. Cheers for the support. Xenox, thank you for the for the resub as well. Respect, dude. Thank you. Uh, let's crack on. It's only 10 to 9. Actually, uh, I think I might need to go and put some eye drops in a sec. My eyes are a bit wattery. What a, what a surprise, though. My eyes are a bit... They feel a bit, like, strained when I'm trying to see in the dark. You know, no wonder. You've not had a DMR yet? That sucks. I did get lucky. I was on Chernerus 123 for the first time, second time maybe, and uh, found it, like, first helicopter crash site I went to. I don't know why it's different than third person. Charles, uh, I can tell you why. All of the game used to be dark like this. So this is how Daisy used to be. And the devs were getting some heat from some sections of the player base saying that the night time was too dark. So they decided to make third person a bit more daylight night. So you can still see in the dark, mostly. Because third person is not the kind of mode that people play for uber realism or hardcore survival. But they kept the more nighttime nighttime or first person. That's why. Rusty, dude, thanks for the membership. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Did I go to university? No, I, I fucked up my A-levels. I got a D for geography, an E for biology, and failed sociology, but I, I really didn't do... I, I didn't do any work at all. I just turned up. Uh... I messed up my A levels and then did re retail. I I knew I wasn't going to do go to university. Six months into my A levels, I'd given up. I was quite a bright kid. I was definitely much more capable than a D and an E, but I I just didn't do any work and coasted. Dutch roller, yeah, it's not much fun if you don't get it. I agree. Like if you just get given it, you know, if you don't earn it, it's not not the same. Yeah, we were just talking about the flashlight, Rizzo. It, it is a bit dangerous, but you can't see, you know, like, people get too worried about it, you know, like, I might die, but, like, I might die coming here anyway, you know, like, I could die here... The guy that just shot me with the Tundra might have hit his shot and then I'd be dead, you know, like... It's absolutely pitch black. Like, how the fuck am I meant to do anything when it's this black? It's so dark, right? Might as well use the torch and play the game, you know? Embrace the embrace the game. You could die pretty much anywhere on the map during the middle of the day, never mind at night anyway.
I've just realised I'm yellow hungry. I'm going to need food real soon, so... heard the oinker. It, sound, it sounds to be... Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck. A single crossbow bolt didn't kill it. I did hit it, it didn't fucking die. Well, I know which way it went. We'll, we'll perhaps catch that up in a minute. We'll hear it screaming again in a minute. How long is the night cycle? I have a feeling it's probably a bit like vanilla now, where it's like three hours day, half an hour night, or similar. Oh, I definitely hit that. Feels like it's groaning from the same place as before. That might be useful on Deer Island. So that might be the second one. Is there one with a fucking crossbow bolt in it? Oh my god, I can't I can't believe I just killed that. I <laughs> fucking see it. I could hardly fucking see it. I can't believe that worked. Holy shit. Yeah, it had two bolts in it. That's the one I killed. Or that's the one I hit the first time. Oh. Uh, Melmac, thank you for the new sub. Chronic Gamer, thank you for the three years. Thanks for the 36 months of great entertainment. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Thank you. Didn't run very far, did he? Pretty sure vanilla night settings are two hours day and one hour night. They're not, Jenny. They used to be a long time ago. The devs changed it quite a while ago, like maybe 121, 122, but they, they changed it and made quite a big deal of it. So it used to be two hours day, one hour's night, but they changed it to make it more day and less night. So there's a shorter day and a longer, sorry, a shorter night and a longer day now. And it's, I don't know the exact time, but it's, it's more akin to three hours day and 40 minutes night, roughly. It's something like that. You don't chase the animals, they seem to stop running quicker. They definitely do, Debbie, that's right. Doesn't fat give you more calories? No, again, that's a similar sort of thing that used to be and they changed it, so... That's much longer ago, though. Maybe 18 months or so ago, they nerfed the fat. I could still carry it now, but... The fat is so low energy, I don't normally bother. In this case, where I've got this space, I should have took it, but out of habit, you just... The fat is almost worthless now compared to where it was, so... It's not the end of the world. Cheers, Celis, dude. Take it easy. Thanks for coming in. I'm going to get some stuff. There's a house just down here. We'll make a fire and cook the meat in there. And then hopefully it'll be daytime. <laughs> At 
the server owners can absolutely uh, change the change the day night, but I have a funny feeling that a lot when I might be wrong, but I think a lot of servers possibly might have might have gone more in line with what the devs did when the devs changed it. So like 45 minutes night and three hours day or whatever. Yeah, what you just said it was Malibur. I feel like a lot of servers might have gone in line with it or got closer to it. Because I think that's about right. I think three hours day and 45 minutes night is kind of okay. How it was before, two hours day and then one hours night, that that really sucked. But how it is now, I, I think I like it. I think I like it as it is. Do they still shout the numbers in, in American football? I didn't think they bothered shouting the like 25, 46, 73, hurt. I don't think they do that anymore. I think it's something to do with calling out plays, isn't it? So they'll have like play numbers and it's like the quarterback telling his team what the play is. That could be wrong, but I don't know if they do that anymore. They like they, they have like headsets in and they're told what play to play and shit. Do they still call out the numbers? some fat there, look. Right, so let's put that one on there. It does, Stoica, yeah. The, the, at, at night, there are there are uh, constellations and there's like the North Star and such like it is in the game. Oh Davy, yeah yeah, it's been it's been going pretty well. It, it went down I the viewership went went down a fair bit when I went AFK for ten minutes, but I'd also just died, so it happens always on Twitch. If you die, you lose viewers, unfortunately, because people are watching. It's like, oh, he's got a DMR, he's got a DMR, and then I die, and they're like, oh, I don't want to watch him respawn. I'll go and watch another stream, and that happens quite a bit, you know. No trust. Uh, Blackwater, dude, thank you. Was that the one? Was No Trust the one with the dude, the guy, the guys at Novi? I think that was the one. I can't remember it very well now, but I think that. Yeah, in the police station at Novi, he was really funny. I liked him loads. on the mouse so we can just eat this. No need to wait for it to cool down. Or oh, Big Cub. Compliment indeed. If you want I find it impossible to watch anyone else. I like that. Don't. <laughs> Was there a Sunday vid? Fess said there wasn't a Sunday vid. No. I, I didn't have any footage to edit into a video. And Cooper's working on a, uh, a little like best of type stuff for YouTube because uh, Daisy turns 10 in December, so we're going to have some, like, uh, like channel highlights through the year's videos coming out, like uh, a, a video for 2014 and 15, then 16 and 17 and so on. So, Uncupa's working on an edit, but it wasn't ready. He didn't start it till Thursday, so uh, not ready for this. It'll be out on Sunday, though. Uh, but, yeah, the, the honest answer, though, like, coming back to it, I, I always try to push a video every Sunday. Sometimes there just isn't footage. Even if you play a week, sometimes there's no footage to edit a video. It's just the way Daisy is, you know. Sometimes you can play for 200 hours and not get something you really want to make into a video. Uh, 
King Paul, well, I hope you're on the mend, dude. Hope you feel better. If Bohemia announces anything big on the 10-year anniversary, there's definitely going to be an announcement. They said earlier in the year that there would be an announcement uh, that would affect the, the game, the players of it, and the devs, and the company, and all sorts. So there's, a, there's something big being announced this year, yeah. Uh, whether it's new DLC or something new, who knows. But there's there's something being announced in December, yeah. How was my drive last week? Melee, that that melee, that the drive was fine. I I uh, the thing I really liked was the evening. It was so cool to go to Anfield. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I went. And I also met like. Uh, one of my YouTube idols as well, Nico Leonard, the watch YouTuber, was there, and that he, him being there, made it all the sweeter for me. That, if I could have picked a YouTuber to be there, it would have been a toss-up between Frankie on PC and Nico Leonard to be my. Probably Nico Leonard would be my number one, to be honest. Thank you, Miller. Yeah, it was really good. And obviously, I've, I've never seen Liverpool play, and I'm meant to be a Liverpool fan. But going to Anfield, I've, at least I got to do the stadium tour. I, I've been in the uh, home uh, home uh, dressing room. I've been on the pitch, like or pitch side, where, where the where it's astroturf, where the uh, where the managers and stuff are. You know, like the, that bit, the dugout. Uh, got to go into the room where they do the uh, press interviews and whatnot as well. It was it was really good. The, like Anfield is is really cool. It's, uh, nice to have been there. Now I know I know what it's like on the outside. And do you know what I mean? It's just kind of cool. But I do need to go back and watch a game now. And now I now I've been and I've kind of sussed out the distance and realised I really shouldn't should have done it already. Uh, he was recording bits and bobs, Dave Seven Red. He he was streaming to his. He has like a clips channel. He was streaming, and at one point he he showed. He <laughs> I don't know if I should repeat this. <laughs> Nico Leonard put me on the camera and said, "This guy's got some really nice watches," and then moved on. Uh, obviously, that's because he likes G-Shocks. Of course, he likes Casios. You know, God tier. Yeah, that fat was already cooked when I got there, so I'm not going to use that because it could be human fat. I don't want to eat that. Last time I watched Liverpool and Sammy Lee was, was, was playing. Holy shit. Yeah, Hyper Pro, I wouldn't buy tickets that way. I think the best way to see a Liverpool game for someone like me, someone said exactly this the other day, is to buy a hospitality ticket in advance, you know, like buy a package that gets you like a... Like, it's more money, but you get a legit ticket, and you you also don't have to pay over the odds for like a StubHub ticket or whatever. Argyle Norwich, eh? Blimey. <laughs> Uh, Stratnet, thank you for the two months. Mr. Frosty, thank you very much. What have I missed? Oh, seven odd hours, I'd say. Seven hours, 42 minutes. Flamethor, thank you for the resub. Dead or alive, I'm staying here, dude. Feel like I should start singing Bee Gees. Melmac, thank you for the new sub. Thank you very much. Uh, cheers for the support. Zedhawk, it's not quite a 12 hour today because I started later than planned, so I'll be on for about another two hours ish not I, I uh, I'll probably stop about 11 or like if I if I play for an hour and a half and I die I'll stop then but I'd like to carry this character on and I don't want to die I'd like to go on for another about another two hours I uh, I normally do a 12-hour stream on a Monday but today I uh, I watched a little bit of match of the day this morning but I went out for my walk at quarter past ten so it would have given me about an hour to go out and just like I walk every day to try and be a bit healthier, right? But 
I was I went down like the local uh, the river and I was walking and I got like ten minutes from where my mum's house is so I just rang her up and went around for a cup of tea like off the cuff and then uh, delayed the stream a bit. The best stadium by far is the Santiago Santiago Bernabeu. I don't know. And, and it, it, it might have the best atmosphere, perhaps. I've never been to the Bernabeu when it's rocking, but uh, a lot of fans think their stadium's the best. I think the best stadium in the Premier League right now is probably Tottenham's in terms of quality of stadium. Uh, theirs is the newest, and it's probably got the best kind of facilities and whatnot, I think. But that'll change again when Chelsea build a new stadium or whatever. Happy tickets. I haven't lost any weight for the last couple of weeks. I've, I've stayed static, but I've lost 43 pounds in total. But for the last two or three weeks, I've been completely static. But that's... The weather's got worse. It started raining a shitload, and, and I found myself colder and eating a bit more. And, like, where it's been really bad... I, like, today, I went out. It was wet. I, I got, It was properly wet on the ground and whatnot, but... I'm probably doing nine or ten thousand steps a day instead of fourteen or fifteen thousand steps a day, kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm definitely walking slightly less. A stadium full of Madrid fans having the best, best atmosphere. Doubt that they boo their own players after winning the Champions League. Yeah, that's possibly true. <laughs> you might, you might be onto something. Well, car mates, I, I wasn't doing a diet. I was doing a lifestyle change. That's why I still went out for a walk this morning. And that's why I've not put any weight on. I, I didn't do a diet. So you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. I did something called 75 hard, but if you read about it, it's not a diet. It is a lifestyle change. That's the whole point. It it like has things included like reading a book every day and drinking more water and stuff. It's designed to give you a lifestyle change. That's the whole point of it. It's not like a fad diet or doing, uh, I don't know, keto or something. It really is good. It tries to force you into really positive habits that then you keep up. And in the last three weeks, I've eaten slightly more than, than I would have done, but I haven't put on any weight because I'm still going out on the walk every day and I'm still drinking more water and I'm not having hardly any sugar and... I've not put weight on, I just haven't lost any weight. You know, that, that seems okay. Welsh Goblin, I haven't really said what I weighed yet. I just kept that for me for now, but I'm, I'm much like... I, how, how about this, right? When, when I started losing weight, I was kind of bordering on a triple XL top. Now I'm an XL. How about that? That'll do for now. That's UKXL, yeah, UKXL, not American, whatever that is. I don't know if there's much difference or not. That sounds like it's right near me. There's some military tents down the way. It's probably at those. Nigel, thanks for coming in. Nice to catch a catch a live stream. Cheers for coming in, dude. What instigated the new U plan? Uh, not wanting to die was probably the main thing. And I wasn't. I, don't get me wrong. I wasn't at risk at dying anytime soon. But I could feel myself not being healthy. I I was feeling lethargic. I was feeling unfit. And I'm, I'm not running or anything now. I'm not massively fit cardio wise. But you'd be amazed what difference it makes to the muscles in your legs if you just go out on a proper walk every day like like not missing a day my legs are much more toned i'm generally much more fit just from walking you know like that's it it made it's made a hell of a difference i feel way way better
Nimrat, I'm not doing the, the hard 75 anymore. I, I did the first one and lasted 89 days, and then on the second one I lasted 56 days. It includes, like, no alcohol at all whatsoever, and I broke the alcohol thing on day 56 on the second one. I was reading the stand, but I've, I've paused it for a while. I, have, I haven't restarted yet, but I will do at some point. How long of a walk do I go on? I, I, I do... I started out doing 45 minutes as a minimum, and by the end I was doing the best part of two hours. So it, it, sometimes I, in that time I'll do 13,000 steps, sometimes I'll do 12,000 steps, some, sometimes I'll sit on a bench and sometimes I won't kind of thing, you know, but I was doing, like today I went out, for, I was out for about an hour and 20 minutes, you know, but it just depends how much time I've got. Shots are close. But I like for the during the 75 hard, you you have to do it every day. So like it's not just a walk occasionally; it's every day, and it really adds up. It makes a hell of a difference if you're doing it all the time. How the fuck did he manage to hit me there? Maybe I missed my shots, but I felt like I was hitting him. That sucks. I really didn't think he would be in there. That sucks. I, I'm sure I hit him a lot there. Obviously, I didn't. Fair play to him, he hit me well, but he must have hit me in the head and I, I couldn't see him so well with the branch there, but I'd still feel a bit aggrieved with that. There we are. Oh man, that sucks. Where are we now? I don't like these new spawns. They're... they're uh, back on the spawn I think I'm going to get a different spawn I don't know. We're, we're, I, I'm going to try and get a different spawn maybe on the main map but I don't know what you said Welsh Goblin but if it was why aren't you telling us I, because some things are for me you know dude like like the day my ex-wife asked me to leave, I, t I told the stream, you know, sometimes I, if I want to keep something for me, I will, you know, like there's no license for me to tell you every single thing in my life. And I'm pretty open compared to most streamers. I'm more open than most. I'd forgotten about this. Uh, I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten about about the fact that I can't respawn. That's that's kind of stupid. Like letting the zombies kill me is not a good idea. I'll probably bleed out quicker than I'll die any other way. need to let my shock regen so that they actually kill me rather than not be unconscious. Come on in. It's kind of a cool screenshot. Though. They look good, don't they? The, the, the trio. Come on, Gary. We'll shift him. Sorry, that's a... That's a callback to much earlier in the stream. New meta for getting killed by zombies. It's still relatively easy to do. Uh, Miramid, uh, Mir Mirmidon leader. Thank you for the membership on YouTube, si Simon P. Thank you for the uh, t two months. Cornbread Joe, cheers for the resub. Welder, thank you for the support as well, dude. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, this is cool. This is Stonington. Sorted. This is this is kind of good. 
little bit gutted that we died, but we can we can start from here. I walk every day. I do about fourteen thousand steps a day. I didn't start there, Ryan. Yeah. I, I, know, I, I don't know what steps I've done today. I didn't do as long of a walk today, but it's a it should be a 12-hour stream day, so I I didn't have the time. In, in the end, I started a bit late, but I was around my mum's, not walking. I should think I'm somewhere close to 10,000 steps today, I guess. I've done 10,561. Right. I don't have a set goal, though. If I did 9 or if I did 15, I'm not really, not really worried. I just walk however much time I've got, really. For good reason. Up, up to two hours. I've got to take my missus to a hospital appointment tomorrow, so I may not get much of a walk in. I've got to drive her to a to an appointment, and then when I get back, I'll probably end up streaming fairly straight away. Uh, no, it's all fine, Welsh. I'm not taking it personal. I just saw somebody else replying to you, so. I'd what I just said was something along the lines of it's just one of the few things that I've just not said for whatever reason. I'm not really embarrassed, but I don't know. I, I feel like, uh, I don't know, talking about the weight loss is more positive maybe. I don't know, but it's, there's another reason as well. If, if I say, oh, I'm uh, I'm 10 stone, then I'm going to get, what's that in pounds? What's that in kilos? And I don't fucking know, you know. Like, what's your name? Hello. Do you need help? I should be okay, dude. I should be alright. You're right, dude. I'm gonna have, to, away, go we'll have, to. I'm gonna have to go in the house because there's quite a few. <coughs> He's quite good. Cheers, dude. Oh, that's some quick. Up, that's some quick shooting you were doing there. Holy shit! Thank you. Hey. I know you, right? You are? I know you. Uh, don't think so. Where the hell have you got MVGs from around here? Yo, on the military near this position. Did you? Holy shit. I, I, you want to team up? Uh, I've actually What's got a friend. I've got a buddy that, that's on the way, so I can't today, dude. Sorry. Oh, uh, no problem. Nice to meet you, running man. Nice to meet you. Au revoir. <coughs> <laughs> au revoir, man. Love you, boy. Je t'aime, Lee. Au revoir. Perfect French there. What the fuck is je t'aime, Lee? Je t'aime, au revoir, or whatever. I don't know. I haven't really got a friend, but he outed, he, 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 he broke the third wall, so I can't team up with him. It feels a bit too... Uh, it feels a bit too... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't work as well. Familiar, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. I've told this story in the past, but once upon a time, when I was a much younger man, I went into a club, and in it was a girl that worked in the shop opposite I worked. She worked in, uh, I can't remember what shop it was. It was a clothes shop, like New Look or Dorothy Perkins or something like that. And uh, I worked in the shop opposite hers, the other side of the high street, and I saw her in this thing, and I was really drunk. I was like, I was, she was quite nice, and I thought I'd go and talk to her. And my opening line was, I know where you work. I mean, how much more of a stalker can you... <laughs> I know where you work. I'm going to follow you home later. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? And that's why I didn't ever have a girlfriend, I think. Uh, but it's a little bit like that, you know. It's not giving me a lot to work with. I know who you are. Okay. It's a bit like that. Not quite as creepy, though. Holy shit, look at that tundras. There's shit in tundras everywhere on this map. I know where you work, darling. <laughs> what a fucking stupid thing to say. I was so shit with, with uh, like, chatting up. Like, when I was a lad, if you wanted to get a girlfriend, you had to pluck up the courage to talk to them in public. You know, you, there was none of this swipe left, swipe right business. It, it was all, like... Like conversations and stuff. You can't. You couldn't just post a picture of what you looked like ten years ago, and then meet up with people and they go. It's funny. You look quite a lot older and fatter than you did in that picture. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, it wasn't like that. 
so uh, you actually had to go and talk to people. That, that wasn't so easy for some of us. Some of us that are true gamers were with absolutely no social skills whatsoever. It was not an easy thing. There was a gun on the car, was there? Okay, I'll have a look in a minute. It's a glockenspiel. He was a good shot, wasn't he? He killed the zombies pretty quick. Rothy, yeah, my, my headphones are crazy. I, I, I really recommend them, but I, I wouldn't recommend them for gaming, really. I had a pair of Audeasy LCD GXs, which were expensive, and they went wrong inside the guarantee, so I managed to upgrade them to these. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend the Audeasy LCD GXs. They're too heavy for gaming. If you're going to wear them for a long session, they're just not comfy. If you lean your head forward, they'll fall off your head. They're really weighty. They're not they're not good for gaming. The Audeasy ones. They're great headphones. They sound good. These are amazing, but they're just HD800s are like crazily expensive and you need a headphone amp as well, you know. So the the problem I have is that because the game gives me ear ringing, I have to have the sound so low that I can't get the the most benefit from them anyway, you know, so I have the I have the sound set so low I don't hear very well out of them anyway. Which is kind of frustrating considering they're like expensive headset. Do I recommend GLG twenties? Dude, I I hope one day to be a GLG twenty. I'm I'm uh, I'm not sure I can handle the tests though. Apparently they drop you uh, they drop you off like a plane in some kind of crash test to become a GLG20, and I'm not sure I fancy that. <gasps> boat. I see a boat. I see a little bit little bit of a boat up ahead. Scaramouche, scaramouche. Maybe we can just steal the sparkler. Oh, they're ruined. They're no good. The written portion, I, I'm not sure the written portion is for me either. I, I haven't seen that film in ages. I used to love that film. They don't spawn complete anymore. It needs a batter tricks. It needs a battery and a sparkler. You can loot people in the water now, can you? That's cool. I guess you can get to them underwater now, can't you? Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> I don't even know what KGB stands for. Anyway, Prometheus, we need to stop having a conversation that next to nobody else understands. <laughs> It's not going to work, is it? It's like talking. In, it's like we're in a, a pub full of English people and we're speaking fucking Swahilian or something. Or a pub full of English people and we're speaking English. Uh, well done. Thank you very much for the resub. Thin Lizzie, thank you for the new sub. That's really, really kind as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Miriam, Miri, Miri, Miri Midden Leader. I still can't get that right. Thank you very much for the membership once again. Well, the Welsh do have their own language. They only speak it when somebody English is around. That's not true, but that's how it feels. <laughs> They'll be speaking English quite happily and then somebody English walks in and then it's all, all Welsh this and Welsh that. Edlu this and uh, Toiler Dow that. I don't know many Welsh words. Edlu is police. Toiler Dow. You'll never guess what Toiler Dow is. Do they still speak Welsh commonly? I don't know, dude. But they seem to speak it a bit... Uh, but not everybody in Wales speaks Welsh, but a lot of them do.
thankfully, they're like most of the rest of the world. They still speak English as well, whereas English people are just dumb. And they, most most English people, I'm a bit generalising here. I'm really talking about me, but I don't speak any other language. I just speak English slowly. I can't believe I died to that guy in the hunting stand. I thought I had him banged to rights. I was piling bullets into him as I died, or at least I felt like I was. Uh, Thin Lizzy, uh, cheers Tiram Z from British Columbia, Columbia, Canada, been a long time YouTube subscriber, keep up your, your stick on the ice. Ah, oh, thank you. Cheers for the support, I really appreciate it. Thin Lizzy, thank you very much for coming in. Cheers for the bits and the sub, very kind. 5,000 bits as well, that's, that's a lot, thank you. Just press the button. So that's the uh, the button for Mount Katadin. Sorry, uh, Mount uh, Ketamin. People don't like it when I say it wrongly, so I better get the pronunciation correct. It's funny how many people in America, around Maine, obviously, get really frustrated about how I say Katadin. I can't help my accent. I read it and I say it how I see it. No, it's Katadin. You must say Katadin. Ah, fucking hell, all right. But people get right uppity about it. They really do. God knows what they're like when I get some Sabot rounds. <laughs> What does it mean? It means fuck off Great Mountain. I don't know what Katadin means. It sounds a bit like uh, Sokotoa, which was uh, how you remembered uh, like Sign and Cos and Tan and shit when I was a kid, as far as I remember. I can't even remember what that's about, like uh, Sign and Cos and I can't remember Cosine and all that. I can't remember any of it from school. I can't remember it. I remember that just now, but I don't remember what it's for at all. I was quite, pretty good at maths as well. Four drawers built, D-Bear. GG. You should be doing a, 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 a live stream if you're building it. I think watch it, I think that's a really good stream to put on. Like men building DIY badly. That's a stream we can all relate to, right? Well, anybody building DIY badly, but... Wow. Like getting really pissed off because it's not going right and stuff, you know? I think this is the shots that we heard. That bag is ruined. Which, in theory, means that it's only just been left because ruin loot gets cleaned up really quickly. I really want to keep this, but I haven't got the space. I just tried to do... Ow! I'm behind the wall! I'm behind the fucking wall! How did he shoot me? What the fuck? I hate that. That's a ping thing. So for him, I still wasn't behind the wall when he shot, but... There's no way he could have been he should have been able to hit me there. GG, you got me. Look how far behind the wall I've fallen. You're fucking kidding me. I mean, what? Ugh. You do fall forwards, but nonetheless, that sucks. Like, what the fuck? Ah. 
I hate that. It happens in all games. It not it's not just this game. There's like for me, I'm behind the wall. Like, where he's just killed me there, do you reckon he's actually thinking, how on earth did I kill that guy? He probably doesn't give two shits, does he? He's just desperate for his kill, but he might think I'm somebody running back to try and loot the guy he killed or something, but I, I don't know. I, that sucks. I, I I, was like, I'll be okay, I'll get behind the wall and I'll reposition, and then sure enough, no fucking fear, no chance. That guy clearly had a better gaming chair. I think you might be right, yeah. It's funny, I thought it, I felt like it was going better when I joined Deer Isle, and now it's not so much, is it? I know, I like, I did try and do the friendly wiggle, which was never going to work, but I've got a Taloon bag on and an axe in my hand, you know, like, I'm not judging, like, I just killed a dude that might have been AFK earlier, you know, like, <laughs> kill who you want, but when you die, it's, an, it's okay to be annoyed about it as well, you know, like, it is frustrating that... Dobby 2009 reloads after two shots. Uh, he's, he's right to be doing that, uh, uh, my, mi my mid. Mi Miramid. I, I still can't get it right. Don Leader. <laughs> I, if you fire a shot, even if you've got an AKM with a 75 run, round jump mag, you must reload. Must reload. One shot down, must reload. It's the only way. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit. It's a shame, really, for him that he's not trying to, uh, like, hold people up. In that scenario, I'm bandaging him, and I, I'm absolutely fucked. You know, like, he, he might have a bit more fun if he tries hold ups, but he could be having the best fun ever. You know, let's be fair. He's getting kills. He, he killed me. He's just killed somebody else. He could be having the most fun he's ever had in Daisy. So, it's not for us to decide how he has fun, but let's moan about him anyway because it's more. It's, it makes me feel better. I can actually run back and get the Tundra back. He may move it. He may move it and I won't be able to get it, but we're actually not a million miles away from where I just died, I think. Uh, Sam Brazier, thanks for coming in. It's all good. It is the rule, Gringo. Kill who you want, when you want, but when you die, you're allowed to be annoyed. That's definitely a fact. Some people think that's hypocritical, but I don't. I think it's gaming. Like, it's okay if you go around killing everybody for a life, that's fine. But then if you get killed by someone as a new spawn, you're allowed to be annoyed. It's fine. <laughs> What's wrong? It's all fine. Rabble, rabble, rabble. <laughs> Twenty hours Daisy player destroys fresh spawn news. Yeah, I like that, yeah. Rum and coke, well, play how you want, you know, you're not wrong. Uh, you, know, you, you certainly can't trust a guy that you've just broke their legs and shot, clearly, you know, but I don't know, there's no right or wrong way to play the game. Always shooting. One thing that people say all the time, you like, someone will say, have you got any advice for a new player? And somebody that or somebody will then say in the chat, trust no one. That's not good advice. You know, like, trust no one leads to you shooting people with an axe all the time. And that's all you do, you know. Like, you might as well play PUBG, really. You have to trust some people, some time. And occasionally it won't work and you'll be annoyed. But what's better, do you think? Like, it doesn't happen very often. But that time where you just shoot a guy with an axe and he dies... Or those ten times where you trust a guy with an axe and you have amazing adventures, but one of those ten, he, uh, like, you give him a gun and then later he holds you up with it and kills you, murders you with your own gun, you know. That happened to me by a guy called Why So Serious in 2014. I remember it now, nine years later. So, do you think you, you remember that time you killed a dude with an axe for nine years? You don't, you know. that That's the, the really memorable moments don't happen when you just KOS. 
I, I'm not, not like I think it's fine to kill who you like, but occasionally trusting someone will lead to a lot more fun in the game, even if you get double crossed. Go on a Revenga mission with with our uh, pistol and five bullets. The Revenga bus is coming. I'm at 400 hours and not one person has taken a shot at me. Hell of a hell of a stat that is, Carlos. Fucking hell! Right, let's just quickly check. There's a there's a one little uh, kind of wooden crate -y thing that spawns military loot up here. We might as well check it. Florida, it wasn't when I, I wasn't a video, I wasn't a YouTuber when it happened, so no, I wasn't even recording, I wasn't doing YouTube, so it was in, it was in the first six months of me playing DayZ, it was probably around March-ish time, 2014, but, uh, he didn't have a mic, me and this British dude teamed up, and then we teamed up with a no-mic guy, we played for about two hours, the British guy logged out, me and Why So Serious carried on, uh, and I gave him an M1 Garand, wow, I didn't give him one of those. 556. Five, Semi-automatic. That's cool, isn't it? Anyway. I gave him a Magnum. This was early DayZ, so there was only like... The only guns in the game would have been like the M4, the Mosin, the Magnum, the FNX, and not much else. I gave him a Magnum. There might be... There might have been the SKS. Can't really remember, but... I gave him a Magnum, and then later he typed... Because he was talking to us via in-game chat, like typing. And he typed, do you want to add me to Steam? This is my Steam account. And when I out tabbed out to, to add him to Steam, I came back in and I was handcuffed. And then he shot me in the face with my own Magnum that I'd given him. And we'd been playing together for about three hours. Bowening, thank you for the bits. That's really, really kind. One of them days. Yeah, it's, it's still been fun though. I've enjoyed the stream loads, but we just... We, we've had one life with two kills and then mostly deaths. It's been kind of shite. Guns right, but it's been fun. Sam82, thank you for the 25. Lord Hasra, thank you for the 25. Cheers for the support, guys. But that, that again, that makes my point. Like, what is more memorable? That time you alt-tabbed, came back, and you were handcuffed, and then the guy shot you with your own gun. Of course you don't want it to happen, but it's a much better experience than that time you met somebody with no mic and just killed them, you know? Assuming you were roughly the same person before streaming, where did you go with your talking addiction? That's a funny thing. I, I, I'm quite a reserved, quiet person. Like, and like, I'm not saying this comparison works very well, but sorry, guys. I, I'm alt tab just for a quick sec. I need to refresh the chat so the YouTube stuff works again. Uh, when I went to that thing at Anfield last week, there was a guy that runs comedy clubs there. And he was saying that a lot of the best comedians are actually really kind of boring in real life. They're not very, they're not spontaneously funny. They write their material and they switch a switch when they go on stage and they're a bit kind of dull and reserved when they're not on it. I think I'm quite like that. If I'm in a group, uh, like, like down the pub or something, or if I'm in a group, I can take part and I can be naturally funny and whatnot, but, or no, vaguely amusing maybe is a bit more true than naturally funny, but... I don't talk that much. I'm quite reserved. It, it annoys my missus because I'll be on here for 10 hours, gas, gas bagging all the time, constantly, constantly talking, talking. And I'll get downstairs and I'll want to say nothing. His name was Paul, yeah. Uh, Scotty, yeah. I. Uh, he was... Uh, he, uh, he was the owner of... of uh, the, the comedy club that does all the uh, YouTube shorts and Instagram stuffs and TikToks and stuff. Uh, he was a nice guy, actually. His, he took his mum. He wasn't Ginger, I don't think. No, his name was Paul, though. I don't know. I don't know if he was Paul Smith or not. He may well have been because. Uh, uh, his mum was saying, oh, Paul Smith's the best comedian. That might have been him, and that could have been quite funny if it was, but... 
let me have a look. I meant to check that because I didn't want to put my foot in it and say that. Paul Smith, comedian. I don't think that's him. They have him on a lot. That that's their show, but I don't I I don't think that's him. He was a scouser, yeah. Exactly as he on stream on it, it's exactly like that. I, I'm okay in a group. Like if like if I'm in the pub with a group of people and there's all chatting going on, I can think of funny weird or things to say to keep the, the group conversation going or whatever, but if I'm one to one or whatever, I can I just I'm not so great really. I'm I'm quite quiet and can't be fucked. Paul Blair owns the Hot Water Comedy Club. That that'll be the pool then. It certainly didn't look like Paul Smith, but they were both saying how much of a fan they were of Paul Smith. <laughs> Hi, the Todd. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Hope you're well. Nigel Heff. Cheers for the two months. Keo Storm. Thank you for the new sub. Cheers for the support. Nice. Thank you. Uh, somebody from BI just tweeted, our infusion engine is the portal for the future of the armor platform and Daisy. I know we expected this anyway, but this confirms that they have some plans for Daisy on the new engine, right? Or I'm, I guess it does, but strictly speaking, this is running on an infusion engine right now, Mike. So they could have a get out, but it implies there's something new coming, doesn't it? But strictly speaking, we're using the infusion engine right now. I'm quite excited to... to I, I think it's probably going to be one of those where I'm excited and then uh, it's not as big of a deal as I thought it might be, but I'm excited to know what the news is going to be that they're going to announce. This is very close to where we died. Richard, well thank you. Enjoy the chat. I like using the long stream vids to help me fall asleep. I should get annoyed when I hear that, but a lot of people say it, and I quite like the idea that I'm on people's ASMR. You know, Bob Ross was AS my ASMR for a long time. I think that's very fucking cool. He's took the tundra, which sucks. He may, he may have stashed the tundra. <laughs> right, I'm going to take that bag in a sec. I know it's bright red, but it'll help me uh, carry some shit. It's annoying to lose that tundra. It's really frustrating. guns can one person carry? That is the question. More guns. We need more. More. 
every time I ever carry a, an AKS 74U in real life, I always keep them in my trouser pockets. This dude's had a fucking field day, hasn't he, with all the zombie killing he's been doing? Uh oh, that's not right. and upwards. I'm still seething. <laughs> I hate that about about me or, or the game or whatever, but I was behind the fucking corner, man. The ball was clearly in. I, I, I was safe. I was safe and home and hosed. How the fuck did I get my leg broken? It is a M1 Garand, yeah. Boy, five six it takes, but is that an AK in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? Yeah. How's life treating you? Pretty good. I'm doing all right. If I keep myself off Twitter. I'm fairly okay. Sometimes I do a very bad job at keeping myself off Twitter. I can already sense your death coming from the same guy. It may be, he'll be around this area, won't he? But I need to find food, I need to find loot and shit. Unfortunately, with there being quite a few players around, there's less chance of us finding the stuff that we need, but we'll, we'll see. fix my truser. Fate is the, fate, is it? Fate is the ratio between what you are and what you want to be. Uh, okay. I don't know what I want to be, really. I think I, maybe that's the, the secret of happiness is low expectations. I want to be not dead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll do. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I don't know. I, I don't have a great deal of high expectations, I guess. It's important to have goals in life, right? Why is lights out on my daughter's birthday? I guess she'll have it the day after. Oh dear. Yeah, Lights Out starts on December the 14th. The uh, Kings of the Castle PvP event is this weekend. I'm in the Sunday one. There is one on su Saturday, but I'm in the Sunday one. Uh, I think Ariane is with Chimney, I think, planning on doing a 10-year event of some sort as well in December, but I don't know when or what it is yet. I think it's been announced. How is multi-streaming doing you? Uh, Keenan, how are you doing? I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I really like the uh, ability to stream to more people. I think it's a very cool thing, you know, like more people are able to watch the stream because I'm multi-streaming and that seems a good thing. I've not really done a great deal of looking into what it's doing for me financially, if I'm honest. You know, I, it's generating me a little bit more ad revenue on, uh, on YouTube and there's some members as well, but I've not really done any dissecting of how that's going, to be honest, at all. Uh... uh I, f I like it though, it feels to be, I don't know how many people are on YouTube right now, but at times it's adding 2,000 more viewers. Yesterday the peak was 2,400, which is a lot, you know. 
that's that's lots of extra people seeing the stream that some some of those will be from Twitch, but not many. It's a lot of people that aren't on Twitch most of the time, you know. Bigsy, uh, yeah, I, I'm getting definitely getting more views. Yesterday my peak peak view count was six thousand eight hundred, which is way more than it would have been just on Twitch. It would have been about four thousand five hundred, roughly. These are all very high numbers though, you know, like like sounds stupid saying it really, but you just get kinda used to it. Yeah, they they do cover PC. The PC gamer have written an article or two with with me in, I think. Not 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 like interviewing me or anything, but certainly at least once, uh, based on one of my videos and like some kind of thing about it. I think they I think they used my video for Scum as well. I made a video feeding back about Scum, and I think it might have gone in as well. If I was to start streaming, what would you recommend, Paul? YouTube or Twitch? I think you should probably do both. But if I'm honest, dude, if you if your if your intention is to just have fun, then I, either is fine, YouTube or Twitch or both. If your intention is to grow an audience, you need to be making YouTube videos. That, that's the truth. Like, if you want to grow an audience, you're only going to appear in the YouTube search engine if you're making videos. Uh, you need to be making edited content and learning how to do that. Otherwise, you're you're not likely to grow very quick. I don't understand why Twitch did it, because if if they didn't in the long run, I think they will die. Exactly for that question that somebody's just asked me. If you were to start streaming now, where would you go? Five years ago, if you wanted to start streaming, the only viable option was Twitch. Now there is Kick, there's Twitch, there's YouTube, there's Facebook, but. If you're starting out, Twitch is a really hard place to start out. It's easier to start on YouTube. And I think if they weren't allowing multi-streaming, they might not they might not capture the new people that want to stream anymore. <laughs> uh, because Twitch is a really hard place to grow on. You have to generate your views from elsewhere, like you do on YouTube, but because YouTube's a search engine, it's a lot easier to get found. If you make YouTube videos of, I don't know, best daisy loadouts or best daisy loot routes or uh, I got the DMR and went ham, you won't believe what happens next. You know, that's going to show in a search. People are going to find it and people are going to sub to you, you know. that That's how you grow an, an audience. You can't do that on Twitch, you know. On Twitch, it's literally live channels. So people go to Daisy and they look down the list and they pick somebody to watch. But if you started today, you're at the very bottom of the list with none or one or two viewers or whatever. It's really hard to get noticed. YouTube has a larger viewer base, but not for streaming it doesn't. Dude, there's more people watching Daisy live streams on Twitch than on YouTube. But for uh, for video content, obviously in total views it's way higher, but not for streaming. But uh, I think that's why they've done it. I think they've realised that the proposition as a new streamer it's better to not become affiliate on Twitch and allow yourself the, the opportunity to stream on Twitch and YouTube. I think they were probably getting less people taking up affiliate because the revenue share is 50-50, but they were not allowed to stream on YouTube at the same time. It wasn't allowed. So they can't very well say, oh, by the way, we're going to make it so Twitch affiliates are allowed to multi-stream, but Twitch partners can't. You know, you're at, you're actually shooting yourself in your foot in the foot becoming a Twitch partner. So... A lot of people were giving up affiliate or not taking affiliate so that they could carry on multi-streaming. And so in that case they're not they're not having subs, they're not they're not revenue sharing with the streamers, and maybe people are not gonna stream on Twitch as a result, right? It's okay, I'll remind him in Discord. What's the message about Ish? It's tomorrow. Oh, the broken watch. I've, t I've talked to Ish about the broken watch via Twitter DM already. I, I don't think it's a big deal myself. I think, like, live and let live. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on Ish's side on it, if I'm honest. 
Like he's he's wearing a brown belt. He's wearing something that matches. He puts it on his wrist. I, I don't I don't see it as a big a big deal to be honest. I personally wouldn't do it. I'd get it fixed, but I'm I'm into watches. He's not. I do think it might cause some uncomfortable t conversations though. Imagine imagine wearing a watch that doesn't work, and then somebody saying, "Excuse me, mate, you got the time on you." And then he goes, oh, sorry, I haven't. And then they, then they go, but you're wearing a watch. And then he goes, well, it doesn't work. <laughs> and then they go, well, why are you wearing it then? And he goes, well, it matches my belt. And then they go, how superficial can you possibly be wearing a broken bot watch with a leather fucking belt, you sad bastard? You know? <laughs> I just want to know that that conversation is going to happen one day. I imagine that conversation where he has to admit in public that he's wearing a watch that doesn't work. That conversation is cool. I want to hear. I want to hear that. I'd like to be a fly on the wall for that. <laughs> that, that's the problem, David. Everyone has a smartphone or a, a phone that tells the time, but you never know. There's still a chance. There's still a chance it could happen. Sorry, mate. I've left my phone at home. You ain't got the time, have you? He'd just pull his phone out, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd still be able to tell the time. Bollocks. Right. I haven't got any food or anything. Uh, there's a little military base up this road, and at, at that base there is a... Uh, there is a uh, well, so we'll be okay. Hell, very cool. You're building him, no less, eh? I think I remember you talking about that before. Looting. Are you just looting? Well, I don't have really much loot, Todd. So yeah, that that's the game. I'm I'm heading towards a military base, but I've only just got sh shells for the shotgun. I, I've got very little loot, so you have to loot to get the loot. If you don't loot, you don't get the loot. And if you haven't got the loot, you can't use the loot to shoot at the other dudes and take their loot. I know for a fact that there's people in Hollywood wearing expensive watches that they don't know how to read. How many people are there that can really not tell the time on a watch? As an adult, I mean. I mean, I, I understand it with more younger kids and, like, the, the, the digital generation to some extent, but... I can't believe there's that many adults that can't read the time. There probably is one or two, but... Yeah. What calibre is the UMP? It's 45 ACP, dude. Am I winning? No, it's not even a score draw. I'm getting absolutely obliterated today. <laughs> well, uh, my 14-year-old can tell the time on a, on a watch just fine, and the 11-year-old, I think they've learnt it at school, I'm pretty sure they have, uh, but I think the 11, I know the 11-year-old can as well, she's not quite as quick at it as the 14-year-old, but she can. What's your opinion on leather strap watches? I think they look good. I, I think I like. I'm not that keen on NATO watches, NATO straps, which is like a a material band. I'm personally not that keen, but leather straps look great on uh, on all sorts of watches. Iceman, yeah, it will be in December. Charity stream will be in December. What about rotary phones? I should think if you plonked a rotary phone in most in front of most people under thirty, they wouldn't know what to do with it. Like, I, my the first phone we had in our house when I was a kid was a rotary phone, but most people under thirty will never have seen one. Chances are, unless their parents had a really old phone when they were a kid. So those shots were on the island. We could potentially wait it out and try and get them when they come back over, but. I don't think I've got the loot for that at the moment. Fuck, that's on the bridge, I think. 
I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Prepare the respawning screen. Here it comes. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's almost good. Just get the piss out of me. It still perplexes me that with a rotary phone the hardest number to dial was 9 and our number for the emergency services was 999. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional so that you would less likely to accidentally dial 999 or what but imagine making the number the hardest number to dial on a rotary phone. It doesn't make any sense. I presume that's why it was, was it? So you only rang it if you meant to. Dead dude on the... The thing there. I think I've got to carry on and loot this again. I, I, I need to find a gun. I'm not. I'm not ready for any players. Not at all. I also need to fill my uh, my water bottle up in the canteen as well. at me. He's got an SKS. I, I don't fancy this very much. Yeah, I see him. This is me dead for sure. Dude, don't shoot at me. There's an SKS guy. Don't waste your bullets. At me. Let's get him. Oh, God. Fucking prick. He's not even dead yet. Ah! Why would you be the new spawn with a shotgun shooting the new spawn with a shotgun? You have got to be a fucking moron. You have to be an absolute moron in that scenario to be shooting the new spawn, especially when he's talking to you. But my God. Oh, fuck me. That's 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 a salty death if ever I would. It was quite a nice shot with a slug on the guy, but he really fucked me over, didn't he? Yeah, you shouldn't have went after him. I don't think I did anything wrong there whatsoever, I'm afraid to say. I, I don't agree. I only knew about the SKS player, but when I was then getting shot from behind, like, what am I meant to do, you know? I can't just stay in the sandwich. I've got to pick one, and I know where the shotgun guy is. I can see him. He didn't see a new spawn. He saw a gear guy with a bright red bag and a shotgun. I guess maybe when I talked to him, he perhaps did, but yeah. I, had, I did have a couple of guns on my back, but nothing, like, fantastic. It's just so frustrating, though, because that was a real good opportunity.
I, I think I had to do something. I can't just carry it up the hill with a guy behind me shooting at me and a guy in front shooting at me. I, I think what I did was the right choice there. I tried to talk, he didn't listen, I shot him, you know, but... Uh, it is what it is. I would have hid and waited. Well, that, that's no fun. Like, the other guy's way more geared than me. If I wait in the building, uh, if I'd had red shells, I might have waited. But because I've got green slugs, I think I'm better off going on the prowl and staying movement. Like, I'd rather do that than sit in the building. He's going to kill me on the way out sooner or later. Right there, I knew that he could. He didn't have an angle to aim into the front of the door, right? He was running round to get an angle to shoot me through through the doorway, right? So... By moving straight away, I didn't give him opportunity to just get right in front of the doors and wait me out. Did I just die? Yeah, regular event today. Just dying all the time, dude. It is frustrating that zombies aggro to you being shot more than they aggro to the guy shooting, but it's always like that. They aggro to the bullet impacts, don't they? It's, it is annoying. <sighs> you know, I, I'm starting to lose the will to live with the whole uh, with the whole Daisy today. I, I've, I actually have really enjoyed the stream, but I'm not enjoying the the uh, the the. The run of the the luck the, the the luck we're having in running the luck in running has been tricky. You still need to go to the temple and temple Andrew, but there's a scuba bit as well. You need the temple and you have to go to the temple and Mount Katadin now, but I don't really fully understand why. But yeah, I don't think I died there because of any choices I make. I I think sitting and waiting when you've got rubber, sorry, green green shells, I don't know. I, I think I'd rather push. It's certainly not what he was expecting. And it very nearly got me a chance to shoot at the fucker where if I'd hit him once, he would have gone down. You know, the slugs are pretty good, but I, I didn't get that chance because the other fucker came along and shot me in the back like a twat. Richard, well, I, 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 I chat along all day, every day, dude. That's just part of streaming, you know. I, I don't think talking away had any impact on that encounter, you know. It's been fun, though. It's been a lot more frenetic on Deer Isle. I just... Uh, a little bit unlucky as well, you know. These things happen. I'll get shot in the shot at the well now. Yeah, the guy that shot me there, the guy with the SKS, was in the open field up the hill a little bit. Let's catch up with some alerts. G Simmons, thank you for the one year. Seems like it flew by. Thank you very much, dude. Reapers, thanks for the 15 months. Opposition Gaming, thank you for the prime, dude. Oatmeal, thank you for the four months. Welsh Warrior, thank you for the five months. I had steps. Uh, Homer G, thanks for the 23. Anonymous, thank you for the gifted sub to Twitchy. Dr. Buzzkill, thank you for the three years. Please be, read this in your best robot lady voice. I just wanted to tell, tell all the nice YouTube viewers that if they have Amazon Prime, they can support TRMZ by free subbing for, by subbing for free every month on Twitch. It's easy and fun. Dude, I, I didn't read that very well, did I? Either as robot lady or me. But thank you <laughs> just for the support, dude. Have I still got a character on Winter? I don't think so. I haven't played Winter Channel since the... Uh, since 123 and so it would have been wiped anyway I think yeah it's, I've enjoyed today a lot actually I enjoyed Chernerus although Chernerus was desperately frustrating in terms of how it went but I enjoyed it uh, not every time do you have to get everything go your way for it to be fun but 
The death, the second death was annoying. Well, the second death of the two main lives, anyway. Hey, Dylan Muller, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Richard, uh, yeah, cheers, cheers as well. It's been fun. To I have enjoyed today a lot, actually. I, I, quite, I was in quite a good mood when I started. And the game has beat me down a little, but I'm still kind of... In, I am in a good mood still. It's been fun. I'm not sure I'll feel the same tomorrow after I've driven 90 minutes to the hospital for a, an appointment. I might, I might be a bit grumpy by then. Todd, yeah, no worries, dude. Thanks for coming in. Just started playing Daisy because of you. Very cool, dude. I hope you keep enjoying the game, Leo. Wow, this uh, this police station is overflowing with loot. Holy fuck, there's so much. I can't... I don't know what to do with it all. When was the last time I played Livonia? I played Livonia quite a lot earlier in the year. I, re I really played Livonia a lot. January, February kind of time, but I've not played it so much since, because the uh, the newness of the underground bunker thing, the the impact that had has kind of gone away, and the popularity of Livonia has fallen off a cliff again, basically. So it's it's much harder to play. Most days, if I want to play Livonia, I've got to play official. If you start playing about now, you can play day one. If you want to play on a server that's populated. But if you start playing at, like, uh, I don't know, 1 o'clock or something in UK time, day one's not got anybody in it. And so you're, you're left not really able to play on a full server. Nigel, that police station never really has much. He's just gone for his melee weapon, I think. You alright? Yeah, all right. Nice to meet you too. seem to have some. Oi, spunky pants. It's, it's not a shotgun, is it? It's a repeater. Is it a repeater? It is a repeater. Bang! <laughs> Why don't you have a mic? Speak! Speak, spunky pants. I think I have a mic. Is it working? It is now, yeah. It wasn't before, though. Oh, for... Fuck's sake! So I was gonna say. Yeah, you didn't say. I thought thing. it was plugged in. No. Okay. Well, yes. It's a repeater. I don't have spunky brown pants for you, and I don't know where the fuck we are. So. We're at we're at Spawn uh, Island, pretty much. But anyway. If okay. You, if you've if you've got a mic and you've you can't tell me where I can find the spunky pants, I'll just go on my way. I'm going. Love you. Bye. Well, I mean, all right. Bye. Have a good one. You too. It's too late to team up now. Obviously, I'm like nine hours in or something. He was decent. He sounded all right, actually. He sounded quite a nice guy. He sounded quite like uh, bouncy. You know, he sounded bouncy when he eventually worked it out. But yeah, spunky pants. <laughs> spunky doesn't translate very well around the world. Like, like in in the UK, spunk is uh, seminal fluid. But in other countries, if you're showing spunk, it might be that you've got a little bit of vavavoom, maybe. Or you, like, I think in Australia they go, oh, you, oh, he's a spunk, and that means he's good looking as well, you know? It, like, but yeah, it's uh, it's different in different places, I guess. They used to say spunk in, I think it was like home and away or something. 
like for a, as a compliment. Jizzy pants. <laughs> that would be a song for Phoebe from fa Friends. Jizzy pants. Jizzy pants. Why aren't they cleaning you? <laughs> it writes itself. There you go. The sequel to Smelly Cat. Jizzy pants. Uh, Jirotka, thank you for the prime. Open tag, thank you for the prime as well. Uh, free key, thank you for the 12 months. First full year, thank you very much, dude. Pleasure as ever. Thank you. Dimmy Dam, thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support as well, dude. Thank you. You definitely have that wrong spunk is spunk all around the world i don't think i do dude i think i think spunk can like i've said spunk and then i've had somebody say what does spunk mean because they didn't use it the same usage i think i think it gets it has multiple uses in different countries right we're, we're going to head towards the military base daisy is a game of persistence you're right That kid's got a lot of spunk. Yeah, it's truth, it's truth, you flaming galah. <laughs> uh, tech chocolate, thank you for the ten months, dude. Paddy, get good. Cheers for the prime. What watch are you wearing now, and how would you rate it? I'm wearing a Bolex Raytona. Uh, Dewald, I, I don't talk about my own watch collection, dude, so I, 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 I really don't. I, it's one of the few things, like something else that Welsh Show Goblin asked me about earlier, but when it comes to stuff like that, like, it's for me, it's not reflecting on the internet. I'm really, really interested in the whole thing, like watches and, like, history, and it's really dull to a lot of people, but it's something I'm really into, I always have been. But... I didn't get into it for, like, showing off or not. Most of the time I'm wearing a G-Shock or something anyway, but that's by the by. What if you want to be flexed on? Well, there's plenty of places to get, get that. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure I'll like when I really make it big. I'll make a. This is the. This is the. Uh, this is the mansion and the Lambo that that this channel bought me. Thank you very much, everyone. Now I'm done. Just found a reference on Austro 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 Nation Uni about spunk, a sexually attractive person. Australia has used the meaning for this term. That exists in Stangle English, courage and determination, semen. <laughs> but in Australia, spunk is most commonly used to refer to a person of either sex or is regarded as sexually attractive. There we go. Very, very cool. I definitely, I heard it. I heard it on Home and Away or Neighbours back in the day. Used. Did you fix broken toys as a kid? Uh, badly. Is there supposed to be loot on this server? Yeah, we're in a really high traffic area, unfortunately, so the loot can be really shit here. Oh god, that that doesn't help. When you see a zombie that you didn't kill, you know you're in bother. We're basically looting sloppy seconds. Gallon Jesse. All dead candy spunk. Oh, I'd love some spunk. It's not as salty as I thought it would be. Don't be like Doc D with you. I can't get a Lambo because I would look ridiculous spilling out of it. Like, I just... I, I could never get a car that like that. I just couldn't do it. I'd like, And I've lost a bit of weight and don't, don't get me wrong, but... I, I, I'm... I, like, people like Jeremy Clarkson, even when he was a bit younger, you know, like... I, the only people that can afford something like that are normally too old to have one is the way I, I I don't really feel like I'm a hypercar kind of person I just wouldn't do it I'd feel ridiculous I'd like if you're pulling up in a hypercar you're really saying look at me 
And if you come back to that conversation about watches, right? Uh, I, I don't want to say, look at me. I, I want to be completely unnoticed. I'd, I'd rather pull up in a VW Golf or something. I don't, I don't like saying, look at me. Aren't I fancy with my amazing car? Please mug me in when I come back to pick it up later. I, I don't, I don't really need that. Like even with watches, I'd much rather have one that was really fancy, but you had to be a watch guy that knew about it rather than it's really flashy and blingy so everybody notices it. Tesla is not fancy like a Lambo Dupree. It's the most commonly sold car in the UK. It's not, it's not fan. It's a nice car, but it's the most common sold car in the UK. It's the most popular, the Model Y is the best selling car in the UK. It's not, not fancy like a, like a Lamborghini or a Mercedes or a Ferrari or whatever. I am Zafrog, yeah, we were just talking about it. Tesla is garbage. Well, I, I happen to own one and disagree. It's been great. Way better than I was expecting. I'm not trying to t suggest you get one, though. I don't care what you get. But a lot of people say how crap they are. Never, never owned one, never, never driven one for more than about five seconds or even sat in one most of the time. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. I do lease it. Yeah, so I don't own it. You're right. I, I don't. I, I do lease it. And I guess I could have bought it, but it made less sense to do that. YouTube chat again. That's so annoying. I just refreshed the chat. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I might need to. I might need to do something about the the integration of the chat to make it work better. Uh, hey, on H A O N. Hey, on. Uh, thanks for coming in. Cheers, cheers for tuning. First time watching me live. Thank you. Ibanes, dude. Ibanes182. Thank you for the uh, for the gifted sub bomb on Twitch. You're very, very kind, dude. Cheers for gifting 10 subs, dude. That's very, very kind, man. Thank you. Living Dead Dudes, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. I've not got any alerts set up at the moment, Living Dead Dudes, but uh, thanks a lot for the raid. I hope you had a good stream as well. I think I'd go as... I've never really owned any fancy cars. The last car I had was a VW Passat. That's the best car I've had before this one, but... The car I've got right now is the, the best car I've ever owned. And I'm sure it's not the best car on the market, but it's the best car I've ever had, for sure. But I've had mostly fucking shitters, you know? Most of the cars I've ever had were shitboxes. Is Porsche considered a fancy car? If it's really new, definitely. If it's really, really old and classic, definitely. But if it's somewhere in between, possibly not. You know, you could get you could get some real crap box of a Porsche that's like not worth any money and costs more in fuel per year than its value. That wouldn't be posh, but aside from that, most Porsches are posh. out here it's upstairs I really wanted to get back so I just couldn't find one whoever did the killing must still be around right there's there's a lot of, there's a lot here
going to damage the knife like real quick, but I need to make a few more bolts. Please, please just fuck off. Just, just let me make the bolts. You know you want it. Thank you. This is make or break, by the way, guys. If I die, I'm probably done for today. I think this is the last live, so we're uh, we're like nine hours deep, which is fairly good. I'd like to do a bit more, but I think I might I might call it if I die. So I'll do my best not to die, but if I do, that's probably what's going to happen. I've seen a guy. He'll be going in the container. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, I heard steps after. Where did he go? He may have just ran through the bush and carried on, but he looked like he was going to... Got zombies out here as well. Oh, it didn't even loot. The zo there must be geared if you're not even looting the zombies. 20 SKS rounds on those, look. Looks like that we're living then. I don't know where he went. Let's go and ch quickly check down this industrial. You reckon he was in the left container, do you reckon? I don't know. Thought I checked both, but you might be right. set guys <laughs> how long does it take for flies to appear on the bodies I think it depends on modded servers it can be quite quick like five minutes is quite common but if you play it, because the, the server owners can affect how long the despawn timer is and it changes things some, so uh, it's 15 minutes roughly on official, like on true vanilla, but on this I think it's quicker. I think it's probably better that we didn't bump into that dude, because even if I landed a shot square on him with this, it still might not kill him, it's so not accurate. But he, he must have come down here, there's dead zeds. Could have been somebody else. Oh, a shitload of them. Fucker. I should have cut one of those dead bodies up for a uh, for a few more bones, but uh, not the end of the world, I suppose. Talk to the dude and double cross him. I'm not a real big fan of that. I've done it once or twice in the past, but I'm not a real big fan. I, I much prefer, I, in terms of play, I'm not judging people that do it. In terms of play style for myself, I either like to be friendly or not. I don't like to pretend to be friendly and then double cross. I, I don't enjoy it very much. 
I, it, I guess it would be a way to really get me out of my comfort zone, if you like, but it's not really a play style that I, I particularly enjoy. Would a capture card to help with graphics from a PlayStation stream? No. All a capture card's doing is helping you to stream. Uh, it, it wouldn't help. It, you might be able to improve the quality a little bit, because if you're using a capture card, the PC is doing the streaming and the console is just doing the gaming. Uh, but it, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't affect the way the graphics look. Oh, hey, man. Hello. You all right, dude? How's it going? Yeah, not bad. I'm doing all right. There was a lot of shots up at the military base, but uh, there's nobody there now. Just loads oh, of dead, dead zombies. Nah, all of... I've just got this bat of baseball bat. Uh, pretty fucked, to be honest. You want me to put a uh, put a crossbow bolt in it, and then then it'll be more powerful. Mate, that would be sick. Here. Right. Hang on. No, that's not the one I wanted. Just hold on. What? Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Okay. That's fucking that ruined is it. sick, mate. <laughs> that's ruined it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think of that bit. I really wanted to pick it up. Can you pick it um, up? Yeah, I can pick up. Oh, look, the bolt yeah, didn't even just, go on the, it. The crossbow bolt's fall. Yeah, he's just fallen out. Oh, oh well, let, let me no, let, let me try again. Hang on. Broken baseball bat. Hang on. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I don't like to pretend to be friendly. I didn't really pretend to be friendly. I just set him up to kill him. Right? I did. I didn't really pretend. I just did that. <laughs> Oh dear. He's an, he isn't even eating his new spawn food. He realised what was going to happen there. He was like, no, don't. No, oh, poor guy. He's, he'll spawn back in. We'll probably see him again in a second. It doesn't take very long to get back here if you want to. So all he's lost is his new spawn food, really. His baseball bat was ruined. That was kind of funny. I enjoyed that. It's little moments like that that can cheer up your day when you're having a bad one, right? I'm like, when I die next, I've not really done anything like that all day, and I've died permanently. But if I die in five minutes, everyone can go karma. Whoa! Why? Why must we shoot? We can talk. We we can talk it out. <coughs> Now I'm loading it. Why? Why aren't you dead? Oh, my fucking crossbow's ru ruined as well. What the fuck? Ah, oh, see what I mean about karma? <laughs> how, how much does that suck? That he, he's ruined the, the crossbow with his axe. Oh, fuck, that sucks. I'm a little bit peeved that he didn't drop when I hit him clean with the... Uh, if he dropped, maybe it might have been a bit different, but I d he didn't drop, did he? So, coulda, woulda, shoulda, I suppose. Yeah, it might have hit his hands, but... Uh, God, that sucks. You think the other guy shot it, do you? That's interesting. Maybe it got shot by the bolt, yeah. Oh, we are really close to where we just died, but... <laughs> Why don't we talk? Why do we have to shoot? That wasn't going to work, was it? They were already completely committed. Well, one of them should be a bit injured. I wonder how long, if you get shot by a bolt, how long does it stay stuck in you? I've got something to stick in you. One more rides again, yeah. Oh, 
fucking bollocks. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have carried on, but I'm, I'm on the same island. It's just a run up this way. They won't still be there, and I don't. What am I going to do with them now? Like they ruined my crossbow. What, what can I really do? I, maybe they'll. What did I have? I had a repeater and a Glock, no bullets. Excuse me, Mr. Rubbing Man. Rubbing Man, eh? I, 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 I don't rub for your pleasure. Could I send you a virtual hug? Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. It's, it's a very impersonal hug, though. The kind of one where I keep my pelvic area a long way away from the person I'm hugging, okay? Is this a 12-hour? It's not, Robin. No, I started late today. Can't do it. Hydro Bananas, thank you for the membership on the YouTube, dude. Thank you for the for the uh, membership, really appreciate it. Uh, Noxious Omen, thank you for the 29 months. That, that was kind of fun, I have to say. Like, the poor guy with the, the baseball bat, I did feel a bit bad for him, but it was funny. I should think, after he died... He was probably laughing about that. I would have been if it was the other way around, you know. Like I knew he hadn't got anything to lose. I should I should think he was probably laughing about it after the death. Hydro, hey I just got a membership. Can I get a shout out? I just did it, dude. Before you typed that, I just did it. The bat guy is in here. Oh sorry, dude. Cat hacker wants a pelvic hub. When is the OnlyFans coming out? I'm still working on it, dude. Boy in a String Vest is going to be the name of my OnlyFans. It's mainly going to be eating fried egg sandwiches in a string vest and making sure the yolk drips down from my chin onto my vest. That's going to be the money shot. Uh, David Dustin, cheers for gifting the membership, dude. I appreciate it. Very kind. The spunky yolk, yeah. Jeez, what a spunk, mate! Yeah, I'm, uh, that was a terrible accent, by the way. I'm no good at accents at all. Everybody already knows this, right? But I'm terrible at them. So we're, I'm heading back to where they just killed me, but I'm trying to uh, pick up some kind of bit of loot along the way. Uh, Gaming Vapor, thank you for the for the raid. And C. Mully, Mully, C. Mully, thank you for the, uh, for the new sub. Very kind of you. Yolk is well harder to clean than spunk. Well, that's the beauty of a string vest. A lot of it goes on the skin, you see. Oh, my word. We, we're getting back in the game, we are. We're almost at the point where we can take them. Need a knife or something. And we can use the crossbow bolts. I've killed more than two players with shit guns and no bullets before, like a chambered MK2 or something. It's possible, but you've got to be hitting them in the head, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'm that accurate today, really, but you never know. They stand very still. We, we ended up getting, like, there's a little, there's two 1v4s on my YouTube channel from about six weeks ago. And with one of them, I had a chambered pistol, I think. And then uh, ended up killing four people. But they did come in one at a time, so I could loot one and then kill them and loot them and kill them. Super hostile server, sword barrier. It's not the server. Deer Isle's really hostile in the spawn area. It's really, it's really shooty in the spawn area because everyone spawns really close together. It's not, I don't believe it's the server. Deer Isle is just like this. It's, it's really hard in the spawn zone. Anyone that's played Deer Isle regularly has experienced the, uh, the new spawn camping that goes on, and it goes on a lot. The 
the guys were maybe heading this way, we should check everywhere because we could they could be in like that building there, for example. I really felt like I was going to have him when there was one, but when the second one jumped the wall, I knew my uh, my chips were uh, were done, so to speak. My cookie was crumbled. How many more sayings can I get slightly wrong? Is my name hard to pronounce? Tristani plays. No. My yoke had been spunked, yeah. Is looking for a bush worth it? No, because I've got nothing to sharpen. I, I, I need a knife or an axe or something. I can't make bolt crossbow bolts without a canoe. Oh, CR 527. That's cool. I like that colour. That is cool, isn't it? Look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? Now it's worth going for a bush. I would fucking love it if we bump into those guys. That would be absolutely epic. For some crossbow revenga, that would be epic. Tree zombies up on the hill there, but that doesn't mean much. That's a sporter. That could be them. annoying when they're long sticks. Right, these will do. <sighs> Double carry crossbows for faster reload. I probably would never actually do it in the in the pinch. I would probably end up just reloading anyway. I don't really want to double carry crossbows. I, I, I don't think. I'll end up fucking it up. I, I think I'm better off just doing this. Oh, bollocks. Uh, Just Josh, thank you for the nine months. C Mully, thank you for the new sub. Gaming Vapor, thank you for the raid. Cheers, guys. Thank you. This really damages your knife quick, doesn't it? Matt, the kills. Thank you. Take them out and let the daisy gods be on your side. Well, I need to get Ravenga. They need the karma, you know, so it seems fine now. We deserve the karma. Let's go and get it. Let's go and... Hunting for karma is, is what we're doing. We don't need to play it tactical. We'll run just. We'll just run straight in and shit them. Let's shit them, Gary. <laughs> Accent has got worse through the day as well. Have a little practice go. I actually hit that shot. Don't don't pretend like I didn't. I hit that shot. It's so inaccurate. It's the inaccuracy that done for me there. Not not my shooting. Okay. Uh, Tope, dude, thanks for the raid and the 94 months. You're crazily cool, dude. Thank you. I hope you had a good one. Thanks very much for the raid. Uh, cheers for the support, man. Thank you. So for those just joining, I, uh... I got killed here a second ago by two, two dudes. One had a crossbow. I think that's them shooting. I've managed to get another crossbow and I'm coming back for revenge. And if I die, I'm afraid the stream's over, so I'll try not to die. And there, a green shed. Hit. 
fucking hit him. And what else am I meant to do? I fucking hit him again. Like, his mate's dead in there. He's got an SKS, unfortunately, now. But that hit. I saw blood, but it's just not powerful enough, you know. Maybe I only hit him in the arm. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Like I said, it's probably going to be the end if I die. But here I am seeing where I spawn. But, ah, oh, no bueno. No good. It's not the right spawn. Uh, well, it's quite often a one-hit kill, uh, the crossbow, but obviously I'm only hitting in the arm, you know? Like, I didn't have time to ADS, I don't think. And I just had to take the snapshot and hope it killed him, but I must have hit him in the arm. I think if it hit him in the chest, it would have killed him. Feathers on bolts do make a difference, but uh, I didn't have any feathers. I think it's more to do with accuracy than damage, though, I thought, but... Uh, I don't know if he had armour, but if he's wearing armour, then you can tank the thing. But if you're not wearing armour, I think one should knock him uncon, but that sucks. Anyway, shit happens. Slinger X4. Slinger times four. Uh, somebody stole my motorcycle today. Will you tell them to go F themselves? Absolutely, dude. I hope you get it back. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Two mini records. Thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm afraid that is the end of that chapter guys uh i'm gonna have to stop i know we've just been raided which sucks but it was like one more life and one more life and one more life and now we're done but i feel a little bit robbed with the whole uh crossbow <laughs> i I, th I feel like i deserve to land that when it hit i was like my god that's cool he's gonna be on con i can't believe it and then he wasn't we just got here rude yeah you're right vicky it, it's definitely my fault <laughs> uh, I, I am going to do a quick raid on Twitch. I can't really do a raid on YouTube because uh, I can't. How do I raid on both? But but because Topes just raided me, I feel like I should probably raid somebody else on Twitch. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, and let's just see. Uh, fuck it. Let's let's raid Lax. I'm going to raid Lax on uh, on Twitch. Playing the mouse. So, Twitch, Raid, Lax, Chat. Okay, we're going to be sending you guys to... Uh, there's an ad break in progress, actually, at the moment, but that sucks. Right, anyway, guys, go and check out go and check out Lax. I will be back again tomorrow playing with Amish Zed. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Hopefully, we'll have a bit of more luck on Deer Isle tomorrow than we've had today, you know. But I've enjoyed today's stream loads, but... A little bit of a break would have been nice. I actually feel like I'm shooting well, but I've not really had the opportunity. You know, I've, I've, I've not missed too much, but I've not had too many chances. Maybe on Cherner, or so I could have made better choices. But anyway, go and check out Lax if you're on Twitch. Uh, thanks a lot for coming in, both YouTube and Twitchers. There's many streamers you can watch. Thanks for watching me. And I've just pressed raid now, so you're all gone. Fuck it. <laughs> Cheers for coming in, YouTube. I'm still here for you, I guess. But you, the raiders have gone raiding it. I click the button prematurely like I do every time. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Love you, boy.